<laughs> From the Lodge Mahal in beautiful Austin, Texas, welcome to the Lodge live stream, Ladies Day number two. We had a great stream yesterday. Christy's back to play, but seven new lovely ladies will be at the table today. We'll go around the table. Rhonda from San Antonio is in seat one. Caitlin from Texas in seat two. Juan is in seat three. Krista in seat four. Christy is in seat five. Liz is in seat six. Sam is in seat seven. And Nakia, the princess of VPIP, is in seat eight. Caitlin with some suited Broadway cards. It's going to be interesting to see how today plays a little bit different than yesterday. Two pair for Caitlin. <clears throat> Caitlin checks again. Juan looking for a 10. Does not come. There's the boat for Caitlin. Great way to start the day. And there's the fold. <clears throat> Final table, Kev, is in the box. The lovely Safi is our game host. <clears throat> Slick Rick in the bunker. We might be joined by a few other folks throughout the day. Skull Mike is here. Mike Brady's in the building. Well, then we should just play the other one because we're going to play the net game anyway. Should we start now? What's the bounty on the seven deuce? Um, Players are discussing playing the seven deuce game today. So if someone plays and wins with it, everybody pays them 50? Mm -hmm. And the last person who folds pays 100? That works for me. The last like person it. who went. The last person that folds pays a hundred. Oh, okay. Okay. <laughs> so I <laughs> guess we're playing the seven deuce game. Win with seven deuce, get fifty dollars for every player, and the last person to fold pays the hundred dollars. Interesting little spicy <laughs> seven deuce game going to be going on today. We'll be looking for that. Like Caitlin now with Big Slick Did as well as Schwan. Apologize to each other. Yes. <laughs> I'm so sorry. I'm so sorry. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. Next. Three raise. Three raise. Hundred. Smaller. All in from Caitlin. Quick call. And they're gonna see. Oh. Oh, I have the same hand. <laughs> the same hand. Now, somebody, all the suits are covered here. So we could see a bad beat right here. Third twice, seven. Doesn't matter. Yeah, once. Once. They're going to run it one time. Every suit covered. Uh oh. Caitlin on a little bit of a free roll here. Okay. 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 Chop it up. <laughs> I see Amber Daniel in chat. Amber, the big winner yesterday. She played amazing. Such a great night for Amber, and we're so happy to see that happen on the felt. Thank you. There you see Safi. Did you guys order food yesterday? Great picture yeah. above the fireplace today. The taco place is so good here. Yeah. Big shout out to our moderators, VW Bug and Yoda, the best yeah. there ever was. So dedicated to this stream. We've got lots to tell you about today. Just getting started here. Hand number three.
Okay, super fun. I just got back from a trip to Vegas. We recorded six interviews and two more sketches. Um, we got Jeff Boski, who just put up. We got Stapleton, which was awesome. I got to go see him perform live in the World Series of Comedy. Oh, he's great. It's such a great guy. I've never spent time with him. And then uh, we got uh, Hanks and Platt, and we went to the Poker Ghost studio, and we had like a meltdown because uh, Hank sent us a text. It was like, yeah, yeah, come to Poker Studio. Just like set up anywhere. And we're like, oh, OK. And then uh, the high roller was going on, and there was no other space. And we're like, oh, I guess he means like set up here, and right next to the 25K. <laughs> <laughs> so it was like Bonomo walking right there, and like Chidwick and all that. And uh, Tim Duckworth came over, and he's like, you aren't going to be loud like you always are. <laughs> <laughs> and we're like, well, I mean, maybe. Caitlin does great stuff. Follow her. Uh, it was going on. And we you were, like, too? Kind of with the yeah. He's like, why don't you come to The Ace Hole podcast? Recording. And we're like, we love that plan. <laughs> so we came back and we did him. And then we did uh, Jeremy Becker over by the bar, which was super Pardon? fun. The guy that kids keeps winning all the dailies at the win. It's uh, Dick Okay. Oh, yeah. What's that guy's story? Okay. Um, so he's from Florida. Yeah, I didn't know that He's either. really young. He's like 27. <laughs> um, and he just like loves tournaments. And he's got like... The super good attitude, just like hard worker, really loves the game, really passionate. Nice kid. Yeah, cool. And then we had Ebony, my good friend Ebony. Three players to this flop. Get like a, a batch of content. One at a yeah, time, you know? Since I nice. decided to stay here and live here, that's how we do it. I go. Care for yeah. Nakia. We Were you considering like moving? Got shot for Juan. I worked Juan. Summer, but then I spent the whole summer there, and it was just like really draining. Nakia now with the, the only spade. Like, the one time I Way out in front here, equity-wise. Before 10 a.m., I ended up taking an Uber back. Like, I just, so hot out there and dry. But Juan yeah. gets there on the river. I mean, I just, but you With her you nine. Is that better? Yeah. I do, because I feel like we get breezy sometimes. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, yeah, no, that's true. Yeah. Oh, Barbies. Carl Feathers, uh, pass that on to production. Sometimes it takes a little while to make the change. We appreciate that if the, the graphic is showing Krista. Uh, uh, Chris Dan, it should be Chris Dot. Yeah, workouts going. Anthony, still kicking your ass? Uh, every day um, that we work out together, absolutely. Um, hate him. With you have a nice break while they were on their anniversary <laughs> trip? No, actually, he wrote workouts for us. <laughs> Son of a gun. You can't escape so we can still do them? Yeah. And we went Monday, Wednesday, Friday. I even tried mm -hmm. to do a bonus day, extra credit today, but he didn't write the work. Uh, so he, Mike has Forget the it. iced vanilla. Are you going to come join us one day? Friday? I am for sure. He said like October fourth when he's back. So we have duly noted the production folks to make that change. It'll take thirty minutes though because we're on somewhat of a delay. So look for Krista's name. Yeah, I have to be Krista and not Kristen in the near future. Yes. Thank you, my dad. So much to tell you about. There's Liz with some Broadway cards. Liz deals here at the lodge. She's from Texas, right? She's doing a money. She also is part of our production crew for the live stream. Pretty exciting day for Liz. She doesn't usually play this high. Top pair. Shout out to Liz. Lots happening. How about this for tomorrow? How about this stream, folks? Juan will be back. British Bulldog. And Terrace. I cry every time. I know. Pardon me there. Had something in my throat. Terrace will be back tomorrow. 3 p.m. Central, folks.
price of you're not going to want to miss it. My career choice, like it wouldn't have paid, it wouldn't have made financial sense. Yeah. Yeah. Six races. Thirty. I do. I get there at least four times a year to see my mom. Oh, nice. Where in San Diego does she live? Um, Mission Bay, I believe. The best. Yeah, I live. She's like. 15 minutes from the beach. Yep, I lived in Pacific Beach, mm -hmm. and it was five minutes from the beach, too, and it's just the best. Yeah, Pacific Beach, Ocean Beach. I love OB. Three ways to a flop here. Pair for both Juan and Liz. Rhonda with the pair of sailboats. Make slow some things down here. Liz now with the straight. Two in a row for Liz. Three bucks, three hundred. Call. Just three. a call. Three. There you go, Liz. So some amazing stuff happening at the lodge. Kind of homeless, to be honest. <laughs> <laughs> I think I live in Vegas more than anywhere else. 310 already watching. That's nice. What part of town you live in in Vegas? Uh, mostly Summerlin. <laughs> yeah, I stay out with Nikki a lot when I'm out there. Oh, I really yeah. like Summerlin. Oh, okay. Here, put your All these man-made the ponds. We are playing the seven deuce game, folks. Fifty dollars per did. player. I went, I went to if you Street win with a seven girls. deuce, hundred dollars if you're the last one who folds. Austin, super fun for going out. Liz, two in a row, and wakes up with ace queen club, suited. And I was dancing quite enthusiastically, and everyone kept laughing at me. And I asked them, "Are you laughing because it's so good?" <laughs> I think they might have been. Are they good? Huh? You take the cuts out and we skin them. Sure. Uh, two raises to 135. You good? Did you get them? Juan with the Cowboys. 375. Makes it 375. Four bet here. Liz going nowhere. I think Nakia can exit stage left. Which she does. Heads up again, Liz and Juan. Part three. Four hundred. Three bets, four hundred. Four hundred into a nine eighty. Liz makes the call. Let's see, let's see what Liz does here. Six checks. Um, Juan's going to go all in. Liz correctly makes the fold. <clears throat> we told you about Sunday. How about Monday, yeah. folks? Monday's a huge day here at the lodge. <laughs> Doyle Brunson Day, all day from 12.01 a.m. to 11.59 p.m. As you see the cumulative winnings there, Juan up top. We're tipping for hand. I don't think we did that. Win with 10 deuce in your hand. As long as its trips are better and you play at least one of your cards, you're going to be entered into a drawing on the next day, on Tuesday. We will draw one of those names who qualified. They'll win $10,200. Well, I'm going to be here at midnight to start it off. Midnight Madness. Come play a little bit to start off Doyle Brunson Day with me, and then we'll tell you what's going to happen later that Monday and Tuesday. So much to tell you about, folks. And our first chance for the seven-deuce payoff, Caitlin. 
has seven deuce. But Krista, not Kristen, Krista, has the pocket nines. Ooh, not a bad flop for set seven deuce suited. A set for Krista. Liz, top pair here. Going to make the call. And Caitlin, of course, with the seven deuce of spades, she's definitely got incentive and some great equity. Big hand brewing. Uh -oh. Liz makes the call here. Mm. Open ender for Liz. And Caitlin with the spade draw and the seven deuce game. Huge pot. There's the boat and the check mark for Krista. Check. All in. Four is all in. All in for Krista. And Liz makes the call and is going to see the bad news. Liz gets stacked, the first player to get stacked. A big 40, $625 hand. I'm adding on five. Uh, Poobah is in chat. Poobah's lovely wife, Nakia, sitting in seat eight right there. And we want to know the date. Folks, we are going to stream on Monday, too. Remember we mentioned Doyle Brunson Day? Well, not only am I going to be here at Midnight Madness for an hour or so to kick off Doyle Brunson Day, but I'm also going to be on a special... Uh, Monday afternoon stream, 12.30 p.m. to 4.30 p.m. We're going to have a little one-two just so kicking it around on Doyle Brunson Day. I'll be on the how table. Much do I, need to add to match that? I think oh, Skull okay. Mike will actually be on the table as well, and others. A little one-two, very harmless poker. Looking, just featuring the excitement of Doyle Brunson Day. What a promotion this is going to be, folks. You're going to want to make it to the lodge at some point during the day on Monday. Yeah, we're good. Thank you. AW says they need to up it to 510. Nope. <clears throat> I'm playing. I want to play 1 2. Caitlin with Big Slick and Christy, who was on the stream last night, wakes up with the bullets. You got to love when somebody raises four bets. When you've got the bullets. Just going to call there. I know where do you play. 
Pardon? Uh, where do you usually play? Uh, in San Antonio. There's. Okay. Well, there's. Caitlin does have the ace of spades, two spades on the board. There's, <clears throat> there's really only two that I frequent, and then games as well. Um, 450. 450 into a 625 pot. Sound like you were playing. At least Christy about yeah. 1200 behind, and we actually it is a private game. She's going to take that one down. Wednesdays and Fridays, every Wednesday and Friday, it's a private game located in a card room, so it's an invite only game, but. One of those. It's some pretty big game. 442 <laughs> folks already watching this great stream. So, so much going on at the lodge. Everything's bigger in Texas, right? Absolutely. Not only am I excited about today, but tomorrow. Anytime Terrace comes into the studio, under the lights, things get crazy. Heads up. <laughs> Gretzky hand for Rhonda. Liz suited cards. Perfect. <laughs> <laughs> Save yourself a hand motion. Yeah, Doug Polk uh, stopped by. He got off an airplane, stopped by last night, and gave us 30 minutes in the commentary booth in the bunker. He was a big part of Doyle Brunson Day coming up with that great promotion. Before the end of the stream, oh, I'm going to get that down. <laughs> Look with the headband and the bangs. Thank bang. you. I try really hard. <laughs> and then I had the most nerves about what I was going to wear over the actual playing. <laughs> <laughs> I tried on so many outfits and went shopping twice. Oh, okay. you look okay. very good. Yeah, you look very so cute. Do I look natural? <laughs> like this? <laughs> Again, a conversation we've never heard on a Lodge live stream. Does Big Daddy Chaz go shopping before a stream? Very close to her. And uh, to choose an outfit. She came down to the pool and she was just adorable. She had a little black boho dress on and hoops and she had her hair in a uh, scarf, you know, tied back. And she just looked so adorable. I jumped on mine immediately and like duplicated the outfit. Got everything in. Done the little, you know, go in the bathroom and I'm like trying to figure this out, the scarf, and I have it on and I came out. And my son and my husband both looked at me, and my husband goes, why are you dressed like a pirate? <laughs> <laughs> oh, my gosh. Some people can pull it off, and some just can't. <laughs> That's so funny. Yeah, different looks Juan for different people. with it's seven deuce, four bets to 600. 600. Yeah. Six. And this... He is contemplating playing defense here. Juan wants the bonus. Nakia, the second time she's played Jack 8 today, maybe a favorite hand of hers. And Nakia just flops his flush. Juan says, That's not that bad of a flop for me because I got a spade, but little does she know. All in, and Nakia's going to snap call. Okay. Need some help. Juan needs 
more than help in this hand. Am I drawing dead? I think you're under. Picks up. Wow. How did you Somehow it's a ten or a deuce. Oh. Does not come. Nice hand. And Nakia <laughs> is going to double up. And there you see what happens in the seven deuce game, folks. <laughs> it does induce the action. It does. Krista. Leading the way, 25.95. Nakia, 19.95. Christy is up 275. Everyone else is losing. Liz currently throwing the party down oh, 2,075. Thank you. Yes, and anyone at this table did not know Joe is my husband. Adding on 2,000. You got it. Somewhere out there, Poobah is doing a dance around the TV. <clears throat> you need change? Yes. Kathy, can I get a quick run, please? I have plenty of change here. Never mind. You got it. Would, would you like just... Just, yeah. Here you go. 501 already watching. Let's do a little roll call. Let us know where you're watching from all over the world. We'll try to give you a shout out. Here's the ladies for Krista. And once again, we are have made the change in the system. It just takes a little while. Poopa, I, I question it exactly. 600 pre-flop call, but Jack H, that must be a favorite hand of hers. If it wasn't Pooba, it is now. Already, you can see the play is a little bit different than last night. Not saying better or worse, I'm just saying different. The sizings are way different. Lots of spades. <laughs> Juan with two pair, Kristen with the flush. Oh, that's one fifty. Juan looking for an eight or a three. Does not come. Yeah, just for Three checks. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Three checks. Three checks. Four bets. Three checks. 70% pot. Juan correctly lays it down. Let's go over Jimmy Jams checking in from Colorado. I figured I would. Johnny I like from Snyder, I, Texas. Town, I thought of you and I was like, she's having Mr. Houdini, I Miami, know. Florida. See one person. Like, Yoni is here at, here at the lodge, of course. <laughs> Christine from Phoenix, Arizona. <laughs> David from Manford, <laughs> Oklahoma. <laughs> Jimmy, <clears throat> the Cincinnati <laughs> kid. So there's no one in front of me. Mm -hmm. So I got a two. Robert from Newville. Where the box seat, so Jerome Teal, part of our Australian mafia from Melbourne. Kevin from Guyton, Georgia. My best friend in those Big Ant from Huntington oh, Beach, California. Thank you all. The small venue. Yes. <laughs> like Isaiah. This is me. Checking in from Over North down. Carolina. Really? Oh, that's crazy. <laughs> right oh, there. Christina from Austin. Thank you all for watching. Yeah. Oh. I don't. I, there was like rumors around that the show was like okay, but I don't ever trust anybody's judgment on my own. Yeah. 
I was very happy with it. There was rumors that what? That like the show wasn't good or like it was like not as hype. And then I went, I'm like, what are these people doing? Yeah. <laughs> They're just wrong. Like, you're just <laughs> wrong. Just hate. Yeah. <laughs> Who was it? Drake. Mm -hmm. yeah. And I never, I mean, I've always liked Drake, but. After I realized I was going to do a show, I listened to all of them. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I am now the biggest. Liz telling a story about the Drake concert. I, mm -hmm. I love him. And like turns a boat. More uh, than I did. Yeah, it's the power of concerts, man. Yeah. And I'm, I'm, I'm a big advocate on going to concerts. So I spend all my money on. Yeah. What's the best one you ever went to? Well, probably Coachella 2019, seeing Tame and Paula. Know who that is? Yeah, a lot of there. Am I like I'm so out of date? <laughs> he was him. Um, Drake is definitely up there. Glass Animals is a big, big favorite of mine too. I like a lot of electronic music too. Yeah. I switch it up. Sounds like he sounds like you're a dancer. I, I love to dance. <laughs> Cheaper therapy. Mm -hmm. <laughs> so you've been to EDC then and stuff? That is the one I haven't gone to. You haven't been to EDC? Sundown to sun up. I don't know if I can do it. That's... Caitlin with Ace Queen suited. Juan comes along on the button. That's the one in Vegas, right? Mm -hmm. I'm going to do it eventually. Probably next year before I have no energy left. <laughs> I've been on like Bonnaroo. I went on like a festival cruise. Really? It was the first cruise I've allowed. Christy four bets. Caitlin gets out of the way with her ace queen. Juan makes the call. Top top for Christy. Juan's going to lay it down. Let's go ahead and hear from our stream sponsor, Upswing Poker. What's up, guys? Doug Polk here with a quick story for you. Seven years ago, I founded Upswing Poker to create the best training course material out there. The result was the Upswing Lab. Unlike other subscription poker courses, the lab teaches you step by step how to become the best player at the table. When you join the lab, you don't just get thrown into a sea of videos. Instead, you get structured lessons that teach you crucial poker strategies that will help you win in No Limit Hold'em games, whether it's cash games or tournaments, both online and live. Whether you're a beginner or an advanced poker player, the lab has what you need to take your game to the next level. As a Lodge viewer, you can get $50 off the Upswing Lab with coupon code LODGE50. The course is backed by Upswing Poker's all-in 30-day money-back guarantee, so there's no risk on your end to join the lab. If you're serious about improving your game, head on over now to upswingpoker.com, join the lab, and use coupon code LODGE50 to save $50 now. Looking forward to seeing you guys in the lab. Oh my God, those people are actually going on a cruise. I drive Thanks, Doug. Use code LODGE50 to get $50 off. <laughs> Swing Lab training course and community. Um, <laughs> I want to give a big shout out to Pokerface Ash for doing such a great job yesterday. Yeah. Always nice to have Pokerface Ash. And she was thrilled when Doug just popped in and sat down right next to her. She. Got a kick out of that. They had never met before. Ace Queen for Krista. See, we got the name changed. She is now Krista, not Kristen. Last night we had a Christy, a Kristen, a Lara, and a Lara. Wait, what are you asking? 
Here's the flop. Top two for Krista. Christy with a backdoor flush draw. And the invite. The man who put all these games together, Skull Mike, just walked into the bunker. How we doing, Rick? Gotten off to a hot start. Yeah, I've been watching it in the main room, and this game seems uh, pretty lit. A bunch well, of coolers. They are playing the Seven Deuce game today. They it's, are. I wasn't sure. I wasn't yes. listening to the audio when I saw Juan blast off into the flop flush of Nakia's. I'm like, what are they doing? Yes, Seven Deuce is on. It's We've seen it twice. Who suggested the Seven Deuce? Who do you think? Nobody. Use your mind, Jedi mind trick. <laughs> I, if I had to guess, I would say it was Liz. You were wrong. It was Juan. Wow. Damn. She was my second guess. You kind of talked me into thinking it might have been Liz. <laughs> Crystal will win another hand. Move on to the next. Yes, we have... It, the game is playing much different than yesterday. I'm not saying better or worse, just yeah, different. The betting and the more aggression blood. is more blood. <laughs> is yes, there's more blood today. Yesterday was kind of a a friendly game. Adding on 2000. Oh, adding on 2000. Oh, okay. You gotta make him drink coffee. Yeah, he's never had coffee. He's never had a sip of coffee in his life. What's the number? Oh, I'm looking. How old? Just got bluffed on my last hand in the main room, too. A little tilted. A little tilted. Still, still one piece to not, though. I'm not starting to watch Star Wars because every time I tell somebody I haven't watched Star Wars, the reaction is better than itself. Yeah. Are you playing on Monday stream? Do you trust someone less if they... I don't know, Rick. Just leave me alone. You've got to tell the people. Well... Yeah. I'm not putting together any lineup. I don't want to be involved, honestly. Just well, then don't sure play. I will be playing. What's the stakes? One, two. Exactly. Actually, actually, when I met my husband when I was um, 19, like 18 years ago, I was like, this guy is perfect. He plays poker. It's amazing. He's so fun. And I was like, do you, guys, do you want to go grab a coffee? And he was like, I don't drink coffee. And I was like, red so close. So perfect. So close. So close. Yeah, baby. And then like two years ago, he's like, should I try coffee? And I was like, no, not at this. No. Oh, he hasn't done it? OK. <laughs> no. He tried to drink a latte, and he just, it was a lot. It was a latte. Yeah, yeah it, was a, it was a latte. It was a latte. <laughs> Wow. Yeah. <laughs> That's a knee slapper. <laughs> you don't drink coffee. I, do. I don't. That was witty. What's wrong with yeah, you? That was, that was Me, Poo, Pooba, and Andrew Moreno are the only ones who do not drink coffee. Yeah. I like coffee ice cream. That's weird. I know, right? It's not that weird. Gosh. There was a summer where I told myself, I want to get better at puns. <laughs> so I bought oh a couple gosh. puns. This is already Did adorable. You? I love that and dedication. Then I started, and I started watching the pun, the punny guys on YouTube. Well, now I know what I'm watching when I go home tonight. Yeah, the it's good. Guys. Yeah, they're so funny. It didn't improve, though. I think maybe, like, pun game is something you're just, like, born with. Yeah, just like or a not. natural witty. Yeah. I feel like those people are always scanning. I feel like we're getting to know Christy right. oh, yeah. so much over these last three years. I like Christy. She's amazing. Yeah. You want your brain to work that very specific way, sure. Yeah. <laughs> the jerky king of Round Rock is in chat. <laughs> I just popped oh, open a bottle a bag of new TKO jerky. <laughs> Get your jerky. <laughs> Change the name. No more J and K. It's TKO now. TKO. Yeah, it's a knockout punch. Mild, hot, and Lord have mercy. Sometimes I'm like, oh yeah, pun intended. I'm not scanning for it, but then I'm like, oh that was clever. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> like an accidental pun. <laughs> Saw Christy trapping with aces earlier against the yeah. ace king of Caitlin's. Yeah, I think she she's probably thinking she could have just put it all in. And I like Caitlin to trap in called. position on on the button. Don't mind that, but yeah, Caitlin would have called. Okay. Liz, first person who's had to 
Reload. Reload. It's not what you want to see. I'm kind of rooting for Liz. Of course. She's part of the team, you know? Iron Mike Brady roaming the facilities With today. his lovely wife. And, and about friends. six friends. Ruthless Hall, about two hours from now, will be joining. I was out in L.A. I did the Groundlings for about a year and a half, two years. Oh, how was that? Mm -hmm. It was super fun, but it's intense, you know? It's like yeah. any institution that's been around for a while. There's a lot of... Yeah, I heard the Groundlings was like the most cutthroat. It can be, yeah. There are a lot of teachers there that they don't do you mince words, you know. Yeah. They, they let you have it. <laughs> yeah. It, UCB was like like a cloud, probably, compared to Groundlings. I don't know. I mean, well, because the thing about UCB is they got the house teams that get really competitive, especially when my friends were doing it when we were back in New York. It was, like, really hard to get on a house team. Interesting. What made you... You just... Just, no. oh. Here we go. Seven dues for Krista. <laughs> Krista is running hot. I owe you two. No, no, no. Because that was the last person who folded to you. Oh. And she gets an extra 50 from Juan because Juan was the last person to fold. This seven deuce game is not the kind of Juan. Yeah, Let's see Krista's so reaction. Texas, and I was like working in a hotel. Of winning with seven and, uh, deuce. Uh, okay. Yeah, the clubs were <laughs> stone faced. Pay up. <laughs> Pay up. I love it. And start playing more. Yeah. 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 Uh, I was doing really well, and so I decided to go make poker my main thing. The beginning. Oh my goodness! One, my first one of my all-time like favorite club. people is in chat. I've never met her. Oh, and, uh, then I decided. But I'm a huge to fan. Well. So Marley. Marley. To shift my focus to content. And Can I just tell you, Slick Rick is a big fan of yours. Easy, easy. She's. Yeah. I met her uh, husband out in Vegas this summer. Do, He's pretty cool. They've both been running hot. I think they both won some tournaments recently. Big fan of Marley. She's never met me, but I'm a big fan. I love Texas. I hate the heat, but I love it here. Yeah, it's so great that you can. Um, Poobah's like, liking the slow mo. I mean, that's. Pocket nines that's for Juan. Like you can just be different because you have two passions, like kind of like how Lizzo's a singer, but she's also a flute player. Yeah, <laughs> you know. I'm still trying to figure out how like to best organize my time, what I want to devote most of my attention to. For mm -hmm. sure, it's hard to do all of it. Um, I think. This fall, I'm going to start doing stand-up again. Joe Stapleton invited me to do a couple openings for him, so I'm going to start getting ready for that. And Amazing. Back on the mic. Yeah. See how that suits me. Yeah. So back on it. So you did it before? Yeah, so I did stand-up. Rhonda hits her queen. And I toured with a burlesque company mm -hmm. and, like, hosted the show and did a bunch of stand-up. So, yeah. So the best. He, and he's such a, like... Princess of you know, V-Pip. Kind of guy, you know, he just is blasting he off Ronda two pair queens and eights. Yeah, he's he's one of my faves. Yeah, they're bringing the North American tour back, so he's going to do some live shows for oh. them. And then I think there are a couple other people that are interested. I don't know if they're like public about it yet, but yeah, yeah, some exciting names. I think we're we're all. Schwan here excited. in the big blind. Amazing. Not yeah. afraid after a bet and a call. <laughs> Once. Let's Adam, Adam Pliska from the WPT uh -huh. bet me $1,000. Well, so first I, so Lynn Gilmartin had a roast on WPT and I came in and like, I roasted her, but Love obviously it. she's like my best friend. It was the best kind of roast, you know? Yeah. Um, and then he challenged me for $1,000 to charity to do a five minute stand up. So I had to do it, of course. And it was so fun. And Joe kind of helped me and he, oh, heck yeah. yeah, he back to Nakia. Yeah, he. It was. It was time so to fun. exit. And I've been to wanting to to do it again, for fun. Look at those fierce yeah. nails she's got going on. Yeah, she's nail game is strong. strong. Yeah, the key is looking sharp. All these ladies bringing strong, time. having a good time today. We gotta get the metal detector back out. Check your levels. <laughs> Let me just tell you, ladies, something. I am experiencing this wonderful thing in my life where I get. Absolutely so hot that I it's uncontrollable. And then you're always cold. Oh, I'm bone chilling cold. Yeah. Right? Oh, you're cold too. Yeah. <laughs> so it's just really lovely. You know, Skull Mike playing with the keyboard. I mean, we missed it yesterday, right? Right on cue. Rob is on fire. I was given specific instructions not to press that. The only way that that one's on me. 
can get rid of it is to submerge myself in really hot water. Same. Like, like, it's like I can't put layers on. I have to take a hot shower, hot yeah, tub. It's like crazy. it's awful. I go in my car with the seat heaters. <laughs> <laughs> Socks are usually my my go-to. Help me. Did I get you? Christy with the snowman. Random seat draw. Christy draws the same seat sitting next to Krista. Yesterday she was sitting next to Kristen. It's like, oh my goodness. Yeah. <laughs> Folks, you're not going to want to miss it. The winner main event coming November 28th through December 3rd. 500000 guarantee. $500 buy-in. You're not going to want to miss the winter. When does winter start? Winter starts the official in first December, day. right? December 20th, 21st? No. Let us know. What is the first day of winter? I'm, I'm not 100%, but yeah. But anyways, get here to the lodge. $500 buy-in. 500K guarantee. November 28th through the 21st. Of December, oh, yeah. you know? the twenty-first of December. Know, I was right. It's a it's a show where they like pull names out of the hat and people go. We need to talk to this. And some people are really the good because it's a place where a lot of people do stand up, and some people just bomb. And it's Liz like with the tanks here comedians. raises the thirty-five. Krista with the hockey sticks. Do they do that with Joe Rogan and Tom Siegel? Segura, yeah, yeah, yep, yeah. Yep. yeah, yeah, yeah. Aaron Page. One of our co in chat once again. Oh, he did. Did he go up? <laughs> Tom. The Colorado Tom. boy now. Yeah, how do you do? Former Lodge uh, employee. He got roasted. <laughs> <laughs> he got roasted. I feel like, wait, it was it recent? I don't think it was recent. Someone King 4 5. The 10's still in the lead young. for Liz, but she's going to be a little bit worried after wow. three it's other opponents are involved yeah. here. willing to just to do it. No, he's, he has, you know, it takes a lot of courage to, to get up there and get roasted. Is this a one Schwan not buying what Liz is selling. A raise and now a call with the sevens here from Krista. Interesting from Krista. Liz is going to complete. So imagine this will go check, check. And does Juan want to peel a free one or continue the pressure? She's going to see that free card. There's the 10 for Liz. And Krista's going to fire at it. 300 Abs into a half pot size bet. Absolutely time for a raise here. 700, 750. Did you see that little flick? See if we could get that on slow-mo if I was fast enough. The little flick of the chip. Look at that. Do karaoke, let alone Liz, the Liz flick. <laughs> that was nice on that one. level. The flowers up on the board. I like that. I was wondering. That's all sassy. Is that just for ladies? I guess so. Yeah, At least no, it's no, not chip. You need to calm down a little bit. <laughs> <laughs> that was a great <laughs> flick of the chip. It was moving 300 out of the way to make room for the banana. You've never done something as artful in your life. Trying to get us except the last time you went next door to paint by numbers. You've never seen me in that place in your time. What are you talking about? I saw you in that place once. What are you talking about? <laughs> you keep bringing up these erroneous time. lies, and your Longhorns are going to get smacked. Smacked up. Nope. Not yet. So even when I'm drunk, super sober. I just, like, I, I freak out. I freak out. I don't know. If I sang, maybe with, like, my back towards the crowd, and I just sang to the wall, that might be okay. One day. It's called painting with a twist, by the way. I'm not a terrible by numbers. It's called parking Idiot. in their spots oh, no, and get towed. That's true. Don't we can agree on that. It was <laughs> amazing. Bye bye bye. Oh, oh did you yeah. do that on the cruise? 
Yeah, I think I saw the video. Yeah. Well, you're, yeah, you've got a lot of confidence, Kevin. <laughs> it, it shows. Not many people have that. I do, just not in front of the glass. Rhonda <laughs> puts on the glasses. Do you do it? Gets the Gretzky hand. The kismet we did. Finish that lyric. The karma, the the one on the card. Yeah, too. You're so impatient. You haven't even like lost a significant pot. <laughs> you just won that big pay. Yeah. Don't stop judging me. <laughs> There's no judgment in this room. No, I'm kidding. Not at all. <laughs> you know what? I'm I'm just upset now. We're just. Gonna... <laughs> Nobody's dived into that bottle oh, of wine upset. today. Yes. <laughs> Now we know. Okay. New tissue box, too. Notice that? New tissue box? <laughs> all right, baby. Seven deuce, right? Went in after the stream last night to yeah, say thank right. you to all the ladies. I've never never seen more glasses and bottles, and there was water and wine. Oh, and unlucky. I've never oh. seen so many ladies leave the room so fast as soon as you walked in. Shoot, they all they turned around and 40. headed right out of there. I know. I know. Like Who's that, who's that creepy old man? Pocket queens for Christy. <laughs> you request a space heater for all our delicate bones. <laughs> and also an AC unit. Yes. Not the best fl flop for pocket queens. It's kind of a bipolar kind of. Kind of goes up and down. Yeah. It's. I never know what I'm going to get. The key looking for the ten of clubs. That's all that can help her at this point. I see it. It does. Shwan, are you cold? Yeah. Would you like to borrow my jacket? Um, I, you know what? I have a sweater right here. Okay. <laughs> my feet are cold. Oh. I'm wearing sandals. Well, yeah, I saw your Tevas. I'm a big fan of them. I know <laughs> the lodge. Nine Nine tevas. Tevas. How do you say it? Yeah. Yeah. Tevas? You say Tevas? I don't know. I don't even said the word. I say tevas. <laughs> yeah. I never questioned it. Check mark for Christy. Someone was like, what did you say? I'm like, <laughs> Tevas? We know. I have like five pairs of them. Yeah. It reminds me of like camp. I'm like yeah. grade five. Uh huh. <laughs> <laughs> Another big event coming down the pike. The heads up yes. open in October. But to kick that off, how about this one? Rampage. Coming to town. To play Doug. Heads up. We'll stream it live October 12th. You're not going to want to miss that one. The young one comes to town. And we played Knit Game. Heads up. With the seven deuce, yes. With the seven deuce. And the seven deuce was a 500 or a 1,000. I can't remember. But it was Six fun. <laughs> Sounds spicy. Fun. It was a lot of fun. Mm -hmm. Help me understand a heads up. Mickey. I don't get it. I was quick. I imagine. <laughs> <laughs> I may have stolen that. Yeah. <laughs> I believe it was, it was seven deuce only. I'm sorry. 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 i am sorry i I think Rampage might get him as well. He then might have the opportunity himself to play with Rampage in the studio. Under the lights! If he chooses. Yeah. It's pretty refreshing, though, to see these ladies and not Efan in his striped shirt. Chop it all up. You know what I'm saying? Efan does not wear striped shirts anymore. He sold them all. I went to his garage sale, bought every single one of his striped shirts. You framed them to send to the Poker yeah. Hall of Fame in the year no, 2037. No, no, no. 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 What happens if you travel flat and then hit game? All this talk uh, of the knit game, it's like we're teasing each other. Can we just get the knit buttons out and fire it up? Yes, yes. 
Let's go. None of this. See, let's go. That's what I'm talking about. All right, here we go. Knit game. You know how it works. Everybody gets a knit button. Look how Kevin does it. Does it with left hand and the right hand. Win a hand. Show that winning hand. You can release your knit button back to the dealer if you are the last person with the knit button. You're going to pay the knit tax, $50 to every single player. He's a player here. He brought it. Oh. He brought it here. Yeah. Okay. Yeah, Laura's husband. Yes. Uh, ladies, are we going to continue the seven deuce, or do you want to convert to this? I just want to sure clarify. Oh, sorry. Uh, continue. Let's well. convert. Okay. For this yeah. round. Convert. Um, this also, how much, are, how much is the tax, or the, what are you playing for? Twenty-five or fifty. Uh, fifty dollars a person. Okay. Fifty a person. Swan is not shy. Yeah. <laughs> just fifty dollars per person, ladies. That's it. I love it. It's funny. She's she's ready to answer whatever whatever she can do to increase the stakes. She's down with. She's played in some of the biggest games we've ever played. She is actually featured in the biggest hand ever here at the lodge. It's the gonna best be the hand. hand of the year as well. She was in that game, hand of the year. Was she not? Yes. The Bill Perkins, Perkins game? hand. She was sitting right next to hands. It's one of my favorite hands of all time. <clears throat> Knit game. Juan playing the 9 3 offsuit. I always thought it was K N I T. Like a little, like a knit. <laughs> <laughs> like, I'm so nitty, you know? <laughs> no? Right. That's a good point, you guys are kind. Yeah, we're going to <laughs> <laughs> I thought you were going to forget to show. I, I almost did. It's I the first time I played the knit game. <laughs> I've never played it either. This is my first time. Yeah, no, this is my first. This is my first hold on stream. Wow. What did, what did you, so you played PLO? I play PLO, yeah. Oh, okay. Cool. I always see you in like PLO, VO. PLO. I play Highland mostly. Yeah. Nice. But I was like, why not why give not? everybody else the edge? <laughs> <laughs> Two cards. I, I keep stopping and not looking at my hands, waiting for more to be dealt Yeah. <laughs> like like, like every, almost every time. I think I would play more PLO if I had bigger hands. Like hey, actual like, hands. Like, hands. Like, <laughs> you should see me looking at PLO hands. Yeah. <laughs> Even these cards, like the big, the big. Uh, ace king like, suited for Liz. <clears throat> suited ace for Christy. Like that mixed game last night, Kev. I, I couldn't. I was like, I don't. Yeah. Play two hands. I'm like, I don't. I don't want to do this. <laughs> <laughs> That was my first time. I was like, oh, this will be fun. I'm like, I don't yeah. know what any this of this is. This will be fun. The day stogie, the badoogie, badoogie. I'm, like, oh. <laughs> mm -mm. I'm out. Yeah. Too many cards for me. The huh. game is on. That's why yeah. football. Christy is completes. Here we go to the flop. It doesn't last long. 17 weeks plus the playoffs and the Super Bowl. I'm good. Diamond draw for Christy. We them boys. No. Yeah. Did you check? Yeah, it's, it's tough. <laughs> it's tough being a Cowboys fan, but I, I really, I'm, I, I'll be honest with you, I love Joe Burrow and Jamar Chase. Yeah. You can just tell Cincinnati. that's such a good dude, Joe Burrow. Yeah. Like, you can just tell. Like, I, I want to give him a hug. Me too. <laughs> no, no, no. I want to I wanna give him a hug and, <laughs> and, him a hug and say, why didn't you wait until week five to play? <laughs> <laughs> You're like, hey, well. so in, um, the Bills game against the Jets this year. The Flush draw possibilities Robert for both players now. Our house watching it, and I'm like, get him, break his effing ankle. Oh, and then the no. next play, it was like, manifested oh. it. I did not mean that. <laughs> I didn't actually mean that. Oh. <laughs> oh, oh, now we feel bad. Yeah, <laughs> I have to be very careful with what I say during football. Well, you're on, you're on camera now, so they now know. <laughs> <laughs> and Aaron Rodgers watches. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> <laughs> He's gonna be like, it's that girl. <laughs> Flush draw for both players. Oh, I heard about that. Oh, really? Someone did yeah. that? Oh, my God. He tweeted he something an hour yeah, before the, the tweet, incident. And yeah. I didn't see the tweet. There is yeah, a yeah, play like hockey because it's so fast-paced. Mm, yeah, um, but, yeah I'm definitely a big hockey fan.
So many people manifested him to get hurt. That's why it happened. <laughs> Big bet from Christy. Raised to 775. No player with a pair. Both players on draws. The ace king is good and a whole bunch of equity as Liz makes the call, it looks like. It's going to be interesting to see if she bricks and then Christy fires again. If Liz can make the hero call, but let's see what the river is. The ace king is good. Christy's come too far to give up now, especially with both players with their nit button. So she will fire. You got to believe she's firing, and Liz likely will fold. Pull the trigger, Christy. She checks. There's an ace. Six checks. Goes check, check, and the ace king is good. Liz, very happy to see Showdown wins a 2K pot with ace high. Christy realizes. Yeah, Christy's going to be a little upset when she watches that one back that she did not pull that trigger. She was a little hard on herself on Twitter. Yes, this I morning. saw that. Yeah. I talked to her early pre stream. Yeah. Ace. We're all, we're all a little harder on ourselves. And she's just get back in, back to playing poker after right. having a child and taking some time off. She's been playing at the lodge though all week, playing very very well. You got to imagine if she's been playing more regularly and consistently that she would indeed pull that trigger there on that river. Just kind of mentoring him, giving him maybe maybe we could find a lot of like right in between. Yeah, we're yeah. Gonna chill. I would like yeah. that. I think that would be a lot of fun. All right, good for that. <laughs> it's cheaper to get like tickets than it is to actually buy a jersey. Jersey is like two hundred bucks. Tickets are like hundred. Yeah, they definitely get you. Sorry, no, you're knocking your knee. You're good. You're good. He will be testing for his real estate license uh, when he turns eighteen. We are in the middle of the knit game. You see the red dot by the person's name. That means they still have their knit button. How about a straight for Rhonda? Top pair for Sam. Bunch of backdoor equity as well, but she's only sitting at 9% right now, and she's firing. Ron, they're going to make a smooth call there. Caitlin with a pair of 10s, and the ace of diamonds comes along, and Christy with two pairs, so a little something for everybody, and you got to imagine Christy's a little bit tilted after letting that last hand get away. She might believe in her two pair here and go for a raise. And that's exactly what she is doing. A large raise from Chrissy. It's about 600. 500 it is. Unfortunately, Rhonda flopped the joint. And the knit game makes people do crazy things. Sam, the only one without her knit button. Top oh, pair. And she rips in. it. Hand number 32. Going to be a massive one. Rhonda never folding the nut straight here. Something's in the water here in Round Rock today at the Lodge. Little Hollywood here from Rhonda. I'm all in. All in. That should do it for Caitlin. Christy. Don't think she wants to play for her entire $3,000 stack after all of this action. Got two pair. Started the betting off. So many people lose so much money with two pair, Rick. Could be drawing dead a number of different ways. Larger two pairs, sets, etc. But still, her 10-9 has 17%. She could bow it up, but I think you got to send this into the muck. God, I wish we were still playing seven deuce. Rhonda. A little more juicy. A little chatty, Rhonda. A little comment. Wish the seven deuce game was on. Ha, ha, ha. Just sitting here with the nuts. 
$6,000 in the middle. Christie's going to get to see it regardless since the Nick game is on and there's multiple all-ins. Wow. So perhaps she makes a good lay down here, gains some confidence back. Taking her time, rightfully so. This is a big one. The biggest spot we've had in the last two days, no, Rick? I would say so. <laughs> Table silent. She doesn't have any diamonds in their hand. Somebody could be on the flush draw. Mm -hmm. Somebody could have a hand like king, queen, ace, king, etc. We are beating those type of holdings, but... It's tough with two people going all in. And for your entire you. stack. Exactly. Think chat one for a call, two for a fold. One for the call, two for the fold. I think she's gonna end up laying this one down. I want her hand. You want my hand? I think so. Rhonda, yeah. Still talking. I love it. You want me to call? Do I want you to call? Yeah. <laughs> uh. <laughs> <laughs> well. <laughs> Question. Oh, I would have. I would want me to call if I had a draw, but I don't have a draw. You don't have a draw. I don't have a draw. You're set. No. no. <laughs> okay. Well, he might have just talk me out of it, but I don't know. Lays it down. Ooh. Lays it down. Showdown, please. Good lay down from Christy. Oh jeez. And Sam's going to need a lot of help here. Runner, runner. Running hearts. Jack for the chop. Yeah. I mean, yeah. Rhonda in great shape here to win 3,700, and she does. A premature raise. Christy would not have gotten there. Didn't like that flush. So she's going to feel good about that fold. Yeah. And Rhonda's <laughs> going to rake it in as she usually does here on this stream. Yeah, Rhonda, who runs hotter than Rhonda? Rhonda should officially be looking for properties in and okay. <laughs> around the lodge area. Slide it in. <laughs> Although she is just a short drive from San Antonio. She Comes up the tollway, saying it's much more relaxing than coming up I-35. Yeah. Especially on a Longhorn Saturday. Rhonda up 28-40. Nakia, the only other winner at 11-80, and Juan now throwing the party down about 2,700. Yeah, because I was watching. I was like, is this... And then I think one of the commentators or someone in the comments said it was. Well, That's when they come in handy. I store secrets. 670. Same. Watching already. Is that your car keys? <laughs> Rhonda takes down another pot. We are playing the knit game. Believe they've settled on fifty dollars per player. That's what the last person with their knit button will pay everybody. The seven deuce game is off during the knit game. They decided to not have the combined effect of a knit game and seven deuce. Do you think that will stand? Like on the next knit game, I, I bet you they flip the switch. Right? I don't know. 
I'll take action on that. Cool. And if there is not a second I'm, game, then I'm, there's no bet. I'm just loving my action with oh, my Joel. You're, su you're such a damn nit. With Joel, $100 bet. I got that same bet, too. <laughs> Joel's drawing dead. What a sucker, Joel. <laughs> Sam with suited Broadway cards, three bets to 225. The great Caitlin. Caitlin and Nick, Nikki from Ace Holes fame on the YouTubes. Funny stuff. Yeah, shout out to her and Nikki. Love Caitlin and everything that she does here locally and beyond. She's going to see the flop making the call. Sam and Caitlin, they are pretty close with one another. Good friends. Sam, fresh off of being felted, connects again with top pair. Not the flop that Caitlin wanted to see. No clubs. Picks up some equity here on the turn. Eight now would give her a straight. <laughs> But for 350, don't think you're interested in continuing here. Unless you want to be really, really frisky. Your opponent only has 925 behind. Could flat and maybe try and represent diamonds. And she is raising. Savage raise here from Caitlin against one of her good buddies. And it's not going to work. Sam with just 925. You got to admire the heart here from Caitlin. Nobody wants to be felted on back-to-back -back hands, so a lot of pressure from Caitlin, but it's not going to work unless she connects with an eight on this river. Check mark for Sam, two pair. All in for her remaining 375. And you feel sick to your stomach now. If you're Caitlin, it's 375. There's so much in the middle, and she's going to get rid of it. I'm going to add on 15. I don't even know if you can really fold there for 370. Maybe Sam was on busted diamonds, right? You're be beating something like that. Tough one there for Caitlin, and Sam rebounds after that previous hand versus Rhonda. <laughs> Folks, we'd love for you to subscribe to the channel. We just crossed over 144,000 subscribers. Hit that thumbs up. It's See if you can do that right now. It doesn't cost you anything. Helps us yeah. out. <laughs> Hit that thumbs up. So technically the house is voting on me because Joe, by relation, is voting on her. Yeah. So nice. Y'all have that working that against y'all. <laughs> How much is it? We raised it to 75. Liz with the ladies. Nikki and Juan with their knit buttons, though. Liz checks back and says, yep, they're still ladies. Chip is five hundred dollars, and that's what Liz bets. No fear from Liz. You love to see it <laughs> against an experienced player such as Swan.
who at every moment tops off to the maximum. She's going to make the call. Looking for one of the two aces that remain. Does not come. That's 1, Pushes a banana in the middle. Not afraid of a 10 nor a 9. Swan does have a smidge of showdown value. 10s and 9s with the ace. Yeah. And she's going to pay it off. Liz is going to get paid. Liz, after getting stacked earlier, gets it all back in that hand. Nice little $4,500 pot with the ladies. And she was out there grinding the 1-3 table during yesterday's ladies game, <laughs> practicing. She's up a cool 2K early. And that's probably got to be one of Liz's biggest hands she's ever played. Might be. It's interesting, Juan. She's she's played on such on a much bigger. It, her and Rhonda <clears throat> playing some big games, and this is a big game, but it, not nearly as big as they played or are used to. Or are used to, yeah. So it's it's interesting. So if I walk out of here, my mic will be turned. No, the, yeah, they'll turn it off. Because <laughs> I don't want to get on the phone. <laughs> if you don't feel comfortable, you can mute it yeah. yourself and then just. I always do that just in case. Yeah, yeah just in case they forget or something. <laughs> oh, is this? Ooh, back nope. to back. Back to back. back. Yeah, back. Nice. Okay. Liz, starting to stack chips. You know how to mute it. Yeah, I said, I put it together. So mute. But it's saying you. Yellow is good. Yeah, that's good. They can hear me. Yes, they can hear you. All right. I live in the domain, so I like walk the dealers. Yeah. I live in here there, too. Oh, my God. I live like there 51st. I said it last time. We're going to be really good friends. I know it. I'm down. I love new friends. I don't love new friends, but. But you're in. Okay. That's going to feel yeah. special. <laughs> I really like new friends. Ace game for Krista. Hard, hard to make friends <laughs> at our age as a female. Yeah. It's, it's definitely d more difficult than. And my husband's always bringing people. No. Oh. I'm like, dude, you can't just collect random puppies. Yeah. Mm -hmm. yeah. Oh, yeah. I would love if they just you know, brought me puppies. Well, yeah. <laughs> Actual puppies is fine. Yeah. <laughs> who, who just like said, I don't like new friends? Was yeah. that Sam? It was Sam. But Liz passed the test. It's, it's hard. And a lot of my friends I've had for like 20 years, so living here, it's been... You know that Drake song, right, I've don't you? i like that sort of connection. No. No new friends? No new friends? Rap song of the day. That's your homework. It also takes a lot of energy. Four bucks. Yeah. Or enough time. Yeah. We also just had a baby too, right? Yeah. yeah. I'll check. I'll check. Liz again with the check mark. What an orbit it's been for Liz. Six checks. Shipper the biscuit. Thirty-seven hands in. These ladies played at a rapid pace. Yesterday, saw about 150 plus hands on the stream, so still early on. I don't want to see Liz lock up this win, you know? I want to see her continue to be aggressive. Oh, cold. Yeah. I'm wearing a turtleneck. Yeah. And I'm wearing, like, wolf When I saw you too. today, I was like, yeah, she Same. Yeah. was cold yesterday. <laughs> That's yeah. why I dress like I did today. I'm wearing boots with the, no, boots with the fur, you know. <laughs> Bringing it back, baby. <laughs> oh, hell, did it go somewhere? No, I was going to say, it actually didn't go anywhere. <laughs> I forgot we were playing. 
Still playing the knit game. Yeah, well, I forgot we were playing because I just bleeding. keep bleeding everything. Caitlin with big slick. Three hundred. Raising from the big blind. I got a seven sand in the knit game. Oh, don't do it. <laughs> Heads up, that Nakia. Was a snap call from Nakia before the camera could even get on her. Her yeah. chips are in the middle, dominated and crushed. That would have just, just been for fun. Um, that would have just been for fun, basically. Um, I get you carried away. Yeah. <laughs> wow, I've really screwed this up. We'll just deal with that when we depart. <laughs> you can't imagine what I've done here with the I mic and the cord guesses. and the. Two hundred dollars, just king bad. high for Nikia. Uh, well, I work. In the, I can help you with that if you need me to. I'm gonna go to the restroom here shortly okay. and uh, figure this out. Whatever I have done. Caitlin shows her hand, gets rid of her knit button. And do you want the knit game or? <laughs> <laughs> I'm never gonna forget never that story. From, you know Caitlin's famous lie. It's a great story. I'm free balling. We forgot about that. <laughs> that was last year, uh, Halloween. No, let me explain. Oh, God. Costume time coming around the corner. I think I've got a great costume. I'm you're not going to tell you. You're going to be a UPS guy. We've no. already discussed this. If you're, if you're anything but that, I don't care. <laughs> UPS. No offense to UPS. Yeah, available Boring. On Amazon as well. I, oh I want to God. Say I, I don't really give a crap about your Halloween costume. P -P Says the guy who came as a milk goat. I or cow, what, what were you last year? Something that you yeah, were milking. Like Chrissy with the hockey stick. You, you gave it to yeah. Masato. It's oh, a gosh, shout out Masato. Treatment if you didn't tell her you had nothing on. We are live, though, so maybe. <laughs> if you wear that same hot dog costume, I'm going to egg your car or, or something. I, uh, no, I'm not I wearing that. Or your face. I'm not wearing that. Interesting. Three, four, five. Open ender for Rhonda. Pair flush for Juan. And the flush draw. Yeah. <laughs> Still has her knit button as well. So Christy, another tough spot for her. The overpair to the board. Rhonda's on the button, open ended. So this pot could blossom. Christy with the overpair here. Got no, shot straight, draw. No easy decisions for her today. It's tough when Juan still has her knit button, and you know she's clearly capable of doing this with much less. You see she is the equity favorite just by a smidge. The seven's still technically in the lead. But you're going to be facing a lot of heat on future streets. But she makes the call. Yep. Harder spot for Rhonda. Could be dead against a hand like 6-7. She's not even going to love the turn if she connects with the set. She gets away. <coughs> and Juan and Christy will go heads up to a turn. Not much changes. Board pairs. Fives and threes versus sevens and threes. Six hundred. Six hundred into the thousand dollar pot. Christy's been put in the blender a bunch today. Yeah, Christy, if she makes this call, this pot's going to be at about twenty two hundred. SBR is going to be less than one. Swan. Could believe that her fives and threes are good here, so could be a cheap river potentially if the flush doesn't come in. Both players could be happy to get the showdown, but we are here on the turn facing a $600 wager. 
And if Christie's calling the flop, she's calling in this turn on the three of diamonds. Final table, looking for Kev. a 10 5 or, or heart here for Juan. Does not come. So Christie has the check mark. Let's see if Juan continues. It's interesting. Could easily go check, check. Unless Juan doesn't believe that her five is good and wants to turn that into a bluff. Would need to be for all of it. Three checks. Five checks. Five. Check, check. Christy's going to win a nice pot. Nice hand, Christy. A lot of heat oh. on the flop and turn. Oh, no. <laughs> but the sevens were good pre, and they are good post. And she gets rid of her knit button. So Nakia and Juan, I believe, are the last two. Oh, I'm sorry. Krista also has her knit button. So there's three left. Sorry. <laughs> so I know. I'm old. I can get away with that shit. <laughs> if you're a fan of Ruthless, Ruth Hall, she will be joining us here in the bunker in a little bit. In about an hour. Get him, it's Ruth. Is that an example of my Yes, I do. It's again, big thank you to Poker Face Ash for joining us yesterday. Yes. Ronda just stacking chips. Suited Broadway cards. Raises it to 150. Nakia with the Gretzky hand here. And the knit button. King for Rhonda. Interesting bet here from Nakia. Leading into the aggressor pre who connects this board way more favorable for Rhonda's range versus Nakia's. And she's going to face a raise right away. So what do you do with your nines now? Quickly makes the call. Nakia does not waste any time. I think seven. This is trouble for a pair of nines. That's what I'm, yeah, that's what I'm seeing. And she's going to lead again. Lead turn. After a leading flop, 350 bet, almost a half size pot bet. Uh, Rhonda's asking for a count right away. Wants to know how much Nakia is cooking with over there in the eight seat. Ronda now will just make that call to the river we go. The key is still with her knit button. Nine ball corner pocket. Does not come. Two pair for both players now. What do you have in the back there? Just reds. Okay, thank you. Mm -hmm. Sorry. <clears throat> 1475 in the middle. Action on the Kia. Rhonda never folding, thinking about either raising or just calling the 500. No chance this gets through. Oh, I don't like it, but I call. Yeah. I just have nines. That's no good. Rhonda. That's no good. Oh, you have me scared. I'm an ace king. I played that frightened of ace king. Can I add on this game? Kia reaching into the back for more chips. Rhonda continues her assault. I'm adding 15. 1,500 add on. The gentleman of the lodge, Jay Wynn Poker, enters chat. 15. One of the nicest guys you'll ever meet. They have snacks. You never say that about Efan when he joins the chat. Efan's a legend. So is Jaywin. But you know, Efan, different, different player. I love Efan. 
He knows it. I see E fan come into the stream room, rocking a hat. Hoodie, glasses, maybe some sweatpants just one time. I got <laughs> Saying, sup, what's up, Rick? <laughs> Here for the stream, bro. Look it up on the stream, bro. Speaking of which, Tara is going to be in the building tomorrow with E-Fan on the foul. One calls, two calls, three You're not going to want to miss it. British Bulldog, Juan, tomorrow, 3 p.m. Central. <laughs> I know that was why I wanted to copy because it doesn't keep your hands. I immediately removed the little sleeve on that. Heart draw, nut heart draw for Rhonda along with her ace. Doesn't get much better than that, Rick. That's 150. One. Approaching 800 in the live chat. Folks, we are just a few likes away from 200. Do us a favor. Click that thumbs up. Get this word out to the masses that this is the stream they should be watching. Hey. It's interesting. Woke up this morning. Uh, actually, when it got here to the lodge... Appreciate you. We didn't have many live viewers last night, as many as we thought, Thank but you. over 15,000 views already on last night's stream. So a lot of people must have watched it after it took place yesterday. So got a great turnout with regards to views. Stopped at Chick-fil-A this morning for my breakfast. Saw Anastasia there working the drive through <laughs> No, Anastasia had a tough <laughs> night yesterday. I'm just kidding. You'll never see <laughs> the beautiful Anastasia at a Chick-fil-A. Come on now. <laughs> she didn't play bad. She was aggressive. Got sucked down oh, oh, yeah. twice. I prefer the regular in the freezer, and then you dip it in ice cream. Oh. From Esther, that was a brutal run out yesterday yes. versus yeah. Esther. When it comes to snacking, I'm... <laughs> Ridiculous. Okay. Yeah, I'm with, I'm usually all chocolate. I very rarely like any like gummies or anything like that. I know my hoodie doesn't match your outfit, but do you want my blue hoodie? I have my hoodie. Okay. I'm just waiting for this Nikki. 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 Okay, Nikki. yeah. I'm like, I guess I can't get up now because I'm going to if I do. Okay. <laughs> Check mark for Schwan. Yeah. Better kicker to go along with her sevens. Three checks. Showdown. Two pair of nines and sevens. And Juan is going to get rid of her knit button. So I believe we're down. Thank you. Just two players. Our mate Singh says, I will like if you say under the lights. Harmeet, I will do it just for you, Harmeet Singh. I usually don't take requests, but since you asked so nicely. On the button, new poll, where does Juan finish the stream? Stuck heaps or up thousands? We want to hear from you folks. Yep. Participate in our poll, non-scientific poll. 
Pre She's off to a rough start. Nakia still with her knit button. I think it's just down to Nakia and Krista. Juan fires out 400 with the ducks. She's going to win with the best hand at the time. Caitlin with the fives raises the 30. Juan comes along. Krista on with the knit button. Three bets to 100 with Big Slick. Now it's a question of Nakia knowing that she might have to pay the tax. She comes along with ace three to play a little defense. <laughs> the poker shy. Top top for Krista. Krista says, I want to get rid of this knit button now. Makes it 300. Nakia hates folding here, but knows she's in jeopardy of losing the knit game. And it will get through as she shows Big Slick. So Nakia is going to pay everyone $50. That was the last knit thing to you. What a dream. The princess of V Pip. You get 50 and you get 50. If we first started, I would have been happy. Now I'm going to put my clip Seven deuce back on. Cumulative winnings. There you see Rhonda killing it up 4,100. Juan throwing the party down f almost 4,900. Where's Liz doing well at 26.65? B Pip, there you see him. Juan playing a lot of hands. Kathy, can I have some of the wine that uh, Spoon um, Mike brought for us? You have a hand. Oh, okay. I didn't know if you it? had to pour it. We can pour oh. it. All right. Thank you. Yes, ma'am. Wow. Thank you. Very nice. Normally, somebody nice. Ace deuce for Sam. <laughs> Why are you afraid you chew weird? No. <laughs> it's just, you know. Yeah, I get it. 
Bunch of ladies away from the table playing five handed on this one. Defan has a crush on Swan. Oh. He makes no bones about it. He's married, man. He's got kids. I hope we don't have an, an issue tomorrow on the felt. <laughs> I don't want any broken families. Stash, on the other hand, single and ready to mingle. Yeah. Trip fives for Sam. Ikea, gutter ball eight. She's going to make the call for $55. As everybody else exits. Seven versus the eight. Kia makes the fold, not interested in continuing. Thank you. Anyone else want wine? Yes, yes. definitely. God. <laughs> they need it. So now we're down to three players at the table as a couple of ladies go for the <laughs> bar, like self-serve wine. <laughs> You guys want to play on this stream? <laughs> Ladies only know. games, <laughs> mixtures, whatever, high stakes, it low looks, stakes. Is it a cork or is it a twist? <laughs> Get in touch with me at my socials at Skull Mike Poker. Plenty yeah, of open seats in the lucky. month of October. <laughs> does October start tomorrow? Does it yes, start it does. Wow. 30 days in September, April, June, and November. All the rest have 31, except for February. Oh. Oh. Wow, you you were ready for that question, and you know really when winter starts. What <laughs> so else do you know? Like, I know a lot, Sco. Just letting you know. You don't know, know what the lot. name of the painting place is next door. You don't know that. Being oh, is it back on? Paint with a twist, oh, or I'll tow your car. We should. Yeah, it is right? back on, right? It's not yeah. reduced. To you learned. Hmm. Oh, yeah. It's not what you said yeah, initially. Okay. Six, we'll just have to remember to tell them, just yeah, we'll just in case. Back. Wine is served. How's Ooh. it smell? <laughs> Sam doesn't like, like it. Bro, the way you just smelled it, I was like, <laughs> "This is the first time I've been called a pro at this table, so <laughs> I'll take it." She's still drinking it, though. Don't think she liked the way it smelled. <laughs> it's not bad. It's not bad. Two diamonds, Caitlin, flush draw. And there it is, comes in. Nakia, queen of diamonds. And now all boats are available, but the flush still good. Only 110 in the middle for this one. Diamonds. <laughs> when was the last time you played four deuce? Don't even bullshit me, Rhonda. <laughs> Pretty recent. I don't know, I don't know, but it's always a story. Always story. She's, like, I saw it, and be I amazing. played it. <laughs> that game. Yeah. Yeah. When you're playing with absolute maniacs. Mm -hmm. Tell you, last night, Mm -hmm. There were some big pours of wine. I unofficially say four deuce is my favorite hand, but like I, I forgot who was pouring. Kristen. Favorite hand. Kristen was pouring some but major like, pours. No, it wasn't Kristen. No, it wasn't. It was oh. Anastasia. It was yes. Anastasia. Yeah. That's how they do it in Ukraine. <laughs> Fill the glass up. Yeah. <laughs> it was Anastasia. It was. It was Kristen's wine, and Anastasia was the bartender. Ace King for Sam. She's starting to heat up. Ten five do Skittles. Oh, it is really not my 
successful people. I'm telling you, I'm seeing things that aren't there. Check mark <laughs> for Sam. <laughs> Smallest hand of the night goes to Sam. I don't know if that was good for me or not. <laughs> so do you want to buy the button? Big day on Monday, 12.01 a.m. through 11.59 p.m. Doyle Brunson Day. Win a hand with 10 deuce. Trips are better. You must play at least one card out of your hand. And your name will be entered into a drawing. That drawing will happen the following day on Tuesday the 2nd, uh, the 3rd. At 1 p.m., I will be here with Joe Strazera, and we will do a live stream on Tuesday, October 3rd, oh. a five-minute live stream, and we will announce the winner. The winner's going to get $10,200. Is it going to be you? I will see you at the lodge for Doyle Brunson Day. Tournaments, No Limit Hold'em tournaments count, and cash game No Limit Hold'em. PLO excluded. Pair for Caitlin here. Now Sam catches up. 175. Check mark again for Sam. Sam's going to take it down. <clears throat> Jay Nick, the lady commentating oh, yesterday was oh. Poker Face uh, Ash. You can I'm find her on YouTube. Like, Just search Poker like Face Ash. Oh, big oh. She I'm does like, uh, amazing I'm content. Low five card. Oh, okay, got it. Um, I, I play I play PLO tournaments. Like that's definitely my favorite tournament sector. But big O cash is what I play for. Like I have, where I do you even find, oh, so find that? Next I'm online. Oh, oh, okay. Mm -hmm. And like I'm, <laughs> I'm at every spot when they host it here. Yeah. <laughs> it, like, does that happen? Yeah, often? like I play. I've been. I just started learning a new game because they. That's the only way I could play Big O. Um, I'm playing round of deuce to seven single draw round of Big O oh, at nice. one club every once a week. Oh. She likes her mixed game, Sam. Is that a shadow? It is forty. Yeah. Deuce to seven, round of big O. I deal as slow as I can when I'm dealing big O. I, lo I love split. Left hand is better. <laughs> nah. Yeah, it's just seven deuces. I had some ladies around town message me. Some of my friends or people that don't necessarily play poker, and they saw the ladies stream yesterday, and they are interested in learning the game. So that was pretty cool. Four deuces. Some of my non-poker <laughs> friends wanting to play poker after seeing our show, Rick. That was good. But how did you start playing Big O then? I don't. I don't know. I, I, I so I started with Hold'em like everybody else. Oh, okay. But I learned it by playing like this twenty-dollar back of a chiropractor's office there. tournament no. or cat. I think we were playing cash. I don't actually remember anymore. I'm like just gonna leave it. Ago. I'm just and gonna let it go. Six months into that, I started an underground game. And then did that for three years and then moved to Austin and like one time was taught how to play high low and I was like, Oh, this is how my brain works. I oh. really like this makes way more sense than hmm. like oh. hold 'em is way too abstract for me. I like having all the criteria for interesting for hand. She still loves hold 'em. Yeah, Sam reached like out, it. wanted to get into this game. Don't be confused, don't get it twisted. But she prefers the mixed game streets. Something that I don't prefer at all. We got a seven deuce. We are playing the seven deuce, and we also have ace king suit. I like literally don't know anymore. Four hundred. It's back on, right? It's definitely back on. From what they said, they were going to just leave it out during the knit game. 
Does Sam want a four bet rip it for all the glory? No, she does not. Do you play mixed games? You play mixed games, right? I used to a lot more. Yeah. Anymore. Yeah. They're fun though. It's just be monotony. Yeah. Rhonda looking up her neighbor, like suited king, and she's gonna give Caitlyn some action. Needs some hearts or a six. Great spot for yeah, Caitlyn. I live for being. Yeah. I like my brain. I was playing round and round at one of the clubs here of Hold'em and Bomb Pod and just sat out the Hold'em rounds every time. <laughs> I'll play like well, a kilo free roll. Practice. Yeah, yeah. yeah. I'll play thirty dollars kilo free roll. That's his <laughs> put into PLO. Yeah. They run it here a lot, right? PLO. Yeah. Yeah. Mm -hmm. And it's, it's, um, Rhonda steals one here. after the flop checks through. <laughs> yeah, Rhonda will lead turn and take it down. Five game or something? It's one two five, but it plays like huge, right? Insane. Yeah. yeah Rhonda locked in. Plays like a level up. Yeah, yeah. Uh, I yeah. Thank you. Text crate. Appreciate that comment. Means a lot to us. About to celebrate our third anniversary in November. November what? You know the November date. November 11th. Thank you. November 11th. A feet around the bush. I didn't realize that three people, two other people. We're going to have a party? Of course. Oh, oh yeah. Like cake. I don't want cake. <laughs> Streamers. No, you're on a diet. You're about to go skydiving. No cake. I like cake. <laughs> <laughs> Pocket eights for Rhonda. Going to be hard to flop a set. Only the eight of diamonds is available for her, but she's well in the lead, Sam. 10-8 offsuit for her. But Rhonda. Yeah, I, feel, I feel like Rhonda is very serious compared to a lot of the other women playing right now. Not not in a bad way. I mean, she plays in I, some of the biggest yeah. games around. I don't think it's she's serious. I just think that this is just more normal. She's more comfortable. More comfortable than serious. She knows how to maneuver these big stacks. Suited ace for Caitlyn. Caitlyn's had a lot of strong hands pre, but they've completely whiffed on runouts. Rooting for Caitlyn. She's had some poor luck on our stream in particular. She hasn't played in a number of months with us. She's had a busy schedule traveling. She was out there in Vegas yeah, for the true. entire WSOP. So it's nice to have her back home where she belongs. And she connects with an ace here, second pair for Schwann. Bottom pair for Schwann, pair of fives. Caitlin comes along. Schwann looking for a king or a five. Does not come. Checks. See if Juwan fires again. Yeah, bottom pair. I think she needs to fire again and turn these fives into a bluff. <laughs> and that's indeed what she will do for the overbet. 500 into three, putting a lot of pressure on ace three. And it's not going to work. Quick call there from Caitlin. And she's going to win 13 20. <laughs> Very nice call by the two seed. That's going to give her a little confidence. She's either stacking those chips quickly. Yeah. <laughs> Whenever they do the quick stack, they're, they're feeling good. Yeah. 
When you win a pot, right, do you stack your chips quickly or you take your time? Does it depend on the size of the pot? Or you don't win many pots to even realize this? I was waiting for that one. So it's, that's the option? No. I I like to stack them quickly. I'm not in a race, but what I love is that rare occurrence where you win a couple in a row and you it's just going so fast you can't even stack them. You're just sweeping it. That again, I've yeah. seen that happen a couple times. I've it happened to me once <laughs> in a limit game. Ace Jack suited for Nakia. Rhonda with Ace Queen. Amber Daniel in chat. She just absolutely murdered the table yesterday. She looked oh so beautiful and comfortable winning pot after pot. But it's ace jack versus ace queen. Rhonda in another good position against the Kia. Uh oh. I didn't eat a lot today, so this is. I haven't eaten at all. <laughs> Freaking great. I haven't eaten in days. <laughs> Keep drunk. The Kia's going to peel one here, praying for a 10, but her stack is dwindling. Like, once it was mentioned, like, it's I got the bill spider on. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Came in the mail today. Guess I'm wearing it. <laughs> I felt tempted to wear my boyfriend's like giant Bills <laughs> Brero thing that he had on. He was like in the final table of the main, and um, people were talking about the hat. I was like, oh, I should just wear his uh, yeah. hat. Or you just bring it and like put it on like the last hand or something. Yeah, yeah. that's true. Yeah. It's just not me. I'm just not yeah. funny. <laughs> so like it just wouldn't be funny. Just leave it to the husband. <laughs> I'm sure you're funny. I feel like he was being pretty serious with it. it was I was so like, funny. I don't think of Eric as funny. <laughs> I think I'm as serious. Oh, sure. If you also want to get in this hand, you have to straddle and then by the button. Krista, you know, yes. we resume the seven deuce game. Okay, thank okay. you. I'll, You're welcome. I'll just wait a hand. Wait one. Yeah. Okay. I need five more. Oh, true. All right. Wait, unless I, so I you can. You can straddle this hand and then buy the button next hand. It's weird. Oh. Just, okay. Uh, no, that makes sense. When I get the button, right? You still have to buy After. it though, is what yeah, yeah, yeah. You have yeah. To buy it next but I'm gonna have to buy it anyway. Yeah, yeah. right. Yeah. This yeah. is the way to do it. Yeah, yeah. To buy the button? Uh, twenty-five. Yeah. <laughs> if she straddled to twenty-five. Swan <laughs> <laughs> testing Kevin there. Swan so, speaks. She speaks so idea. softly. <laughs> What if I do a sleeper straddle? <laughs> but you can always hear her. Can, can Swan Sounds straddle like an angel. <laughs> Unless something says, should we do 25 or 50? 50. 50. 50. 50. 50. 50. <laughs> her mic's also off right now. She's eating a snack, so... We'll hear her shortly, a little bit more clearer. But she's not afraid to play the 9 3. Haven't seen much from Liz lately after that hot first 40 or so hands. Yeah, I just live there. Where are you from? Well,. I grew up in New Mexico. I lived on the Alabama Gulf Coast for 15 years, and then I was back in Colorado, New Mexico, the Four Corners area, okay. for a few years before moving to Texas. Yeah, yeah. But I—they were dusty jeans and boots. Your, yeah. your accent <laughs> makes me just think like. Well, I was born born in Louisiana, and I lived there. My mother was very Southern. My late mother-in-law, my late husband's mother, also Southern. So I have a lot of Southern influence in my life. Okay. I will tell you this, I consider Texas home. Yeah. I've been here for almost five years and it's it is it's in my blood. Yeah. Truly. Uh, I love Texas also. I love Texas. How about a set for Sam? People. I was in the military and um Oh well thank you for that. Yeah. Um Everybody used to like rep Texas hard, like in basic training, like Texas, like you know. Yeah. And I'd be like, "What the heck is going on?" Like, 
I mean, I'm from New York, but not New York City. And then I moved here and was like, oh. I didn't straddle. You get it. I love Texas mm -hmm. Zoo. I understand why you guys are like obsessed with it. <laughs> Early on in my experience here, I had some things happen in my life. And the people. Yeah. And, and even the poker community. Yeah. Is, I, I get emotional just talking about it. It's, I think it's the most amazing group of people. I absolutely agree. Yeah, I've dealt all over the, the country. And yeah. Texas is just different. People are just kind. Mm -hmm. they really like, are. I'm coming from like up north, Philly, New York mm -hmm. area. Okay, so right. Yeah. So we're yeah. like, my boyfriend and I went to a wedding in Jersey like two years ago, and somebody was like super road rage at us. And like, I've driven in New York City, I know how to drive, I'm fine. And he's just like, geez. People are mean here. <laughs> like, this is where we're from, I know. Yeah. <laughs> One of my last traveling jobs was in at Turning Stone. Oh, cool. Right before I came Sweet. here. Sweet, that's like an hour from where yeah. I'm from. That's it's where. It's really nice. You know my boyfriend, Eric? Probably, I'm terrible with names. He's a huge Turning Stone person. I probably know him if I yeah, saw him yeah. because that, it was a, it was a crazy Shout movie. out Eric, I'm sure he's watching. Yeah, yeah. That name sounds Big down south here locally, and he plays the lodge tournaments frequently. So shout out Eric. <laughs> okay. There's nothing close. Oh, damn. <laughs> it's coming. It's coming real soon. Damn. What can you do? Did you see I how he lost last time? Damn. Runner, runner. <laughs> Bush? It's horrible. It's coming. <laughs> Lighting a fire right now. Yeah. I mean, they're probably all mad because it's so damn cold up there. <laughs> yeah. um, that's one of the main I don't know. I feel I like left. it gets contagious, like your attitude, like people's attitudes. Energies. Like, yeah. yeah. And like they're just all messed up down there. And I'm like, let me just go implant into Texas. <laughs> mm -hmm. It's a lot nicer. My mom's from upstate New York. Really? And all her family is rude. Yeah? Like, Makes real sense. rude. I Look at Rhonda making a play here. 550. Like, oh my gosh. <laughs> like, I can't believe I, I'd apologize for her everywhere. Oh, geez. <laughs> Oh my God! I'm sorry if you're watching it. <laughs> <laughs> Sam just got oh uninvited God, from Thanksgiving dinner family. from her family. I'm so. Rhonda making a play here. <laughs> Very really impressive. Christy cannot like continue. Yeah, yeah. I said yeah. nothing. <laughs> what? I mean, the produce. No, don't do it. Don't do it. Oh. Oh. Rhonda's going to show the bluff be too. <laughs> Upstate people are just more callous. Folks, you're not going to want to miss like, this. Like right after Thanksgiving, come to the lodge. That's what it feels like. But I feel like for the main body. event of the winter main oh, event, 500k no, guarantee, $500 buy-in. November 28th through December 3rd. My mom's from Binghamton. Okay. That was like three hours from where I'm from. Huge tournament. It's the cop game in rounders. <laughs> Kevin. I don't think he's hearing you. Yeah. I think he's choosing not to hear you this side. <laughs> Rhonda is just yeah, stacking oh, chips. Oh, nice. See, that's what Showing the loss. Yeah, I'm from Jealous. Texas, baby. I wish I was. Did you what? Oh, yeah, I can't hear you. I got How many years have you been here? I can change you. All these ladies are just so kind. Okay, yeah. <laughs> Beautiful and friendly. It's really excellent to see. Having a good time. Betting hundreds, sometimes thousands of dollars here. A couple pretty holdings. 10 9 suited. Ace Queen off. Three betting 125. Suited Ace for Caitlin. <laughs> And an ace queen for Nakia. I can't hear. <laughs> Final table, Kev is blushing a little yeah, bit. Yeah, he needs to settle down. Settle down, Kev. All diamonds on this flop. King of diamonds for Krista. Multiple Queen of players. diamonds case, for... case ace on that flop, right? Case ace. You get an ace. You get an ace. Look at Nakia's hand here. Yeah, I could. Let's see what happens. No way. Krista's folding. Don't think she's going to play it aggressively. Probably will just peel the 175. Liz should exit immediately. And we will be three ways to a turn. There's the diamond. And that's trouble. For Nakia. Krista with the check mark. S N second N nuts. Nakia's betting 250. What does Krista do here? You just flat with only 800 behind for Nakia. A pretty 
easy flat in position. But she's going to raise right away, and I don't see Nikia even getting away from this. She makes the call, and you've basically committed your entire stack with only about 300 behind, so. Yeah. Trouble. Board pairs. Might be able to save some money, but never getting Krista off the nut flush. Rips it, snap. Exactly. And 32.85 going Krista's way as Nakia adds on. Might be her final bullet. We will see. She's had a rough go so far. But the opposite for Krista. Yeah. The woman from outside of Buffalo, New York, rocking her Bills sweatshirt. Rhonda. Killing it today. Up 5,600. Liz up 2,400. Krista. 1590 and everyone else losing. Juan throwing the party at 5930. Nakia now down 3450. Way more blood in the yes. water on a Saturday, Rick. Yes. It's a tough one for Nakia. Second nut flush. Yeah. 95% of people there are getting stacked. <laughs> Those two hands. Sacre bleu just showed up in the chat. They were pretty rough. Yeah, they're rough. Sometimes you can just do everything right. And That's it. Ace for Christie. Improves with the club draw. Does Sam want to continue to represent a strong holding here? It's only a pair of sixes. She slows down. The Jack Tens of the world get there. Christy not interested in going for some thin value. Goes check, check, and the ace is good. Oh, thank you. I told you before the end of the stream. I have it all figured out. <laughs> Approaching 150K subscribers. That says 143. That's wrong. Already at 144 and climbing. If this is your first time watching the channel, please sub and hit that thumbs up button for us as we are oh so close to 300 likes on this stream. The more likes we get, the longer we keep the cameras rolling. Help us, help you, help everybody. Enjoy our weekends. Yoda calling her shot, saying the 150K to be hit during... The Rampage Poke match, which is two weeks away. Is that going to be officially part of the Poke Challenge? I don't, because it's, no, it's, it's 10-20, right? It's, it's going to be a little bit friendlier, but it's still going to be streamed. It's still going to be exciting, and multiple times, either Doug or Mr. Rampage will be stacked. We're going to get the chips in the middle. They, they're saying it's friendly, but... Once you put the boys in the ring, it's usually a battle. Okay. 
Lakers to pocket sixes, yeah. pocket fives for Nakia. Every time today, Nakia just second best. Ugh, set for Krista. Nobody with an ace, nobody with hearts. Straight draw for Sam. She's going to continue. Loose call from Nakia. Fives never really good here after a player calls. And even if you hit, like, let's say the five of hearts, you're not really going to love your hand because the flush um, is now available. I guess I learned the rules to poker when I was like five years old. Oh, really? Watching a Hong Kong movie called God of Gamblers. Awesome. God of Gamblers? Is it a good movie? Oh, Does it hold up? I'm telling you that. He's got the biggest crush on him. Yeah. <laughs> My husband and I always say our future children will know how to play poker when they're like four. And like, always a secondary thing. Like, fall back jobs. That's awesome. The yeah, so, yeah, so you like the movie, you God have a crush. Gamblers. God of gamblers, okay. Everybody's going to watch it So you crush on the main character <laughs> from the beginning. You knew the rules, and then... But it was um, during, like, the moneymaker boom, like everyone else. Uh -huh. Poker was, like, in college. Uh, five, um, and I just saw it as a way to, like, make supplementary income. Yeah. So you were good immediately, then? Um, I worked really hard. Much yeah. harder than I work right now, actually. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Aces. 200. For Schwan, who's been throwing the party early on, 62 hands into this stream, three betting. They was there to study. They read every single book there was out there. They weren't good books. Yeah, yeah. But no action. Say, no, like it was. <laughs> Schwan, the professional that she is. Most players, especially me, when I get aces and I raise. Yeah. And I get no action. I'm steamed up and annoyed. She's just smiling, continuing the conversation. Shows a lot to her character. How about you? Um, yeah, I like learned in high school. Same. I graduated in 2003, so that was like, yeah, the moneymaker boom. And then, yeah, and then Andrew and my's first date was to an underground poker game. All right. So, oh, <laughs> yeah, that's the tone. Yep. Yeah. Yep. That was it after that. Yep. Seven raised to 55. Really was shocking that uh, Christy was saying yesterday that her and Andrew have been together for 20 years. It's a long time. It is. Recently moved to Austin. Got a young boy. Yeah. Good stuff. I was also moving my leg pretty wide. Did you guys win that session? So the first date was, uh, yeah, so we played like a $10 sit and go mm -hmm. at like a, you know, an underground game. It was like the side game from the cash game. And I busted immediately. Tournament director Andrew, Chester on vacation, like probably on the beach no. with an umbrella drink just tuning like, yeah. in. But um, he covered that dome. Like bluffed and showed. Like Don't get sunburned. <laughs> shooting me winks like that. <laughs> and I was like, yep, that's, that's cute. <laughs> and then he won that tournament. And, yeah. <clears throat> but he was in his element. It's not yeah. like you guys were oh, yeah. in the game and together. For sure. Yeah, he was like the guy in town. Poker guy. <laughs> He was a college dropout, quit his job, and was gambling for a living at, you know, 22. I was like, this is my mom's worst nightmare. <laughs> <laughs> That's <Yeah>. funny. <laughs> that is funny. Four 
Krista can do no wrong today. Really playing well. Running hot. Check mark for Liz. Two pair queens and sevens. The first one I was um, ever in a poker room. This was my Would have liked to see Liz he trapped there. So many draws miss. He wanted, he You're pretty confident you have the best hand drinking. against like, won, a very won. talented <laughs> opponent who's capable of bluffing. Yeah. And I was like, what do you mean? You just won all the money. Let's go. And he's like, please We're stop. Here, right? like, he's like, I was pretty sure you're the most obnoxious person I've ever met. You guys are married now? I was like, what do you mean? You want it all? Let's go. Yeah. I was like, I don't know what you know. The whole table was probably like, make this dude hit and run. And I was like, what are you talking about? Your objective is to take the money and the money. Yeah, I mean, it was a blackjack table or something that, yeah, that makes sense. Right. Ugh, blackjack. Really cute. <laughs> I used to deal blackjack oh, and craps and roulette. Oh, you deal, deal, deal all the games. I deal all the games, yeah. Craps is my favorite. Blackjack is my least favorite. One race, 350. Poker is my favorite to play. I hear a lot of pit dealers love craps. I love craps. Like, it was a rough nine months learning how to deal, but after that, once you know what you're doing, it, it gets really fun. Thank you. Yeah. So I, Did you you dealt first then? Mm -hmm. I started dealing when I was 20, so about 12 years now mm -hmm. in the casino industry. And then COVID, lost my job, started traveling to the World Series, and I found out about the lodge. Mm -hmm. And it turns out Joe used to work at the casino in Pennsylvania that I worked at. Mm -hmm. I had no Mount Airy. No, Sands. Sands. Oh, yeah. Okay. I call that Mount Scary. Yeah. <laughs> the place is very shady, especially after 3, 3 a.m. <laughs> it's like, get me out of here. Schwan, king three, raises to 60. Christy with one of Skull Mike's favorite hands, queen nine suited. She's going to raise it. Maybe it's her favorite hand, too. Makes like, it 180. I like her a lot more than I already do, if that's the case. Liz with the four bet on the button. This is going to work. We're not even going to see three. Don't think Christy's going to continue. Go ahead and get you some, Liz. Liking what I'm seeing from our very own dealer on this stream. Yeah. Does Christy want to continue? Not ex this is the first four bet of the night from Liz, I believe. And it's going to get through. Very, very nice from Liz. If you like what you're seeing, tomorrow's going to be a big day. 3 p.m. Central. Terrace makes his return to the lodge. Coming along, British Bulldog, the lovely and talented Juan. Why? Same. Just to name a few, it is going to be a huge stream. Anytime Terrace plays, you never know what you're going to see. Look it up on the stream, bro. With his new haircut, gone is the ponytail. Trying not to get too, uh, too silly. <laughs> so that wasn't a silly one? Uh, the first Skull Mike worked were. overtime to put this weekend together. <laughs> first couple hands were for sure. I go through like moods sometimes when I play, where like all of a sudden I'll get this like burst of energy and I just become the queen of wild. Wild. <laughs> <laughs> Skull Mike had more <laughs> ladies <laughs> texting him back and forth this week than he's ever had in his life. People must be Pocket nice. fives for Caitlin. Mute. Good one, Ray. Not here. But <laughs> in the There's no mute. You just mute or crazy. Sometimes I'm just like. <laughs> you just told Nina it's it's for my I job. Appreciate that, though. Don't worry about it, honey. I believe it. Thank yeah, God she didn't range. steal my phone and go through my messages. <laughs> Might have been divorced yeah, real I'm early. Just how I feel. Like, yeah. I'm just like, I guess I'm maybe I'm sort of like that. Carl Feathers, we get it. Yeah, we get it. The graphics for Krista are wrong, and here's why. A bit of your personal. We originally had a mistake mm -hmm. in the graphics my department. We called Krista Kristen. <laughs> yeah. You said, my you told us like coaching this guy. that the name was wrong. So we made Very the change. When we changed from Kristen to Krista, 
the graphics reset. That is why her numbers are off. There's nothing we can do about it. We apologize. And that's it. And Chris is not going to be complaining because she is winning more than it shows. So and she's still going to get paid if it continues. So Carl Feathers and all others worried about Krista's graphics. They call it Riz. Enough. Try to keep up with That's why. Oh, Stop gosh. It. I didn't even know I just, like what generation I just found out. was. The I just day at work, we were trying to figure it out. Like, me and my like coworkers were like, which one are Yeah. <laughs> Dude, I, I spent like a weekend with a couple teenagers, and they were telling me, all the things, and I just was so mind blown at some of the things that they say, like full send or what? Like, no cap, no cap, no cap. <laughs> like, and now they say LOL out loud. What is oh, that? I don't say yeah, yeah. <laughs> Okay, I'm still Wait. in the Devon area. Why is, why is LOL out loud? What, what does no cap? Well, they, they say LOL. Plus, no, draw for Schwan. I do LOL, LOL. Well, also like, for I Sam, Spade here could be disastrous. And I said, oh, are, are y'all having a party? And he said, no, it's just going to be a little kickback. <laughs> I said, a, 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 a little kickback, yeah. That's like when you get money back. <laughs> <laughs> We're just kicking, Mom. It's not so a big deal. I don't like the Riz. That makes me, oh, my God, I hate it. I hate it. That's because you got too much Riz. <laughs> And Riz is charisma. Mm -hmm. Interesting. I don't like that one. Riz. No, I'm gonna send you. I'm gonna send you this song on my playlist. It's called Charisma. It's very good. Nice. It just reminded me of it. <clears throat> there is one. Oh, one was like, um, you ate that. Mm -hmm. Oh no! Like, like, like you killed ate. that. Like yeah. you killed that. Yeah, you oh killed that. God. No crumb. You no, eat no crumb. No, that's a new one. No. That means like or you she understood it? the yeah, assignment. Yeah, you killed it. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> yeah. No crumbs, baby. Oh wow. This hand we'll is brewing. No crumbs. As Juan made it 400 and Ronda with the three bet to 1,000. These are the two players with the largest stacks. He's just impressed with how cool. And probably the two most experienced at these high levels. These girls are Ronda so and cool. Juan. Absolutely. Yeah, yeah. yeah. That's exactly Combo right. draw. Like, I don't think yeah. I know what this means. 1,200. <laughs> As the table calms down a little bit, as they all realize that this is a pretty big pot here. Juan, if she calls, it'll be about 5K in the middle, but she's got a very, very handsome combo draw. And she makes the call to the river we go. Nothing going Juan's way today. So much promise and ends up with just queen high. Not even an overcard that could, she can try and represent as a bluff that could scare Ronda. Ronda tens and fives with the ace. Checks. Laying a little bit of rope to Joa. Will she take it? Already went for an overbet bluff in a much smaller pot against Caitlyn. This time against Ronda with 5K in the middle. You know she's thinking about it and capable of pulling the trigger. Look at both the, both these players staring each other down there. Does she think the all-in jam could get through? If she does, you'll hear those words. Three checks and wisely shuts it down because the all-in jam likely would not have worked as Rhonda wins another one, and she's sitting on 12.2. Thank you. Yeah, that was really good. It's like a mile away. Yeah. Really? Yeah. Do we order sushi? Yeah, I would, I would definitely get sushi. I just had that recently, and I'm like, that, that's the really? number 13. Yeah. Yeah. Cumulative winnings, keep in mind I've been wanting pokey that Krista's so is wrong. Yeah. Rhonda's up 83.75. Liz is up 29.90. Krista's up more than that. Christy is up $90. Everyone else in the red. Juan. What's your name now? Slick Feathers? Down, down 82.90. Nikia. Down 3,700. Thank you. Is that like a, no, do they no. deliver? Do you happen to know? They do. We have, oh. on, uh, we have DoorDash, so we could just put it in there, yeah. 
I'm trying to remember breakfast. what I ordered last time so I could just... Kinks yeah. for Liz. Like sushi Nini. Oh. I think I've had six. We can order from like different places, so but good. I feel all of us on here are thinking sushi nini. But... Skulls on stock in sushi nini. Okay. <laughs> have to tell you, nini took us there. Wasn't impressed. <laughs> no, honestly, that quest I bar was. Dino you ordered California roll because you're an idiot. <laughs> Even the waitress, even the waitress, the waitress like, laughed at yeah, me. Yeah, you ordered California, you got laughed at by everybody involved. How do I know? My first time ever at a sushi place. Like they gave a hot new spot. You weren't raised right. You're not a sushi oh, fan. No cap. Wait, Wait, Wait Batty. I am all like, about anything childish. Like, hey, is. I'm like. like I don't know. <laughs> I don't actually know like the proper I'm so easily and, and, and like, like just going we for fully it. support it. Yeah, just going for it, I guess. Now I feel old. I've been yeah. What? <laughs> so serious. How old are you? No, older than I just changed. Rick, did you know that uh Chris's <laughs> winnings were wrong? <laughs> <laughs> do you know this? Yes, I've, I've heard that. I've heard a rumor. What are you going to do about it? <laughs> I'm going to think of you and drink. Oh, yeah, tequila. <laughs> and tequila. That's, that's my drink of choice. I figured out what we're going to do to embarrass you, though, on our next bet. Whenever we have a, a big bet on a maybe 200 subs, Yeah. I order something just completely exotic off a sushi menu and have you eat it right in the center of the lodge oh. on camera. Oh. The menu is very over. The menu is Schwan over. and Christy battling. Christy in good shape with the king queen You're off. You're good. And one of these days, I promise you that Juan will connect with a pair. I know. Club draw for both players now. When do we break them? 7.30? Straight draw Unless for both players. Hit the like button. <laughs> <laughs> wow. <laughs> you are in here first. So Caitlin, Caitlin, that's your camera. <laughs> <laughs> that's the camera. I love it. 5,000 likes, then we go to a minute. <laughs> As Rick, I don't know, I'll do it for yeah. 35 and a cigarette. As Rick would say, it's free for you, and it means the I world to us. I read that somewhere, too. <laughs> <laughs> no, don't let me have a cigarette. I've been so good. How long has it been since you've quit? I mean, like, I had, over the summer, I kind of slipped yeah, a little well, bit, and oh, I was, I like, bumming cool. some here. I did. The queen is good here. Here, there, over the summer. But, but overall. I, I buttoned it back up. Just good, honey. Good. good. Christy imagines probably that her king queen is not good and that she does indeed need to bluff at this. We saw her early on in the stream not pull that trigger. Here, she's going for it, bluffing with the best of it. <laughs> Lucky strikes are anything, Endorsed but... by Marlboro. <laughs> Four out of five doctors from 1950 agree. <laughs> Helps reduce stress. I used to, when I worked in a casino, I, I used to smoke cigarettes before then, and then I... I stopped smoking because I was just inhaling secondhand smoke. Schwan just staring over at Christy. But give me a shot of tequila. Probably. I think she knows that Christy is somewhat weak. Contemplating raising. But she lays it down. 70 hands in, and that's going to do it for final table. Kevin, as Lisa, we don't have a nickname for Lisa, Rick. Yes. Let's uh, go ahead and hear from our stream sponsor, Upswing Poker. What's up, guys? Doug Polk here with a quick story for you. Seven years ago, I founded Upswing Poker to create the best training course material out there. The result was the Upswing Lab. Unlike other subscription poker courses, the lab teaches you step-by-step step how to become the best player at the table. When you join the lab, you don't just get thrown into a sea of videos. Instead, you get structured lessons that teach you crucial poker strategies that will help you win in No Limit Hold'em games, whether it's cash games or tournaments, both online and live. Whether you're a beginner or an advanced poker player, the lab has what you need to take your game to the next level. As a Lodge viewer, you can get $50 off the Upswing Lab with coupon code LODGE50. The course is backed by Upswing Poker's all-in 30-day money-back guarantee, 
so there's no risk on your end to join the lab. If you're serious about improving your game, head on over now to upswingpoker.com, join the lab, and use coupon code LODGE50 to save $50 now. Looking forward to seeing you guys in the lab. Did you say shack it? I love that. Thank you, Doug. $50 off. Use code LODGE50. Yeah. Upswing poker. They're pretty quick. So. I'm, I'm ready. Okay. I'm ready. I, just, I just went to my phone to look at my last order. Oh. <laughs> Big <laughs> slick for Rhonda. I have a menu in here so we can look at the menu in here. Oh, okay. Yeah. I was just Are we thinking about when up the appropriate Did time. Did you see your tacos? <laughs> Either sushi. one. Check. Who do we talk to about the first that? Time. Uh, when Sophia comes back in, she'll work Oh, really? I, th I think so. I haven't seen one. <laughs> I think that is the first time. Oh, my gosh. Because we're talking about food. We're distracted. <laughs> Club draw for Krista. Can you take this off my hand? I can. Black, okay? Perfect. I just want to feel more powerful. You know? No, I get it. <laughs> All about the perspective. It's always crushing in tournaments. Rhonda. When they color you Let's up. see if Krista can <laughs> get Rhonda off the hand. Badly played from the jump. Quick fold before Krista could even get the chips in. Rhonda, Limping quick fold. I did Don't limp. say that to yourself. Limping ain't pimping. That's what I'm saying. <laughs> Limping ain't pimping. <laughs> Sorry, Negranu. <laughs> I don't think I have ever been in a single room where poker was being played and there were no men in that room. Oh, this no. The first, an absolute first. Oh, I'm one. loving that. Brad. I love that. <laughs> Pretty awesome. I mean, men are great too, but I think this is amazing. That yeah, I feel like I in my agree. normal life, I'm just like, where are the girls? Who yeah. play the where is the person who understands me? Because we're, we're very few like, and far between. I've never played with my real money like I am gambling. This is a skill. Mm -hmm. like, yeah, this is not just gambling. Mm -mm. When I first moved oh. to Vegas. Was it 90? Yeah, I don't know if I should say this. <laughs> oh. <laughs> After the camera set up. <laughs> Uh, to be continued. So, yeah, so I was like, I moved to Vegas, and I was like, I really wanted to make some girl friends that played poker. So literally the first table that I played with a girl that was like, she was like my age, she was like this sweet girl, and she was, she was like wild. And I was like, oh, man, she's like badass. So I was like, hey, what's up? Like, you know, you want to, like, hang out? And, like, she was like, yeah, sure. So we, like, one time we had dinner, and then, like, three days later, she was like, Hey, um, can I come over? And I was like, sure. So she came over and she, she was like, here, I have these like shoes that you should have. They were like these really nice Marciano shoes and I was so broke. And I was like, that's so <laughs> That nice. flush draw Thank and you. straight draw yeah, for Liz. Super I know, but I was, I'm literally. Hits I'm the clubs. I'm like 21, so I like. Oh, by the way, and the straight. Anything. And she's like. <laughs> she'll then, she'll um, choose the flush instead. Yeah, I don't know. <laughs> she seemed, I don't know. She, the way she played, she was like. I'm like, oh, anyway, so yeah, she, and then she's like, she gives me this like Marciano dress, and I'm just like, this is, okay, whatever, and then she's like, she's like so I'm going to invite, do you mind if I just like, if I just like, the legend <laughs> herself, oh Ruthless, Ruth Hall is in the bunker, Ruth, it's Ladies Day here at the Lodge. Yay, I'm so happy that the Lodge supports women in poker, whether it be our monthly tournaments or ladies events during the series, and here we go with our cash grinders. And Rhonda just made a great point for the first time that she's ever been in a poker room playing for this amount of money with all ladies, including the dealer. No men in the studio. Well, this has been long coming. We've had a couple of these, but um, I'm happy that uh, Mike has put this lineup together. Why don't you catch me up? Who do you got going here? Oh, yeah. Who's doing well? And yeah, so we've got Liz is a dealer here at the lot. She is winning. Love her. Uh, Rhonda is crushing in seat one. Oh, yeah. She's from, She's from San Antonio, yes. right? Oh, my. And the shoes, too. Nikia's having a tough day of... The second best hand. 
Um, I Syndrome, mean, I, and Juan is losing. Look. Yeah, like I know she's, she's, I think she's living a domestic life now. Yeah. Cowboys for Liz. I don't, every once in a while, I, like, After getting stacked there. early, Liz has really turned it around. She's a favorite lodge yeah. dealer of mine. It's probably from the strippers. Yes. Although I don't think there are any that aren't my favorite. <laughs> <laughs> it's, it's minimally possible. Okay. She's not I mean, she's cool. I mean, yeah, no, yeah. No, no, no. But oh, I think we that'll get Juan in some trouble there. there. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> she was going to drop. A set yeah, for Liz. Juan. Top yeah, pair now. If I were her as the main character, I would be like, that was me. Hello, Kathy. Hello, Yoda. Hi, Jerome. Hey, VW Bug. You, you know, you cannot imagine. Yeah. <laughs> the winnings are off, Jerome says. Yeah, we, we've been through all that. It's a little joke now. I'm pretty sure that uh, Rhonda looks like she's the leader of this cash session, correct? Really long time. Yes. Like, if I could be an intern, I was only going to make 12 bucks an hour anyway. And Liz um, and ought to pick up like, a nice pot here. Seamless with me. I make like a hundred grand a year. No, so I applied, but I didn't get the job. What's no, seamless? what's the yeah. it's, 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 say. it's a strip for club after hours club in Vegas. Hmm. Hmm. But man, life could have gone very different. Yeah. <laughs> so make sure I'm pronouncing her name correctly. Juan. Juan. I know she's from Canada and she's a high stakes cash player. She only had she has like over two million on hand at mom. So this is lower strikes probably for her, right? Yes. <laughs> She'll be playing tomorrow in a bigger game, but Juan's ace on the river helps her out there. She can get away now. And Liz says good fold. Cool. Yeah. Yeah, I tell people I I play with, you know, doctors or red lawyers. Uh, people that own their own businesses, mafia. Yeah. I mean, you know, it's it's really it's, like it's so diverse. Crazy. You never know who you're. I do want to say though, I'm personally offended that you did not get that job. Yeah. Oh. Yeah, you should get that job. No, you can still reapply. I bet you. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> just, just send Don't give up. Don't give up. Don't give up. So okay, because okay, Tell so them no. she was like, it's fine because you're just going to be a cocktail server. You're not a stripper. I, is it too late to straddle? Uh, I'm going to blind. I definitely want to hear this story. We can count it. It's a blind. About, I noticed you got quiet, right? Yes, about <laughs> how Christy <laughs> almost became. The reason why was it was like an open call interview, and I just moved from Michigan. So when you go to an interview when you're in Michigan, you dress up like business casual. So I like rocked up to the interview with like khaki pants <laughs> and like a white button up shirt <laughs> with like my resume and you, stuff. You know I'm vulnerable right now. Everybody else. What? Yeah. Nakia with the rockets. Oh, here we go. Ron, <laughs> Ron, I'm ready. Here we go. Now, now I just got back. Yeah. The queen of the pit. <laughs> I like didn't. I oh, wouldn't even know how to do that at the yeah. time, you know? Not like I wouldn't now, but. But yeah. When I started working in a casino, I was, you know, blackjack. Outfits are going all the way to my neck, like my buttons all the way up here. And some guy sits down and was like, "Hey, do you uh, you want a job? This is like my third day on the job." I was like, "What do you mean?" He just hands me a little piece of paper to the local strip club. And I was like, "You do see, I'm dressed like all the way to my neck. Yeah. <laughs> Why do you think I would be a good candidate for that?" Just scouting You're the dealers. Hot. Yeah, yeah. I mean, uh, yeah. I mean, I know exactly how you feel. I can't get. So Sam will, will come along with two couple <laughs> overs. Don't you hate it? It's one of them. I'm busy. Voting may get her in trouble. It gets very annoying. I know. It really does. That was the only time I got offered to be a stripper. So. And Nakia, she's married to our manager here at Joe. Joe the Pooba. So yeah. She's also a realtor in the area. Oh, probably a sleazy club promoter. All in here. Yep. And Nakia's going nowhere with her aces. Usually a very quick decision is does Nakia, but not so much here. She's already been stacked. It's a little tougher if it's her last buy-in. I don't know if it is, but, um, you know, nine-tenths a possibility, seven-eighths a common cash hand. But at this point, she might as well just go for it and try to double up. Asking for a count from Lisa. Joining me in the bunker, the great Ruth Hall. Ruth Liston had one of your good friends in the bunker last night, Poker Face Ash. Oh, yeah. Ash and I have played some poker together. She's great friends with Caitlin. 
and uh, Poker Mama was on the table. Yes. But, um, Ashley and I have run into each other at a couple of final tables, so she's a very good competitor. Kia really in the blender here. I have a feeling it has to do with what you were alluding to. It could be maybe a final rebuy for her and wants to continue playing. Great shot of Nakia. It's harder, too, if you've been running bad, and it sounds like she might not be hitting cards today. So we'll see what she does. As you know, I'm a tournament player, not a cash player, but I'd probably get sticky with my aces here. I've seen you at the cash table. <laughs> not very good, though. <laughs> no. Nakia asking for a little bit more time. And that's Sam. Sam and I were just at a final table for the Lodge Ladies event. She's a PLO grinder. Yes. Um, I looked her up. She's got 165K on Hinden for the tournaments. She's got such a pretty smile. Nakia, she's one of my faves. Really in the blender here. Come on, Nakia, you can do it. Somewhere out there, <laughs> Puba is yelling, call, yeah. call. Yeah. Her bestie, Michelle, is probably out there saying, do it, girl. <laughs> it's the longer she thinks, the longer I think she might toss it in. She's got the coolest nails. We're going to give My her that. Goodness. Goodness. And I thought mine were hot pink, but look oh, at those. Oh, yours are nice. Those, those might kill you. They're pretty strong there. I love them. Someone's asking, what is the rake here at the lodge? Do you want to address that? Yeah. While we're, we're waiting? Yeah. No rake at the lodge. You just pay an hourly fee. It's a social club. Pay either a monthly a weekly, monthly, or annual membership fee, and then you're a member. You can come in and play 11 bucks an hour for cash. Tournaments are different. You don't, don't pay by the hour. You just pay by the whatever the buy-in is for the tournament. As we wait on Nakia, she has been lightning fast in her decisions all day long, but not for this one, and she's going to lay uh, it down. I thought so. And but Sam is going to get one through. And Sam probably thinks she has the best hand there to be honest. Ten yeah. high, queen kicker. She has a redraw. I just think that when you have that single pair and you've got, you're on your third bullet, it's a little tougher to make that call. I understand. It's Christmas. I'm so happy. Oh, that is wonderful. I'm just taking this. What is he delivering? Thank you, Kevin. Oh my God, this is also awesome. I hilarious. actually bought myself an electric <laughs> hand warmers, maybe. Charge. Don't know. Oh, really? Yeah, it's oh, awesome. It's like a little heat oh, rocket. Oh, you can charge it, and then I bring on like plane, on that like long trip. <laughs> I do oh, not know cool. what yeah. was just delivered. <laughs> Looks like hand warmers. This is awesome. This cannot have been easier than just like turning down the AC. Right. Yeah. Oh my God. It's chilly in there. <laughs> well, I think the issue is the entire right. card room. Oh. Hand warmers in the lodge. <laughs> I know. I didn't want it. I was like behind our head. I was going to run it so we could chop it. Area. I mean, everything costs money. Bet race. You like me? I'll You understand what I said? Danielson. I was testing you. This is amazing. Yeah. Mine has not reached the level of amazing yet. It takes a second. So, Getting okay. there. All right. I, I, I'm, I'm trusting the process. process. All hearts on this flop. Nobody with a heart in their hand. I mean, but that's probably like either the Hawaii. I'm gonna blame it on the wine. Or probably the nerves. One called me. Yeah. I guess it all the time. Something. Oh. Okay. Rhonda getting spicy in the big blind with three four. Yay! It's an overwhelming. I don't have a lot to choose from. Oh, yeah. Yes, give me the money. Yes, yes. You take it. Oh, yeah, you have it. 
Oh, good. I'm so happy. Ruth, are you going to be around for the Winter Holiday Classic here at the Lodge? I am. There's a couple of things coming up that I'm interested in. So fucking easy. The main event, 500000 guarantee, $500 buy-in, November 28th through December 3rd. That is the feature tournament at our Winter Holiday Classic. Holiday Classic starts the day after Thanksgiving. We call that Black Friday here in the United States, day after Thanksgiving. You've, you've celebrated with the family. You've eaten all the turkey. You've so, seen all the football on Thursday. Come on to the lodge on Friday. It will happen. And October 2nd is the Doyle Brunson promo. Oh, yeah. We've been, is that we've something been, you're going to be at? Oh, absolutely. Absolutely, Ruth. Let's talk about that after this hand is... They're making an order for some sort of sushi. That is the menu here at the lodge. You like sushi? I don't. Do I you? don't either. Skull and Mike. I love all fish, so it's bizarre. I like cooked fish. Mm -hmm. <laughs> I think that's probably why. Skull gives me hell all the time, Ruth. The other thing we have in common, we both don't drink coffee. Yes. I remember that. Like it was like, let me get this conversation. We'll play a little bit. So Ruth mentioned it. She was so adorable. Doyle Brunson Day coming on Monday, 12:01 a.m. Monday morning to 11:59 that same day. Win a hand with ten deuce. Use one hand, one card at least in your hand to make the hand, and uh, trips are better. Has to play, and uh, you will get your name registered in the drawing. We will be drawing the next day for ten thousand. $200. Let me give you a qualifying hand, and you tell me if it qualifies. All right. So you're playing 10-2. You're up against pocket nines, we'll say. The yes. The isn't on there, though. I and was the told there'd be no math. And the flop is quad kings and turn. Flop and turn is all kings. Yes, your 10 would play. Your 10 would play. Is that a qualifying hand? Yes. There you go. That would be qualifying. And pocket nines would be so mad. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> the ladies for Juan, as she has the menu in her hand. So now I'm feeling so warm. Yeah. <laughs> From the I think the wine's helping. Yeah. 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 <laughs> mm -hmm. I think that might happen. <laughs> we should all just start complaining about being way too hot. Final One table, Kev shows up in chat. <laughs> Good so job, as always, here. Kevin. <laughs> Finally beat you in one. Be other Who's in the box for us right now? So. Lisa. Lisa. Love Lisa. Yes, Lisa's always so nice. So, Ruth, are you going to be playing it all on Doyle Brunson Day? I believe so, as long as I have enough energy, you know, um, trying to stay rested. But I also have uh, October 7th, the ladies' monthly event here, which is the following Saturday. That's, That's open great. to the public. And of course, Aww. the lodge has daily tournaments oh, and cash time. games 24/7, <laughs> so we it's <laughs> easy to pick and choose. I'm pretty spoiled since I only live 10 minutes away. I, bring her here. I always love that event oh. each month. It's, you get such a great turnout. My favorite actually is the art of poker or the big one, and I and the last line. month I actually chopped the art. A poker for over twelve thousand. That's a two hundred fifty dollar entry that everyone should check out. And the big one, which is another monthly event that is one of my favorites. Top top here for Juan. Sam has a little piece of this. Sam likes to float. I'm noticing. Will you judge me if I put it in my titty? Absolutely not. I would judge you if you didn't put it in your titty. Thank you. I don't I recognize the girl <laughs> next to her. Krista? Yes, Where is Krista. she from? Um, I don't know. Skull knows, and Skull is gone. So we'll have to find out. I'm sure somebody in chat can let us know some information about Krista. No, no. I know Liz, I know Sam, I know Nakia. Brandon's loving that right now. Just having a All of them but her. Well, and I haven't met Rhonda, but 
I think she's a high stakes cash player down in San Antonio. Yes. I believe. Not much of a tournament player. That's probably why. And I don't know that I would say superstitious, but I would say that in general, I find that things do tend to fall in a pattern. So right. I don't I don't necessarily refer to it, but yeah, there are times I've played a hand merely because I'm like, okay, there's literally been a four on every board. Fours are hot ladies. Yeah, they are. Fours? Fours. I had pocket Caitlin fours and it up. It was my, obvious! It was my <laughs> own private <laughs> I didn't hear that. I didn't hear that. Uh, the menu they're looking at is restaurants from around the lodge. Lodge currently does not have a restaurant. Currently. You never know what's going to happen, though. One day, maybe. Ace Jack for Rhonda. So they're, what they'll do is order this and get it delivered to the lodge. Caitlin will probably play this. She's got position on Rhonda. There you go. Sure. How is she doing today? She's turning it around. Caitlin's always solid. Uh, <laughs> she plays a lot with the guys here at the lodge yes. on the live streams. This is nothing new to her. She's no. our local girl. Yeah. She's a her crusher. videos are fun and popular. <laughs> you know, she got to uh, second place. On the, which, what was it called? The monthly monster events? She yeah. got second in two of them. I'm very just like about fifty and sixty thousand dollars each. Krista with the aces here. Uh oh. There we go. Wearing her Buffalo Bills hoodie. And there's a set, top set for Krista and a pair for both Rhonda and Caitlin. Everybody gets a little something something here. My job, my job is, is to this could get spicy. Krista setting the trap. You know, when I get out for work, I don't want to talk to you. Like, mm -hmm. I want to go home and lay on my couch. Sure, I'm happy to share anything. Sorry. It's all day. She's doing quite well today. Fun. Oh my God. Hilarious. That is a Buffalo Bills jacket, right? Is that the yep. emblem? Yep. Krista with the aces and the check mark. Rhonda. Squeezing her hand warmer. Making the call. <laughs> Caitlin will let this go. So it'll be heads up. Krista with the check mark. Jack would be disaster here for Rhonda. Spade may slow things down for Krista. As the third spade hits the board. Right, take it back. Full steam ahead. 1,500. I think she's going to find a fold. Call. Makes the call. And Krista, very nicely played by Krista. Of course, anytime you flop a set of aces, it's hard to get paid in that situation, but Krista they made it. Sushi? No. No, they have okay. 785 people watching. We appreciate each and every one of you. you. If you could, hit that thumbs up. Me too. Doesn't cost you a penny. Helps us out. Oh hit the subscribe button. We're at 144,000 subscribers. Especially <laughs> Did you bring, is he with you? Yeah. Oh, my God. Is he? Oh. Yeah. I feel bad. But. 
We, we're is. very dog friendly on um, the stream. Yeah. One of my dogs. Oh my god, right I was usually I should have used that to my advantage. So up on this the morning. Oh, really? oh my god. Yeah. I have to use my dogs are traveling like they just come and they just like hang out, sit on the couch. My dog is oh too my wild. God, really? there okay. was one. I'm not going to do streams again for that. We used to be, like, there was huge dogs in here, so many poodles, they won't care. Oh, yeah. I got two little black poodles. As long as they don't poodles. like bark. I mean, I asked Doug Only last when I time lose. I was here. He said no. Really? Did you ask? the dog, dog uh, last time I was here. Really? Well, in the future, this room, I think, has its own rules. Yeah. Um, we should do like a pair for like Juan. I'll tell you a story, yeah, Ruth, about I would know. We were just talking about the time I was cold and could have used a hand warmer. <laughs> he just goes, Let me meet everybody in the pool. I don't have, I only have cats, so mm -hmm. my cats are staying home. Yeah, he's, he's still wild. White dog, right? he's still, yeah, yeah, he's he's super wild. My three year old's still. Mm -hmm. Open ender now for Schwan to go along with her pair of nines. I've heard stories about Charlie. Oh my God. Got shot for Krista. Well, he doesn't have people. No, that's, that's good. That's a good thing. That's good. But he has this thing, that, uh, this bone. We call it Chewy Vuitton. That they oh, have. Oh, He's yes. a man of luxury. <laughs> yes. Chewy Vuitton. Charlie is very spoiled. <laughs> but. Like he has got a high set. Chewy Baton gets it. Oh, yeah. <laughs> Chewy Baton gets it all the time. Do you know um that you have Sex in the City? Samantha? Remember the dog yeah, she bought in the movie? Yes, I love that. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That was that's I, I love Sex in the City. So my youngest humps my oldest when he gets a fresh haircut. Like, Schwan will take like, that down. Like that, that you look good today. Like <laughs> yes. So, Ruth, let me tell you a story. Oh it's the only God. time. Yeah. It was a long time ago, <laughs> 1984 to be exact, and I was at a college football bowl game, University of Texas versus Georgia in the Cotton Bowl. It was so cold, Ruth. <laughs> so cold that I couldn't. When your feet are cold, Ruth, you're miserable, right? Yes. yes. You, anything else can be cold, but your feet. So what did I do? I was wearing boots. I went to the concession stand, ordered two hot dogs, put one in each boot. I needed warmth. I needed the warmth. True story. I feel like Austin has so many poodle mixes. So I'm from Chicago, so I know cold. Oh, my Especially goodness. Especially downtown Chicago between the buildings. I've been here 23 years. Oh. Do not miss it. I was going to say, what a missed opportunity. Yeah, he already had his name. So, yes. My I didn't realize you were from Chicago. Yeah, my husband told me the coldest he's ever been was at a Buffalo Bills football game. Ooh. I mean, he looks like a Charlie. Yeah, they look cold. I like the name Charlie for a girl and a boy. Our cat's name is Tuco. Tuco, like Tuco from Breaking Bad. Yeah, and I haven't seen Breaking Bad, but yeah, that's what it's from. You haven't seen it? Uh, no. Do you know how boyfriend likes a lot? Tuco is the craziest character. Yeah, yeah, the cat is absolutely crazy, so it's perfect. Did you ever watch Breaking Bad? <laughs> oh, God, yes. I loved it. He was raised with two labs. So, like, I can call it's my favorite. Saul. Better Call Saul. <laughs> Better Call Saul. Not as much as Breaking Bad, but yes. Oh, like he walks sweet. out under the floor. I used to say Sopranos, <laughs> but Breaking Bad surpassed Sopranos in my eyes. Mm -hmm. uh, Such good. It ended perfectly. I need... You know, you felt satisfied at the end of Breaking Bad. Shout out to Breaking Bad. Jen Thomas, there was no condiments on the hot dog. It was a plain hot dog. <laughs> no ketchup, and no, I did not eat it afterwards. Come to sushi. Okay. Queens for Krista. Just had aces, now she's got the ladies. It's the Holy Bible. Yeah, now I'm back to the sweater. I'm back and forth. Oh, just drink more wine. Oh, wait, there's no more. <laughs> the skull mic only bring one. Right? Yeah. <laughs> Way to go, Mike. Just kidding. Love you. VW Bug said chili dogs would have added more warmth. <laughs> That's true. A little <laughs> squishy.
Back to Schwan here. We'll let, let, it, let it go. Ruth, so how did you get your start in poker? Well, I like to blame my husband. <laughs> We, uh, that was so not we were playing online, I guess, and uh, that's how I started out uh, back in the moneymaker boom. And we uh, played a lot of free poker at Texas bars, a lot of home games, and then I started traveling with the ladies up in Tulsa playing some casinos. And I got the bug. But at some point, you got <laughs> serious because I said to Poker Face Ash last night that I, I love I Root. Go. She's the sweetest person, right, so but I, I do not I like being on sushi. her table during a tournament. Yeah, Someplace you got to be ruthless. I, probably the two years also, the that, on there, so if you're looking I guess it was one year, that I played every single day in three different oh, Indian oh, casinos in Oklahoma, and typically oh, I was the I only female, uh, avocado and, cream. and um, yeah, I, I played, grinded a lot, a lot of daily events, and uh, you get thick skin playing poker, right? Yeah. <laughs> but, um, I love to watch you chip up, just I don't like to be at the table. <laughs> well, some days you're the bug, and some days you're the windshield, right? <laughs> exactly. <laughs> I've been the I've been the windshield. I've been the bug. So it's it's not a hundred percent guarantee, but um, it, it's always amazing to me how people think I'm aggressive, but I'm really a little more calculating than like you believe. <laughs> well, I no doubt about that. <laughs> the, the no. Numbers don't lie. As Liz hits trips. Turns trips here, and there's a boat for Christie. Watch out, folks. Hand number 83. This will be a good one. Liz raises with her trips. Christy says, I got a boat. What, do I just flat call here? I think that's what's probably going to happen. Maybe not. I think it's towards the back. Just going to flat call here, and we'll see a river. Liz looking for a queen or an ace. Gets the Bingo. ace! Bingo. You know that's my favorite hand, right? Oh, my goodness. January 7th is my birthday, and ace seven is one of my oh. favorite hands. Oh, my goodness. Liz and Christy, what a tough river. I'm not trying to make you go over Oh. All right, this might be a net roll. She's just going to call. Oh, she can't get away from that. And you, you heard Christy say it may be a knit roll, thinking, you know, how can people think she's taken so long to make that call? But Liz, <clears throat> runner, runner for Liz. It's her night. Let's look at the winnings. Liz now up 6490. Ronda up 5100. Krista is winning more than what's showing. Sam is down, and everyone else is losing. Juan now. Throwing the party down 91 20. It's an interesting thing to eat at a poker game. It is. I remember Christy from Poker News. Yes. Christy That's how Arnett. I remember. Yes. She did a great work. We're an interesting character. She's married to Andrew Marino, who is a great poker player himself. Poker pro, and they have a little boy, right? Yes. Yeah. She's a. Uh, 
Uh, probably a little more of a wine, so I tournament style poker player yeah. like I am, which isn't a bad thing, but she's not going to mix it up unless she truly has a hand. Unless she, and the other option is a position play. She'll probably do some position plays. I do know Christy has 173K on Hendon Mom. She hasn't been playing for a while. Yeah, she took some time off just getting back into it. I, I really, really like Christy. How long has she lived here? She just um, moved here, Yeah, right? maybe maybe a year and a half, two years. Oh, wow, that long. Okay. Yeah, and uh, yeah, dude, they're, she's good good people. I, I played with her and her husband in a tournament. Can you? Okay. Alex won't get energy. I put lotion on this morning. Uh, so you're just like, like <laughs> <laughs> okay. just, no, just roll it off. Lotion and a little bit of oil. Yes, thank you. Thank you. Same package, please. Tomorrow, you're not going to want to miss it. 3 p.m. Central. Juan is back. British Bulldog. And it's always fun That's when right. Terrace right. walks right. through that door. 3 p.m. Central. We're on Sunday. And then Monday, a special stream at 12.30 p.m. to 4 p.m. A little one-two with Slick Rick on the felt to celebrate and commemorate Doyle Brunson Day. Hello, Cheryl. Hello, Enrique. Seven deuce. We are playing the seven deuce game. Fifty dollars per player. No one's had it in a while. Oh, seven deuce. Oh my goodness. Sam not only hits it, but it's going to get paid the bonus. $50 from every player plus 100 for the last person who folds. And she's going to show the bad news. Pay up. Pay up. Nice. Forgot. Christy. Just when we all forget. Oh, oh yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Could have easily been me. <laughs> and let's see nice. Sam's reaction yeah. to smashing that flop. Yeah. She's going to say, pay up, everyone. There's the smile. She has the prettiest smile. We should make a our own our legacy. Exactly. Now, whoever comes up with that, props to you, because I don't know. Because I don't have, no, I don't have any ideas right now. I have no idea. They can get some ideas in the chat and let us know. Caitlin with King Jack. Oh, running into Krista with Ace King. Someone's walking past. Yeah. Okay. Um, no, she's taking a, a a little break. I think her break's just winding up. So she did the commentary. They asked her a bunch. Right. Yeah, I heard Ashley's not playing. She's taking a break. Yeah, I, I didn't. She really looked like she wanted to play. There's the lodge cam. Look at all those smiling faces, Ruth. Right. I don't see anybody smiling, Ruth. <laughs> They're I think all you say smiling. that every time and no one's smiling. Everyone is smiling. I, I can see it. <laughs> There's a seat open right there for yeah, me, though. There you go, Ruth. Always scouting the room. Where's my seat? Actually, I haven't played much, but uh, looking but forward to it. Color? You kill it's it. Literally that color. perfect. For sure. Look at that hat. Hey, the run Kayla. good hat. It is a run good hat. Is it the logo? Wow, here yeah, we go is. with Krista again. Another it premium like pocket pair. Well. Of 150 other hats. <laughs> Rhonda looking good in that lodge hat. Question for the chat. Would you play 1-2 with a 1K max buy-in? Sure. Even colder. Baseball cat boy was cute. Is that Ruth's boo? No, my Ruth's boo doesn't play at the lodge. <laughs> He's at home in his uh, lazy boy watching three football games, eating Papa John's pizza, and playing online. Nice. He probably didn't even notice I walked out the door. <laughs> Love you, honey. <laughs> hey, I, I'm with you, you know. 
the man's, know, we, the man's got it made on Saturdays. <laughs> Krista Betts 200 with the Jiggities. Liz, top pair in a straight draw, comes along. I need that heat warmer for that to happen. I have a king. Badly played. I was, I was in the blind. I just 30 bucks. No. You've been married a long time. I've been married 32 years. How about you? So we've been together 22. Okay. And our 19th wedding anniversary is coming up, and we are going to Grand Cayman. Oh, nice. It's on December 21st, the winter solstice. Nice. We were married in Hawaii. Fantastic. But uh, Grand Cayman, Rick, I got to tell you, I got the best deal on Southwest. They were running some Somebody specials. Somebody was telling me about this. Running some specials. I had a credit. My husband has a companion pass. Both of us are going round trip for two tickets, 167 bucks. Oh, my goodness. And it's not really bad flights either. We're just going through Fort Lauderdale. Caitlin with the Queens. Good for you. Was it 120? Probably have to win another poker event to afford the resort, but. <laughs> <laughs> so you're going to have Christmas in Grand Cayman. No, actually, I'll be home for Christmas. Okay. It's December 21st is at the tail end of the trip. Oh, so. okay. And before that, I'll be in Las Vegas for the WPT with Jamie Kerstetter and the Mug Game. And now, when is that? Because I'm going to be out there. I'm going to be there the 5th through the 10th okay. of December. And uh, prior to that, I'm going to Mexico with the poker girlfriends, Puerto Vallarta. Man, Ruth, you got it made. Well, I just decided I'm going to live my life to the fullest while I still can. So Good for you. Sitting at home doesn't do it. <laughs> I love it. Well, have fun. Thank you. Thank you. I'm the one playing blackjack. I'll be staying with Terry in Vegas, oh, by the way. Oh, nice. Good old Terry Hatcher. Yes. My, one of my besties and a great hostess. Man, did she ever take good care of me when I'm there. Pocket tens for Nakia, and she's just <sighs> running into it all day long, having a tough day. Going to put it all in, make her stand right here. Caitlin with the ladies is going to make the call. Long Long Up to you. Uh, twice is nice. All righty. They're going to run it twice. Good luck, Nakia. Nakia, there's... A 110 remaining, the 10 of spades. Caitlin said she'll run it twice. She's just the best. She really is. Looking for the 10 of spades is Nakia. Does not come. come on. First one to Caitlin. Keep her in the game. Ten of spades. Does not come. Caitlin yeah, is going to Good game. stack. I think she said she's going to be back. Let's see what happens, but going to take a little break one way or the other. It's tough. Nice hand. Nice hand, Caitlin. I assumed I, assumed I would just. Cumulative winnings. There you go. In the menu. Liz, up on top. Yeah. And she was our first player, I think, that busted yeah. when I was watching yeah. it at home. She got stacked. Way to go, Liz. Adam Gomez says, Ruth, you're awesome. Aw, thank you, Adam. I agree. I tell you, I was pretty much a klutz last night. I ended up doing a face plant at home. Oh, my goodness. You didn't see the new hardware? I saw that. What what happened? Um, <laughs> Ruth, well, come on. <laughs> I got up too fast, and that's what happens when you're on oh. a bunch of drugs. Uh-oh. Uh-oh. <laughs> At least I'm not drinking booze with them. But <laughs> some days I'm a warrior, and some days I'm just a broken mess, Rick. But Ruth. I never give up. No, you don't. <laughs> Toughest woman I know. Hard to say. Hard to say. I'll get there. <laughs> I do like that hand's nickname, though. Fortunately, it's just a sprain. Good. 
What is it? Man. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, there's a straddle. Got it. Some people call it a gay waiter. Okay. Yes, yes. Do we know how much uh, Rhonda was up? Was she up about four or five K, I think? She's been up all day, hasn't yes, she? Yes, she has been up all day. And she's got the nice hat now? Yeah, yes, beautiful hat. You can Are get Are you a those. hat wearer? I love hats, but they, I just don't wear them a whole lot. I think I'm going to wear one on Monday for the stream, but I have... You'd be surprised how many hats I have. My What's, wife gets... Oh, tell me what them? the stream is on Monday. Uh, on one, two. It's just a very online. small, just to kind of publicize the oh. Doyle Brunson Day and get people down to the lodge. Oh, okay. Okay. Perfect. Did, um, sorry. I'll, I'll, I'll expect I'll, to see you with a hat on. Yeah, I'll wear one. I probably have no less than 200 hats. <laughs> <I know. laughs> probably 250 T-shirts with poker <laughs> logos on them. <laughs> When I cleaned out my closet, I'm like, okay, I can get rid of all these suits and all these high heels since I'm not working any longer. But all I have are T-shirts in there now. <laughs> <laughs> That's awesome. Gotta Poker T-shirts. Got to be comfortable. Caitlin with King Queen. Schwan with Ace 10. She's going to see bet here. <clears throat> Caitlin will float. I'm, like, so excited for this. Um, like, so Bingo. You know, got like a specialty roll and then the jade roll, it's like a vegetarian roll, but I just got the vegetarian. It says that you should wear the cowboy hat, Rick. You got a cowboy hat? I do. I, I may do that. It's a good idea. I bet you look good in it. I, I think everybody looks good in a cowboy hat. It's so funny. When I used to live in Chicago, I didn't know much about Texas, and I thought everyone wore a cowboy hat that yeah. was down here. I know. Isn't that crazy? 23 years later, I rarely see a cowboy hat. You don't. <laughs> And in Oklahoma, the ranchers wear cowboy hats, but you can't call them cowboys. You have to call them ranchers. It's, it's a completely Where in Oklahoma? Were you in Oklahoma City? No, actually, I was at Lawton Fort Sill for a year okay. while my husband moved the military, and that's when I grinded the three different casinos for daily tournaments for a year, honoring my non-compete for work. Oh, okay. And that's pretty much where I got my thick skin. I don't play every day, day but those games are running every day. There is one tomorrow. There is one tomorrow. I can't pick you. Yeah. Um, also, just because I have GD with me, I want him yeah, to be alone another day. Yeah. You know, it was like 23 years ago, so Urban yeah. Cowboy was real big. Yeah. <laughs> and I'm sure you know That's okay. Well, yeah, I know. I, <clears throat> I get it. A lot of people. When you're coming, let me know. And um, I mean, think that always something going on, mm -hmm. and even if I'm not there, I'll let you know. Game you want to be in. You have to Thank you. Sam turns a queen here. Her and Caitlin are good friends, but uh, no friends at the poker table. This is in San Antonio. Mm -hmm. So it's I did not run into Reba in Oklahoma, Wesley. Oh, <laughs> but I have to be honest with you, there was uh, casinos, pawn shops, and uh, strip clubs. That's about it. <laughs> and really windy weather. I was shocked how windy it was in Oklahoma compared to Texas. My brother lives in Oklahoma City. They take their weather very seriously. Yeah, it's like tornadoes and <laughs> severe weather. They they like stop everything and just tune in. Pull over. I've never seen it. And I you know, just the continental divide, it just sounds so regal. But the Oklahoma casinos is pretty much where I got my feet wet. This is it. It's a ditch. And it's like Ace Queen for Krista, Ace Ten suited. Yes. Snap fold to the three bet by Sam. I Good feel fold. like it's hotter there. <laughs> yeah. Like I said, next oh, week, starting, I think, Wednesday. You know, there's no reason for me to have to go to Oklahoma now sure with the lodge. Right. No, I, I used to go in the, in the lodge. I haven't been Last since. Night, it said well, those uh, drivers in Dallas try to kill me every time. So. <laughs> And I'm a Chicago driver. <laughs> Liz got the flush draw here. Chris is still in the lead. See how hot Liz is. Looking for a heart. 
It was just in New York. And Heart or a 10? Or a 10. Crazy that there's rain for like two days straight. Doesn't come. Oh, Krista with the check mark. Yeah. I just stay in my hotel. For see if Liz. Day. I was hungover. Liz anyway. says, let's see if my ace can win. <laughs> Liz is hanging on to her winnings. <laughs> yeah. Good for her. Aaron Barch, thank you very much for that. Well, my friend you Jeff could hit that thumbs up. Waiting for me. It helps us out. Like subscribe yeah. to our channel. And if you subscribe, what's the number that we have to meet to push you out of an airplane? <laughs> 150,000. <laughs> We're at 144,000, so coming up on it. Transportation is great. No, so we're many definitely things. talking about the bus. Okay. <laughs> what's really happening? And what's in it? Vodka grapefruit juice. Oh, okay. Although greyhounds are, they are, I think I might want to adopt one when I decide to get a dog. Merriman, you, you can, you can like a small adopt child. them from, well, you used to be able to adopt them from, like, places that raced them. Well, oh, yeah. I know They're Florida retired. just passed they, the law where it's illegal. I know, because I used to go to West Palm Beach Kennel yeah. Club. I hate and that. I, yeah. I, I mean, the dog thing or the actual the, the place? The dog thing. Oh, me too. Yeah, no, the dog thing. I yeah. was like, I, I, didn't, I didn't have a bad time at West Palm yeah. Kennel yeah. yeah. Club. No, 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 the idea is really not good. If I had pocket fours, I would raise four. Somebody was throwing their hand warmer up through the camera angle. Also, a ton cat. Caitlin will let better flush draw here. How long can cats go without having someone check in on them? Rhonda was second pair. So <laughs> I'm sad. Not asking for me. Well, my, my how, can you, how long can you neglect a cat? Yeah, how long can my you neglect a cat? My apartment basically runs itself. There's an automatic litter box. There's an automatic feeder. There's an automatic vacuum. There's a water fountain. But they so I, get lonely. I would, I could so personally like leave them five. for maybe two days oh, without oh, them having somebody days. with okay. them. Because Rhonda. I left them for two weeks once. And they were with my dad, but I was like, I'm never Two pair there. here no. on the river. I was traveling, but traveling with cats. Uh, that's bad. Yeah. That's that's an Olympic <laughs> But yeah, no, I don't like, they need love, so try not to. Three hours and 20 minutes into the stream, Slick Rick along with Ruthless, the great Ruth Hall. Under your seat in the plane? No, so I have a... So do you phone prefer phone. cash or tournament, Rick? When I need it. Cash, <laughs> not even close. And I, the reason for that is my patience he's level. His crate, he's just screaming the whole time. Yes, I, you I have to have a lot of uh, just, patience like, and be able to fold a lot of hands. I, like, I just, I like, and, and, and I like to see flops. I, yeah. I'm just... <laughs> and they know, but they... they and I, I love yeah. tournaments. I love to play them, but... You don't have to put them in at all? Just... In the little crate uh, thing at all? And every oh, now and then I'll bink one, but I'm just not... service. Just not, not good. And I, not the, thing yeah, yeah. Perfect yeah. example is like, I played the seniors like, event out of the WSOP. Played all day. Painful. Made it through dinner break yeah. last 20 minutes before we bag. Major alerts. I, I was feeling so good about myself. Wake up with kings. I was going to fold anything else. Aces or kings was the only hand I wasn't going to. And I lose. That's the way it goes. But it's the patience thing. Like it's it's more of a patient. Yeah, no one likes that. <laughs> My fish hate but it. I watch <laughs> great <laughs> tournament players like yourself, you and I, I try to learn. Fish. I love that. Is we it, see an open like ender here for Sam. To keep up with a tank like that. It's not too bad. As the tank matures and it builds up beneficial bacteria. There's the straight. It's, it's not quite as high maintenance when you're first starting a system because okay. it's like brand new. You have to do water changes more often. But as the tank matures, mine's like four, four and a half years old now. Okay. So I don't have to do the water changes as often, which is like, like once Because they're like kind of used to like whatever. Like how Because of the beneficial bacteria, you grow a lot of coralline algae, which eats worse kind of algae and other, okay. you know, what do they call it? Nitrite. Okay. I think it's the bad one. <laughs> I don't know. I Less wine drinking like on today's no, stream. Cool. I didn't, I didn't know any of that. Yesterday they were tipping the wine a little more so. Terrible yeah. Just like do a big and I've uh, noticed a different aggression level that. between last night and tonight. You think it's more or less? Oh, much more today. Much more today. I see the less pre-flop, more post-flop. <laughs> Could be. Um... Last night there were a few hands, and it was a great game last night. And shout out to all the ladies who played. Um, there was a couple hands where um, I thought there'd be more "quote unquote" yeah, blood, and there blood. and there wasn't. But overall, fantastic event last night. Right, like 
Yeah, yeah I was shocked the like ace high flush and the king yes. high flush um, didn't get it all in. Yeah. To like full um, size. That, that, that was the big one that I was thinking yeah. of. Congrats to Amber and Laura coming out ahead. They did quite well, I think. Yes. Amber crushed it. I just started out with a 40 gallon. I instantly thought of Caitlin when the freeze happened like a year ago. I was like so freaked out for her fish. I was good because I live so close to that hospital. I never lost power in that freeze. I lost power for seven days. I lost three bags of groceries. I'm still recovering. Oh, they're talking about our freeze. <laughs> I had five days no power. I actually had to dig out my old mink coat from 30 years ago. That's crazy. How did you do? Did you lose power during that freeze? We did. We, we, we went, like, rolling. We, we would, like, every three or four hours, we'd go down for an hour. And, um, but we did lose water because we had a break in our, we had a water break, and... Well, that only thing me nervous for your Did the first street. time I ever, I went out and dug snow oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. to be able to flush toilets. We, we put a bunch of snow in there. But, um, so you can put like a blanket around it when it's a reef tank. It needs Kyle to says, I'm like the sweetest three batteries I've ever <laughs> sent to <laughs> write of. <laughs> Thanks, Kyle. <laughs> I'm sure I said thank <laughs> you if I got the chips. <laughs> <laughs> that is true. Take a little. I'm learning so many things. I know. I'm like, I'm. I yes, I use it. the gas stove. I, um, I'm from Chicago. Like, my husband, my who's from Mississippi, I said, like I got this. <laughs> Told him how to wrap up the faucets, open up the doors yeah, underneath the sinks, it was, open up the toilet, make sure things didn't freeze. We didn't have any plumbing problems. It was major. I mean, we went like 24 days without it getting above 20 degrees. Yep. We have a fireplace that we finally utilized, and. Uh, gas stove, which we made a big pot of chili. <laughs> yeah, that was, a, that was a rough week. A boat for Rhonda. Christy just hoping for a deuce to chop. I have a 12 and a 3. I have a pandemic baby and uh, an old man. A what baby? A pandemic baby. Oh, a pandemic. I thought that was like a kind of dog. I'm like, what? <laughs> I, heard, like, I mean, I didn't hear extra needy. <laughs> but Cross I feel like... between a shih tzu and a pit bull. <laughs> oh Pandemic babies. I would love to see what that looks like. I think it would have trouble breathing. <laughs> yeah, oh. kind of like how pugs do. Brachycephalus face, right? Isn't that what they call that? 23. No. <laughs> I was like, yeah, you got to show if it's queen three. Teach me how to play that shit. God damn, girl. <laughs> I am being facetious. <laughs> I did not have queen three. Did you see Caitlin when she was imitating the different players? And oh, yeah. Poker personalities. Oh, my God. Hilarious. She is very talented. <laughs> Hilarious. <laughs> I keep telling her, I want to see well, Slick Rick and Skull Mike make it into one of her parries. And she said, be careful what you wish for. I like it. No, she's extremely talented. I, I like the one that uh, her and her partner with Ace Holes, Nikki, did. They did this skit with Andrew and Brad to kick off their channel. It was very well done. Very well done. So search for Caitlin's stuff on Ace Holes on YouTube. Find out they do podcasts and they also do skits. She's very sweet about mostly poker related. Sam and Caitlin involved in this one. Caitlin with the best of it, with the check mark. You're a big Longhorn fan, right? Yes. Doing well today, I think. Um, yeah, they won. I, this is the first stream I've played in three years, and then... It's about time I, they have a good uh, season. Well, yesterday was, and then... I've played a couple tournaments here. Yeah. Um, yeah, I tried to play this week to try to remember how to play Excuse poker. <laughs> and like when I was doing the PLL bomb pots, I was like, I just pretended I, I would just show my cards. Just be like, so they could figure it out. Right, after the river, yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> I'm like, I think I have. I'm but that's I have four the, cards. But my brain was seriously just like, so slow, yeah. you know, to try to. No, there's there's a lot going on in those games. Yeah. 
So as you know, I play a lot of ladies only events. Yes. But I also play a lot of open events and I think you used the term big wig yesterday. <laughs> <laughs> I heard it. And to be truthful, most of the five figure scores that I've had have been open events. The most I think I've ever made in a ladies only was 18,000 because obviously the prize pools right. and the they're Number less. of entries are much larger in open events. So you have to do both. But it was it was a transition from ladies only to open events. I actually had a friend, Ann Tripp, who uh, gave me a little kick and said, you need to get in more bigger events. Yeah. So. Uh, but yeah, I mean, you're. You, in, in, when we had you commentating on the stream and, and let's look at this seven deuce. We are playing the seven deuce game. Unfortunately, Sam has flopped top, top, but Juan with the flush draw and the seven deuce, you get $50 from every player plus an extra 50 from the last person who folds. But hold that thought, Ruth. I want to ask you something. Me too. <clears throat> As we watch this hand. Sam isn't going anywhere. One expression never changes. Very good for a poker player. Ooh. Trips now for Sam. Juan wants so bad to win with the seven deuce to get the bonus. She's going to make the call, looking for some help, looking for a club. Boom. There's the club. Ugh. Juan. Hello, Jen Jones. All in. Oh, my. I had to call. I understand. I, I understand. And she gets the bonus. Juan is going to win a big one. <laughs> and collect on the seven okay, deuce bonus. Head, I'm like, how much am I going to lose this time? <laughs> We are so ashamed of you right now. <laughs> I played that exact hand earlier, but I didn't get there. <laughs> so the kicker is not only did Sam lose, but she has to pay an extra 100 because she was the last person to fold. There you see the cumulative winnings. Liz way out in front, 6,400. Rhonda, Krista both win in huge amounts. Oh, wait, I have. Nakia's, we're waiting to see if Nakia's going to be back or not. Juan. Came back a lot there on that hand. Now just throwing the party down 7,400. So I was going to mention, uh, we were talking about you in the tournaments. You were a commentator on a recent tournament here on the Lodge live stream. And you gave 10 unbelievable tips <clears throat> that each one of them was just amazing for the people <clears throat> wanting to play tournaments and uh, got a lot of people that came up to me after that and said that was incredible information so ah thank you our ruthless tips yeah that's that should do it ruthless tips no you were, you were as as the kids say you were spitting facts yeah <laughs> i just helped a, a Girlfriend in California who asked me for a lesson, gave her three hours, and she won 29K in a tournament. Jeez. So, I'm sure she had some talent behind that and, and some luck, but 
Uh, she was very gracious and happy. So Christy with the check mark here. Rhonda, let's see if Rhonda continues to fire. Christy has just had a tough day. Rhonda is going to continue to fire. Relentless with the pressure. Queen three. Rhonda again. Rhonda queen. hits. Could be queen three of queen three game clubs. <laughs> Pardon? Queen three of clubs, maybe. You could have that. No, I do not have queen three of clubs. <laughs> I check. I think Christie's going to win that hand. I wish I had. Queen uh, three Adam, I don't know. I do you remember which event? Because all of our. <laughs> Live streams are on uh, in the archives. Do you remember which tournament you were? I don't because I for? was with Jamie on the last one, and then it was prior to that. So Jess is coming in. Jess also deals on the Lodge live stream, and a dealer here at the Lodge. She's going to take Nakia's spot in seat eight. Those are hello, Miss Ma'am. Hi. Oh, what? Oh, did she leave her glasses? Jess, oh. very, very Hello, nice Hello. person. You oh, wouldn't know it by the look of her, yeah. but I Jess I just my water can eat. Outside. Really? <laughs> she, you're, she's not one of those hot dog eaters, is she? No, but uh, <laughs> let me tell you something. You wouldn't know it by looking at her, but... You're good. Raise. She sits down and she raises with her pocket queens. She says, welcome to the table to me. Lenny, always great to see you in chat. Yeah, that was the very first time that... Got to get you back to the lodge. Yeah, seven dudes. I've never had one once. Seven dudes, yeah. And so Jess just sits down and wins a pot. I got stacked with seven dudes. She's so pretty with her hair today. That's right, yeah. And then she had a Another favorite dealer. She just plopped two pair. Yes, that's right. Sam, Sam. Yeah, Sam's got two pairs. Mm. Someone mentioned in the uh, comments about yeah, upswing yeah, poker. I have a group. You're probably not aware yeah, of it. I support WPA, and we have another group called Women's Poker Resources. Uh huh. It's got 4,000 members, men and women, and uh, we put a bunch of ideas on there of where to play, as well as poker tips, like from Doug Polk's upswing poker lessons. Nice. So if you're looking for some free tips, we do put some of the upswing in there. I just support our local people. I see a a Ruth a ruthless vlog. Not not a not all the time, but you need to do a vlog. T Ruth's tips. I mean, ruthless tips. I love that, and it doesn't have to be a long one. Maybe one tip. An episode. So you're drinking white wine. What do you mean? I see. I don't know. I'd watch. I don't know the I didn't, I don't Aces know the, for uh, Jess here. As Christy is throwing her That's hand warmer no up at <laughs> in the air again. Mm. Like a hacky sack. That girl. <laughs> Jess has aces <laughs> now. Yeah. It's rough. Uh, nice. <laughs> and Nakia's going, why didn't I wait a little bit longer in that seat? <laughs> don't tell Nikki. I know. <laughs> I know. I know. I know. Nikki, what did you say? I actually just found it in my pocket. I find crystals in my pocket oh, randomly all the time. Oh, your hoodie. Oh, really? I thought you just said, what is that? No, what is your hoodie? Oh, it says, uh, I, I am you, you are me. These last a long time. What kind of a weird, yeah, superstitious girl would keep yeah. crystals? In I know it's just so it. weird, right? It's such a weird thing to do. I'm a weird person. <laughs> I got crystals. I got a bag of crystals. I love room. weirdos, though. And my whole life is just I got crystals naked under everywhere. the full moonlight. It was a harvest moon. Hell I hope y'all yes. did too, or you wasted it. Hell yes. I plan on doing when was that the for the what clip. Last night it was the last super. Yeah, moon no, of it year. was. Mm -hmm. I was gonna say it looked. Crazy. Oh, yeah. It's fun to watch the dealers play. I yeah. saw you had Anastasia on. Beautiful Anastasia. Yes. Love her to death. I know she she had a rough she had a tough night. Rough, rough night, but you know she's still still a really good poker player and such a beautiful 
dealer to have in the box. <laughs> right? Yes. Yep, that really is the main reason why I, I like those. So many dealers yeah. love to play poker. Let it out. Yep. Let it all out. It's nice to see them playing. <laughs> yeah, I bet. Best table you could ever go to is seven dealers and an empty seat. Like I don't want to wear pants. Do a meditation. Because they like to gamble. I already took off for that week too. Buck twenty-five is the bet. Yeah. From Juan with the pocket sevens, she'll take it down. Yeah. Nice. Not seven deuce. Oh. Like. I wish. Doyle Brunson Day, Monday. You're not going to want to miss it. It all starts 12.01 a.m., goes to 11.59. Win a hand with 10 deuce. You must use one of your cards, but trips are better, and your name will be automatically entered into a drawing. I'll do the wrong The next day, we'll draw. That one person will win $10,200. We'll have that drawing live 1 p.m. on Tuesday on our stream channel. And in order to celebrate that, we're going to have a special Monday stream, 12.30 p.m. Central Time. And I'll be on the felt playing a little poker to commemorate Doyle Brunson Day. I don't usually play 10-2, do you? I will on Monday. <laughs> I heard that Doyle stopped like, playing it because he lost so much money <laughs> with it <laughs> at the cash tables. Makes sense. When I get cold, I get cold. I would have to believe. Yeah. Years ago, Metal I flopped a straight yeah, flush with six, seven of clubs in my hand. Three, four, five. I won a huge pot. Three, four, five of clubs on the flop. And for about 20 years after that, I always played seven, six suited. Oh, wait, are you supposed to, like, keep these in and shake them? Oh, uh, you have to, like, yeah, yeah. activate them. <laughs> there you see the cumulative winnings. Shake and bake, Ricky Bobby. <laughs> you got to rub them in your hands. <laughs> rub it. I'm a freeze baby. I'm always cold. Yeah, or you could drop You have a favorite hand? Aces. <laughs> uh, mine's usually the winning hand, but yes. I do like ace seven a lot. Any seven, actually. Yeah. Sevens have been good to me. Nice. Kathy, good night to you. Thank you for hanging out with us for a yeah, while. Anastasia just got hers, too. Oh, there's no game one? <laughs> Why only women in this game? We uh, have an occasional opportunity to let women be represented in poker and promote the game to get other women in the game. Because let's face it, majority of poker players are men. And we want to build that number in the casinos and the card rooms. So this helps encourage and enable women to see, hey, if they can do it, we can do it too. Absolutely. I think he might have like had them. I was gonna say, I'm like, yeah, do we like have them in the back or something? He must have had them. You have any pet peeves at the poker table? Oh God. Now I could do a vlog on that. Yeah? Yes. What would that be? Uh, people who constantly say that would have been me, you know. Uh, I want to do a T-shirt, okay? We we talked about this T-shirt of somebody coming to you with a bad beat. Your answers. These are your answers. What can you do? That's one answer. The hand played itself, right? Oh, that's a cooler, right? And then the old, that's poker. That's poker. I want that T-shirt. <laughs> Somebody comes up to you and tuck, you wants to tuck a bad beat. You just point to the T-shirt. Pick yeah. an answer. Yeah. Like mild hot, because the mild is. I just like as mild as mild can possibly get. Want to hear mine? Yes. Okay. Then. People who slip their sandals off and then sit Indian style where their feet. Oh yes. Are right next to you. I I agree. I'm like. No shirt, no shoes, no service. Come on, put your shoes back on. Put your feet under the table. I'm with you. The barefoot players, please stop. <laughs> I like that. No shirts, no, no shoes, no service. <laughs> we got Baylor coming in to take a few pictures of the lovely ladies. Baylor's part of our production crew. Twenty 
Hmm. Yeah, there's a lot of pet peeves, but. Whatever you need. Gotcha. Do you know where Jess came from? Where Jess she's... is from the Northeast, northeast? but she's been here at the lodge a while. Yeah, yeah. I believe Jess is from the Northeast. I feel so powerful. They don't want to see a flop with me, Juan. I'm too frightening. <laughs> yeah, sorry, Caitlin, you scare me too much. Uh, <laughs> I saw you. I had a crappy suit today, so it wasn't really. I'm just so grateful. Yeah. <laughs> I hate tough decisions. You want to know what it was? It was your naked episode last night at the moon. <laughs> what it was. Hey, the <laughs> moon liked it. We just got drunk. Says, what about the angry player who blames the other, the <laughs> dealer? <laughs> it's always the dealer's fault, isn't it? The the moon. <laughs> On the other, yep. the other side of the earth. <laughs> you got to. <laughs> Nine billion people on this. I'm planet. never going to see a full moon the same way again. <laughs> yeah, we had our last super moon last night. Did you get a peek at it? I did, but Caitlin said that uh, she was running naked under the super moon. Doesn't surprise me. Hey, if it makes you happy, go for it, Rick. I live out in the country, so I like one. Open under and a pair for Liz. Oh, yeah, you can, uh, Top yeah, pair I'll for Juan. I'll go get my Amazon. There's the straight for Liz. Liz is just having one heck of a day. Juan does pick up the flush draw. In my front yard is sheep across the street, and that's all there is. So, you know. I'm so feral. Like, I ran into my neighbor the other day. Like, when we're, like, by the garages. And I was like, hey, how are you doing? And she was like, I was like, oh, shit, what has she seen or heard me do? <laughs> she can't even acknowledge me. <laughs> And Liz, Liz got off to a rocky start today, got stacked early. The first player stacked, but has not looked back since. And Liz. There's nothing worse than having a bad neighbor. Yeah. Maybe I'm the bad neighbor. One of the know? great people no, here at the lodge. <laughs> One terrible neighbor who's a, but I've never actually met him. I've just, he like keeps dogs mm -hmm. in the in cages in the back. No. Oh. It's like, it, Let's it's go like, as a group. Animal oh, control, yeah. after the stream. Animal How's control that? and police have been there so many times, but I live somewhere that they just don't. Oh, I would sneak oh, in the back. Because, God. like, there's, why, there's just, like, dogs all over my street. I literally will have to, like, oh drive gosh. around. I've, I I want to rescue you all of them. It's, it's so, so hard. Oh, yeah. my. It's so hard. hard so, so hard. I hate it. It's the only thing I hate about where I live. Oh, my gosh. It's just, like... River Rat, great, always great to see you. But people on the other side of me are really nice. They watch my animals. I live in an apartment with a very... All spades here. Sam with the spade. Saves my alarm. Top pair for Jess. Yes, please remember to hit the like button so we have more lady streams. We want to get more ladies under the lights. I love it. How'd I do? You did awesome. <laughs> I don't know. I, wanna, I don't think I can do it as well as you, you do. Know, right? you, we, I want to have a, an under the lights contest. Come to the lodge, give me your best under the lights, and we'll give you a prize. To the other place. No, win. You want to win, right? Yeah. 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 We were going to win. Hey, I was just looking at the Yeah. Nice. Look at Southwest. Yes, that is Juan from Toronto, Canada. Yeah, talking with a pre stream. She's living in Vegas, but yeah, from Canada. But then I started looking at flights from Mexico, so. When are you going to Mexico? I just want to go to Mexico. I don't know. Well, like January. I got a passport. Yeah, me too. Let's go. Let's go. I've never been anywhere with my passports. So oh, I really want to go. Yeah. I've never really been on Go to Puerto Mexico. Vallarta. This will be my oh, so really third awesome. trip. I was like, You're me, you, fourth and trip? Nice. Third my, or fourth. Third or fourth. My girlfriends and my like, sisters from Ohio and have a big girls' trip or something. Oh, I'm down. I really want to go. Mexico or Costa Rica or somewhere. I want to go to uh, Mexico. is just so easy to get to, especially from here. Big yeah. Bend? Yeah. I want to go to Big Bend. My it's sister was just in Cancun for her honeymoon. I want to go to Big like Bend last too. week. Yeah, so. that's like that's the one like at the well, that's so the right bad. one, right? In Texas. Yeah. Yeah. In Texas, yeah, like, like the all the way. The, yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Okay. Definitely all the way. 
Me too. Me too. And the solar eclipse is coming like right through Austin next year, so okay. we're gonna camp out. And just as mom just joined chat. Caitlin, just naked, Ooh, naked at the I'll solar eclipse. Let's go be froze. Do it, right? gonna be, Dude, we're I'm gonna be camping. How you doing? My telescope. Yeah, you should nerd out. Just as mom. Get bug bites and sunburnt, but I'll still It'll be, be there. <laughs> the next time you're gonna see a solar eclipse and be right. naked. Done. The next solar eclipse. Shannon says, I'm down for Mexico. Maybe she'll want to be naked. Jess sweeps another there, pot. That's what we're Someone doing. alluded in chat, you know, why separate the sexes? You know, first of all, any lady oh, is more than welcome to play on any of our streams, and we love it, and we've had them play. As uh, one perfect example. But other times, we want to honor the ladies who do play because it's, it's a small minority of poker players that are women. We want to give them a safe and comfortable platform. And I don't look at it as separating anything. We're including and trying to promote as many women to feel as comfortable to come play whenever. And we want to showcase that. So that's why we're doing this, and we'll continue to do things like this. No, so I'm not looking at it as a separation of any yeah, point, sure a just a showcase and celebration of the great ladies. And Caitlin here with Seven Deuce, we are playing the Seven Deuce game. No, I'm like, we're kind of friends with yeah. like, this in my pocket. Um, so you need ten more money. dollars. Twisting the cord, because no discounts for being the hot blonde. <laughs> <laughs> that shit might work elsewhere. Mm -hmm. It doesn't. <laughs> Queen high flop. Not much for anybody here. Caitlin with the seven deuce. She does flop a pair. You don't make it awkward because she's. Christy now hits her jack. <laughs> It is actually, it is very you, good. You may be in the shadow a little bit with the old hit. That good, babe? <laughs> also, it's on you. I know, I saw him over there and I tried to like. But was it good? That's all I want to know. I'm the least person, so I'm just like, eh. Yeah, hey. So part of the mission with WPA is to educate, elevate, and empower women in poker. What that really means is just get them so they feel comfortable in the casinos and the card rooms. And once they do, they're going to enter those open events. They're going to enter those cash games. I'm a walk and walking testimonial to that, to how that works. That's how it worked for me. Yeah, and I'm sure there are plenty of women that only will play ladies' events, and, and I get that. But there are a ton. God knows. You see them here at the lodge every day that play in the tournaments, the open tournaments, as you say. And uh, some of the best players around here are ladies. So just want to make a welcoming atmosphere. That's it. And we want to get the ones that are at home online that – and I want to expand and get out of and I the online and venue and maybe play some live and poker. And yeah. It's a more social atmosphere. Like Ashley explained yesterday, it's just a level oh of comfort God, for them you. if they haven't done it before. And the more they do it, the more they get addicted like myself <laughs> and end up playing in the open events. <laughs> That really happened. I was so amazed. Rhonda continues to stack chips. She resolved it. Yeah. Yeah. So, I'll like, right, right. be honest with you, I got it back, but by the end of the night, she had a That's right, Eric. If we can uh, get more women in, it's just as I mean, good for the game really of poker. Where I know somewhat like, especially yeah. like someone older that I've... I've had someone, I'm like, yeah. especially when you win a $200 pot, it throws me a thousand, like, no, no, like. What percentage, so have you done imagine, studies, the WPA done things, studies like on what percentage happens, of women extra uh, play, like, thank you for play poker like, in yeah, the there's there's card rooms and casinos? Not overall, but I can tell you the WSOP percent is less than 5%, so I should tell you right there. I mean, 50% of the population, 5% of the poker, so there's such a large growth opportunity. And he's the sweetest old man ever. Because there's no re I mean, poker is the great equalizer. Just like took it, ran away. Yeah, we all get two cards. Else, like, yes. Happened, so, interesting. I don't even remember if oh. what happened. But I mean, because technically you hand somebody 
because they don't technically have to give it back. I'm not. So that it was so bad. I'm like that is just there. so. It's a red. Well, it's the worst card. Like how Queen can Jack you here. Pink Each of them got a piece. It's not that pink, and it's not a different size. And then a deep red. Yeah. Mm -hmm. So they look so yeah. similar. See, ours were so like close. light blue. Top top right? here for Juan. And then our white chips yeah. were. And so yeah. it's like an undercertain. Like, Judy, like we look forward to having you. They yeah. Look similar. Even That's though they're awesome. different sizes. We will welcome you with open nice. arms. Like, it was, that was a really And good. not in a creepy way. Yeah. Come visit, <laughs> come visit me, Judy. <laughs> <laughs> that didn't sound right. <laughs> Krista with her jack in the straight draw. Looking for some help. Doesn't come. Liz is in fuego today. Winning another pot. What about that crazy bluff yesterday by Lara? Oh, yes. If you didn't know, folks, Bill Perkins' wife, Lara, was on the stream yesterday. Yeah. And she got in a pot with, I believe it was Poker Mama, Casey. And Casey had queens, if I recall. On a jack-high board, Lara ended up shipping about two, $3,000 all in and got Poker Mama to lay it down. That's a tough call right there. What do you think? It was, yeah. That was a great play there. There you see a great shot of Krista mulling over whether... Her jacks are good. She lays it down, and Liz is going to win another one. Lara also, the last hand of the night, hit quads. Oh, I missed that. Yep, quad nines. Yeah, it was tough. We had a Lara and a Lara, a Christie and a Kristen. It was very tough on the commentators last night, but so enjoyable. Laura was solid. Yes. Amber... One hell of a player. Yes. That's all I got to say about last night. I can't really remember a lot of the action that happened, but uh, those two stood out. And both are, uh, both never knew. I don't think they have ever met, and it's so amazing because they both play a lot here at the Lodge, and uh, they both seem like they would have a whole lot in common. No, Great yeah. women. Well, I've played and with there's both the of seven them. deuce, Christy. Christy. <laughs> Christy, look at that show. smile on Christy's 50, face. 50. Show, everyone gives, gives you 100. Pay up, no, pay up. Oh, you get, oh, okay. Yeah. Wait, That's what? me. No, the last person is This is what oh, it looks like when you win the seven I deuce. Take it down. <laughs> we haven't Christy, the smiles all around for Christy. Let's do it. Do it, starting the 10. I love it. Uh, how, much, how much are we doing? 50 on each. 100 for the last on the seven deuce. Yep. All right. They just. Are we including the dealer? Yeah. Cool. No, Wait, we, what? Haven't, we haven't been including the dealer. What, what does that mean? mean? She so, said she was saying, yeah. Yeah, just um, a lot of times, like, we'll include the dealer with 50 as well. Yeah. We always 50. do that in the, in the cash games. Mm -hmm. Yeah. There's, There's Jess looking I'm out for the that. dealers. <laughs> <laughs> Way to go, Jess. You pay everyone instead of putting the dealer. So the dealer gets the Seems like usually it's nine players. So Lisa's still in the box. Yes. For dealing the nit game. Okay. From whomever loses. So here's the nit game. You know how it works. Everybody gets a nit button, puts it right in front of them. Win a hand. You must show that winning hand. You can give the nit button back to the dealer. Last person with their nit button is going to pay everyone else $50. And the last, second to last person. I believe they said gets has to pay a hundred dollars. I heard a hundred. So there you go. Get out your red dots, folks. It's time for another knit game. Heads up, Rhonda. Top pair here. <clears throat> Always good to get rid of your knit button early so you can put pressure on other people. Thank you for hitting that like button, Florida Bill. Oh, I thought you were going to shove it up. Who's going to get the honor of pushing you out of the airplane? 
I don't think I get pushed. I think somebody's got my back, and we gin gingerly hop out of the airplane. I don't want to be pushed. Oh, you're going to tandem. Oh, you got to. I, I, mean, you, I don't know how to do it. I don't think they let you uh, unless you have a certain number of jumps. So, so you don't get motion sickness or anything, do you? I mean, probably. I, I talk a big game, Ruth, until the door opens. I, I, don't, I don't know how I'm going to do. but. Well, here's my suggestion. What's that? I'm a, I'm a good poker mama here. Yes. I, I would take something for motion sickness before you do this. Yeah? Yeah, because it spins a lot once you go down. Oh, my goodness. <laughs> Riveted. Have you done it? <laughs> no, but my daughter did, All right. and she gets motion sick. It wasn't a happy sight. Oh, my goodness. I oh, can't God. do it with the brain tumor. They won't let me jump out of airplanes, Are but I did uh, <sighs> do 60 <laughs> miles per hour head first. Um, you are zip lining in Costa Rica. Oh my goodness! It's called Superman style. They oh, put you yes. on a masseuse table and they sh just push you off. Yes. And it goes 60 miles an hour. Oh my God! But I didn't know I had a brain tumor at the time, so oh. <laughs> that probably wasn't a good choice. You are quite. So would I jump out of an airplane? Yeah, if I didn't have vertigo so bad, yeah. yeah I, I jumped into a grotto in Mexico and thought I was going to drown. I couldn't find the top. Oh, my goodness. Yeah. But, hey, you got to do stuff, right? Yeah. Adventures are fun. So I talk a good game. We'll see when it happens. Either way, it's going to go viral. My wife's a little worried. She made sure I called the insurance company. I And... Skydiving is not excluded Yay. in my insurance policy. Go wife. <laughs> I was like, oh, okay. <laughs> Weird being on this side. <laughs> Great. Uh, Matt has a good suggestion. Just jump out once the plane's landed. Ooh, could be. So we've added a little spice to our game. On the, uh, Jerome said skulls pushing you. <laughs> but if someone reminds the player, not only do they have to pay... They have to sit back down if they're... Christy, 6'5", Juan, queen, <laughs> four. Yeah. I'm sorry. So, yeah. Just going to put a little bed out in position. I'm really happy that it's not the standard With their puck. Air force <laughs> takes it down. <laughs> The knit game or the variation, whether it's stand-up game or knit game, you know, we didn't invent the knit game, but we sure brought it to live streams, and you see it all over now on all the streams. Knit game was introduced to us by a gentleman who plays here at the Lodge, Jeremy, the stand-up game. We put it on a stream, and it seemed to have worked. We don't stand up in the new studio because it blocks the camera angles, so we had to come up with something different. Oh my God! That's how the knit game was invented. Play poker, I'm like. I was in class yesterday, but yeah. I was gonna wear, and I was like, I'm really just wearing a hoodie. Maybe I won't wear a hoodie, sweatpants. Definitely, Wesley. You only live once, Rick. Enjoy it. Yeah. I agree. One. Jess with the ducks here raises. She's duck hunting. Juan comes back over the top. Three bets to 150. Jess is fearless. She ain't scared. Top pair for Juan. Jess does have a heart draw now. And a lot of heart as she's reaching for chips with ducks. <laughs> Jess needs some help here. Does not come. Hearts got there in a paired board, but I think, yes, she's still going to look her up.
I didn't know what to put you on there. Nakia, the Princess of VPIP, in chat. Evening chats, Phil. I did my best, but the cards just didn't go my way. And before you say it, yes, I should have called with my aces. Nakia, we all love you. You're the best. <laughs> you will be. You will be back. Yes. Like we appreciate you playing, Nakia. We love you, Nakia. I knew I had to do it, and then I, I didn't, like didn't want to. <laughs> I thought it could have been like a double banger, you know. The seven deuce, yeah. yeah. No, that's what I'm plotting. So if I do it again, perfect. That's no. what the next one's gonna be. My my sack size is just it's, it's I'm supposed to do that. <laughs> Justifying it. <laughs> Yikes. Kia getting a lot of love from Chatsville. It's not easy. Not easy to play on stream. It's so easy when we can all see the cards. Caitlin, Seven Deuce looking to get paid here. Oh, I think they suspended the Seven Deuce game during the knit game. If they did that last time, let's see if. Just let her win a knit like that. <laughs> we can hear you. Oh, it's bad news. It's bad news. Oh, God. Oh, <laughs> oh they decide to include. Oh, God. <laughs> bad news. Let us see a flop. Can we wrap it, huh? Yeah, of course. Yeah. Let me tell you what's hysterical. Let me tell you what's I got to remember about this. Naked. I have five dudes. <laughs> They're going to rabbit hunt. Look, I would have lost. Look at that. Oh, my Whatever, goodness. you would have raised your right. Nothing would've, on the turn. Like, I would have it. Don't like even fucking. Oh, of course. <laughs> you would have bullied me out of that pot and bleakety split. So Caitlin <laughs> wins with the seven deuce, gets paid the bonus. Rhonda had to pay an extra 50 because she was the last person to fold. There you see your cumulative winnings. You see the red dots. That signifies who still has their knit button. Liz, Kristen, Christy. Cumulative winnings off a little bit, Krista. Up more than it's showing. We mentioned that earlier today. That'll cost you another 100 more, Rhonda. Apologize for that confusion. Yeah. Sorry, Crystal with the ladies. A lot of queens today. Yes. Ladies for the ladies. Uh oh. Is that Skull Mike? Skull Mike. As we see Rhonda hit trips. So Skull Mike just brought in special beef jerky. TKO jerky. Check it out. Caitlin also has an ace there. <laughs> How about a boat for Rhonda? Your mind. Thank you. I can really not eat Hamza, but... Trouble, trouble for Caitlin. I mean, it's spicy. Thank you. You're welcome. Oh, it's your turn to fold, Rhonda. <laughs> Nothing to raise. There's the raise. Caitlin oh, going nowhere. That. Well, then come and get it. Don't be ugly to me. I'm not being ugly. You have H9? H King? I might. Ace King's unlikely, though, right? Yeah. Ugh, going to be tough for Caitlin. I think Rhonda pretty much just told her to fold, by the way. Yes. 
Cloud, if I could hear Mike and Rick what they're saying in the mic right now. <laughs> Caitlin, fierce competitor. Really? Are you fucking with me? She's got like seven dudes and she's fucking with me. I would start like nine. Oh my god, I should not have eaten that and laughed. <laughs> I'm going to have a medical emergency. You're costing yourself money. <laughs> okay. <laughs> good fault. Good fault, Caitlin. Oh, thank you, Jesus. <laughs> you want to see it? Huh. No. Good. <laughs> <laughs> She's getting in her head. I love that. Do you want to see it? Yeah, good. <laughs> Did you say it's not spicy? No, I said it's spicy. I heard it's not spicy, so I like. No, 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 I get the mild it. ones, but things Did are getting spicy, aren't they, they, Rick? Yes. yes. TKO Jerky, the Jerky now. King of Round Rock, yeah, Jake Stein and his lovely well, wife's I company. Check out TKO Jerky. It's delicious. It's like candy. Right there on the felt there, TKO Jerky. Edit. Edit. This is well, they, didn't hear, they didn't hear the story. They don't know. They, they don't, don't hear know. the story. If they use that slogan, TKO Jerky, it's like candy. I want Damn. my cut. No. It's very lingering. Yeah. At least free beef jerky. You know, I'm going to come out firing right out of the gate. No matter what happens, I'm just going to... All right, loud and clear. Okay. <laughs> Probably gonna be pretty strong too. Just like, She's got some chirping chips now, Rick. Right? Yes. No, 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 oh. no, no, no. I'm not oh, saying okay. I'm gonna connect. I'm just saying whatever happens. All hearts on this flop. <laughs> Liz with the king of hearts. Caitlin <laughs> already folded, so. <laughs> <laughs> yes, Leland. Liz is spicy. <laughs> <laughs> It's about me. <laughs> Could be about Brittany. <laughs> oh, I think I have a piece of that stuck in my tooth. <laughs> I'm like in the body of a Juan with the right pair of fives here. Liz, the tempting king of hearts. Liz has been so hot, but this one's going to go to Juan as long as he, she stays in. Check. Yeah, the king. I was going for the five. Got him. Juan's going to take that one down. <laughs> Let's revisit one of the hands of the night. I was just trying to lose my nip button. Yeah, then it would have been impressive. Christy and Liz here. Liz went runner, runner for the full house. Christy turned a full house. There's the call. And that was one of the hands of the night tonight. I'll tell you, boat over boat is one of the hardest to get away from. One of the events that Poker Face Ash and I went heads up against each other on was the Bill Perkins ladies yes. event here. And Poker Face Ash had tens, flopped a boat. I had pocket nines, turned a boat. Ooh. Impossible to get away from. Oh, my goodness. A lady's high stakes. Like a yeah. ten or twenty thousand dollar buy in, you know. That would be very Who are you gonna invite to that? Yeah. Huh? Are you and Juan gonna play heads up? Heads up. Right. I was gonna say, I'm <laughs> like, uh, I wouldn't be able to play that one. But so it looks like there's a lot of opinions about jerky it would be great to get in the comments sure. here. I don't know. We I just uh, go to Bucky's and let my husband pick out uh, what he wants. That's like the like smorgasbord wall just of just beef awesome jerky. Do you haven't awesome been there? Reason. I thought I'd put out the board. And, um, oh, God. 
he, he would gener team, like, generate a lot of viewership or something like that, I think. You know. Yeah. Caitlin with Ace Deuce on the button. The problem is sometimes they have problems filling like yeah. a co ed. Trista defending yeah. with Queen Nine. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh -oh. Yeah, I agree. Sushi. 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 Yay. <laughs> I want to save mine for later. Really... What did you get? Christy decided to get it's spicy. Cool. I was going to just get a with eight two so she could get rid of her nip button. I, was, I couldn't. No, that was too basic. So, so uh, close. So close. <laughs> so I got um, pretty much California roll with Elon. Oh, is one. Lemon <laughs> pepper <laughs> jerky at Bucky's no. is my favorite, Kenny Rogers says. Sounds good. Ever, but it's like the is stuck in mouth. Can do a lot, like the Riley says, I'd rather eat a leather yeah, no, shoe than pepper. beef jerky. <laughs> I wouldn't even try sushi for the longest time. And then my sister probably just tried it like, like crabs your favorite food a year ago or two years ago. Yeah, I'm saying like a few years ago. I'll try stuff, but and then a lot of like if it's fresh and it's like good, mm -hmm. like, good place, I'll try pretty much whatever. Sushi and I'll eat the, is very good. Yeah, I get that here all the time. My DoorDash set. So we're having a deep discussion about what kind of beef jerky you like, Rick. What's your favorite? I like a sweeter variety with a little kick, but it's got to be, it, it's, it can't be the thin jerky. It's got to have, that's why I like the TKO jerky. It's, it's like a piece of, I've seen him make it. It's really, it's steak that he's cutting up. It's very well done. But anyways, that's what I like. Krista with Ace Queen suited in the small blind. She's three bedding. Juan has four bet with King Eight off on the button. She has position. She's going to continue her story here on the button. Wow. Raised to 1,500. Those purple chips are 500 each as the sushi has arrived in the studio. Another knit button gone. Good raise. Thank you. They don't have, do they have decals? Um, oh, I have a Slick Rick, along with Ruthless, Ruth Hall, a Lodge Crusher, one of the best tournament players around. And I won't say one of the best ladies tournament. I will just say one of the best tournament players oh, around. Thank you. I picked one. You got it. Okay. okay. Looks like Liz was the only one with her nip button left. So Liz is paying the tax. <laughs> She's tightened up on that stack of winnings. <laughs> I don't blame her. It like sounds gross, but it looks good. <laughs> like, I would try it. Yeah. Is it Tyler? Uh, well, just one of the little balls. <laughs> yeah. Sure. Yeah. Here, I don't want to just yeah, like yeah, use my fingers. A, so. Yeah. I would. I would give you a. I feel like that's weird to just eat fish eggs. No, but you gotta try it because then maybe okay. you'll, yeah. you'll like it. Yeah. Christy, get the sushi platter. Just with another pocket is it pair. Is like flavor? Or is it? Yeah. We're back in the seven-two game. Salty goodness. Mm-hmm. I call. I was about to say something, but. I feel like it's inappropriate. Salty balls. <laughs> I was just about to say, little salty balls. <laughs> this is mine, I think, right? Yes. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Uh, oh, my God, Jess. That's funny. Oh, I got an avocado roll. Yeah. <laughs> Brendan Kaufman with a nice compliment to your play. 
<laughs> Seven deuce for Juan. Let's see if she can get the bonus. Oh, thank you, Brendan. Sometimes I'm not sure what I'm doing either. <laughs> <laughs> so I just don't know why I don't like sushi. I don't. I love every fish. Yeah. I can eat anything, but the raw fish just doesn't, is, it's just not appealing to me, I'm and I'm not you. sure why. I'm with you. Jess with the tens. Swan looking for a four ball corner pocket or a big rate, a big bet here to force oh, Jess yeah. out. Thank you. Appreciate it. <laughs> Thanks. She really wants to win this 7 2 game. Jess is going to be sticky. Good for her. I feel like I need to tip you. <laughs> Jess with the check mark. She's going to come. If she bombs it, Jess has to go away. <sighs> 11 into 2200. Super days. <laughs> I have to fold. I have to. Sorry. Okay. Oh, oh my god. I almost I almost called too. That's on the replay. Oh, right? oh sure. so bad. <laughs> I just keep getting these great hands. That ace isn't common. Freaking there. I, mean, I donated so much to you. Uh, so I have to give you 100? I will give that a try, Jim. The dynamite roll. No raw fish. It's oh, shrimp tempura. Hurt. I love shrimp tempura. So that's probably oh, right in there. I was going to raise shrimp too. <laughs> Juan gets paid in the seven deuce game. We've seen a lot of seven deuce. Tonight it's weird. Some nights they play the seven deuce better. game, and you never see seven deuce. Other nights you see it. Anything but every seventh hand. Doesn't have scared me away. Yeah, it's a hard call with pocket tens on that board. So it was definitely a position move for her to bomb with the seven two. What's the worst hand you ever won a big pot with, Rick? Ooh, ooh. That's a good question. Yeah, just, Maybe nine you. high? So How about my, you? Yeah, my story was 10 3 yes, off. Yes, I can. I had a uh, majority of the chips in a tournament. It was a I'll deep stack at WSOP. Oh. 185 deep stack. Uh -oh, God. The guy next to me had been folding, 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 really struggling, looking for a hand. And I have so total? many chips, it didn't Extra really fall. matter. And he. Uh, Shoves, and it's 10% my of my stack. Lines. I don't even look at the cards. Right. I call him with 10 three off. Oh, he has pocket goodness. queens, and oh. I hit a 10 and a three. Oh. He called me the B word and walked off. Oh, my goodness. <laughs> Obviously, he doesn't understand stack size poker, but. Oh, my goodness. I did end up winning that 185 tournament for $34,000. Oh, my goodness. That's right. So, it happens. He was a little, little mad. Yeah. In the moment, in but, uh, the heat of the moment. But still, no, no excuse for that. Yeah, I have to say that I don't run into that at the lodge. Um, for ladies that are looking for a place, a comfortable place to play, um, I wouldn't endorse it if I didn't believe it. And uh, I feel safe here, and I get escorts out to my car by the security guards, and never abused. Yeah, that's, man, that's, yeah. that's tough there. But, you know, um, oh, yeah. you, got, you got the last laugh. <laughs> yeah, I took his chips. It's, and I, whenever I get in a case like that, I just smile and stack the chips. What are you, you going to say, right? Yeah. Just smile and stack the chips. They get the chance to get in there with at least four of us. That sounds fun. I tend to think that. I'm down. That is just, that makes somebody, if you don't react to somebody like that, it steams them even more. They're looking for you to react. Yeah, he was leaving anyway. And it's like, <laughs> you're just smiling. Yeah, he was leaving anyway. The worst, though, was a WSOP circuit where I slow played a set of jacks. And the kid actually said something about taking me out to the parking lot. What? <laughs> 
I know. That's pretty much what I said. What? <laughs> what did you say? <laughs> God, that's crazy. Uh, I just I think it's hard for men sometimes to be beat by a female. and Yeah. And it happens. I mean, it's just a game. You know, we're not really mean people off the table. <laughs> There's sore losers everywhere. That's Christy. Oh, just <laughs> myself Tom, no. and the lovely lady to my left. Two pair for Rhonda here. <laughs> so, many, so many lovely ladies. I'm going to wager $400. Rhonda loves to watch live stream. She, all she does is win. We know there's an ace and a four on the flop. The graphics are trying to catch up here. No, on top of sushi, it would be and everybody's got their sushi platter. I think he said it's seven. Jimmy, the new redhead is Jess. She's one of our dealers here at the lodge, as well as um, we've got Lisa in the box and Liz. Liz is so playing. We've got three three dealers there. Yeah. One in the box, two in the game. So a combo draw for Juan here. Two pair for Rhonda. Rhonda's going to continue her aggression. Going to bet 900, about 75% pot. Going to call. And there's the call. Oh, she's got the straight draw and flush draw. Yeah. Better ball straight. It's a queen, and that might cause her to make a call here. About a half-size pot bet from Rhonda on the river. Rhonda's been running hot on this cash game. Like some kids like started crying. They were like, "How are you gonna have us like take a whole test in cursive when you didn't teach us?" The big chips in the game are the yellow chips. They're worth a thousand dollars. They're called bananas. Yeah, and there's one under that chip for five thousand. The pink, pink one. Pink is five thousand. Those are in front, Leland. Yeah, she doesn't have the. Her black ones are behind, and but the eight thousand in front is pretty much covers everybody at the table. Yeah, this was a two thousand dollar buy-in or match the stack, so she has added to the table. Thank you, Nightbot. It doesn't work when you do it every time, Rhonda. Rhonda continues to stack chips. I've lost money chasing it twice. Tail? What? Oh. I need a double up. Hello, Mixon. That was a nice fold, man. I assure you. Thought about raising. I thought about calling. Mixing poker. Talk about a guy on a good run. We kept running into each other at the uh, circuit at Choctaw, where he got his ring. Nice. I came in third twice. Okay, what you been doing? Fantastic. No second ring for me. I am. What? No, I. What are you gonna do with it? Every dog I see, I. <laughs> That's kind of the weird thing no, that I happens as you evolve. You're really just I concerned about how much money am I going to get and not so much in the hardware or the trophy. <laughs> yeah, but you'd like, a, you'd like a WSOP brace that I know you. I think everyone should have one of those. <laughs> I had a little bit of run bad in my life too, don't worry. I hope you get it. <laughs> That counts more than so big points. slick for Sam and Christy and the snowman for Jess. Christy's is suited. Are Jess is a favorite here with them wife? sharing cards. Oh. Oh. Runaway chip. Oh Does it end? 
Man. And there, Sam goes all in for her remaining. Yeah, I don't think Jess is going to make that call. No. So let's see here. Probably chop it. One of the worst beats, pocket aces versus pocket aces at the WSOP. Ooh, he that's four always flushed. tough. He four flushed. Yeah. That's always <laughs> tough. In your mouth? In your, in the like in the avocado roll? Really so this is going to be a chop. No, this is like very cheesy. Oh, maybe it was the cream cheese? Because mine had cream cheese in it. Oh. It might have cream cheese in it. <laughs> and Jess realizes she would have won there with her oh my God, that's sorry. pocket eights. Oh, man. I am so yeah, At least it wasn't me. It wasn't me. Yeah, no. Oh, yeah, I don't like that at all. Sorry. <laughs> I thought it was thorough. No, you're good. You're good. Glad you're a vegetarian. <laughs> I'm not, but today I am. Oh, I thought you said you were. No, I'm not a vegetarian. I just didn't want to eat fish today. Oh, got you. Yeah. I don't have it in me to be a vegetarian. Oh, that was gross, though. <laughs> Krista had something she didn't like. <laughs> oh, it's awful. Like, I think I just had something in my sushi. <laughs> Probably had oh some wasabi God. in it. Do you know what that is? Oh, yeah. <laughs> Like, <laughs> like it was just a very not expected. Like I was like, oh. This I'm a carnivore. I like meat. No. Yes. Oh, yeah. oh, gross. I feel like I need a soda or something. I'll be back. <laughs> Krista needs to wash that taste out of her mouth. That's okay. Pocket tens for no, Christy. Guys, what you had was gross. Is gross. <laughs> but that's gross. <clears throat> I feel like I'm gonna turn into a yellowtail. <laughs> <laughs> There's worse things you could turn into. That is true. I ordered pretty much the whole thing. Juan hits her jack here on the flop. What about Jess here? She's betting her sixes. Bottom on pair. the button. On the button, last to act. Christy quickly gets rid of her tens. That's good. Eat that. Like you just bite it? Mm -hmm. <laughs> right now I have to look. I used to eat a lot when you I need to try to get some of my money back from you. That's working. <laughs> position, yes! Position poker. <laughs> Look at that oh, smile from know. Jess. Last to act, she she had to give a little smile to the camera. You're not going to want to miss tomorrow, folks. It's going to be another good one. Less than 24 hours right now. We'll kick it back up, 3 p.m. Central. Juan will be back. British Bulldog will be here. And the man, the myth, the legend, Terrace, will be back inside the studio under the lights. I don't know Does if we'll have enough time. I don't great. think we'll have enough time for a Nick game. Uh, yeah, we can. Have it's seven time. now. Yeah, we might not. If they might not allow us. Good job with the straddle, Christy. Good job. Oh. I'm, I'm playing, honey. I know I, it was, it was. I'm, I'm teasing. I really am. I know you would be all for it. Yeah. Um, I'll do it. Yes, yes. yes. I mean, I've been doing it. It's kind. Of, I know you have. That's <laughs> why I'm teasing hand anyway. You. And you're in the middle of eating, too, so I, I truly was oh, teasing yeah. you. <laughs> so that's what I'm seeing is the pre-flop raises are smaller than yesterday, but post-flop, they're willing to get it all in. Right. Jack nine five, couple hearts here. Open-ended for Liz. Yeah. Jess, keeping up her aggression, has the crabs. It's on me. Wow, sorry. <laughs> Clock. Clock. 
Dealer on dealer action right here. Liz and Jess, both dealers here at the lodge. And Liz on the river hits her 10. Look at these good. <laughs> Guessing not. No. That's funny. Yeah. Might have been. It's not, was it? <laughs> Lie. I trust you. I don't think so. So many things out there. Yes, that too. Oh, I smell that spice, Sam. So you got tomorrow's stream, 3 p.m. Central. Then on Monday, you, we're going to give you a special one. It's just going to be a short four-hour stream, 12.30 to 4.30 probably, uh, p.m., to celebrate Doyle Brunson Day here at the Lodge. Have a little one-two action. I'll be on the felt playing. I think Greg Potter will be in the bunker. Don't know where Skull Mike will be. I never know where Skull Mike is. What is he doing? I never know what he's doing. Yeah, he's grinding cash, Rick. <laughs> That's what cash specialists do. Exactly. Huge shout out to our moderators, Yoda of Chatsville and VW Bug, the best moderators we could ever have hoped for. Thank you, Yoda and Bug. So dedicated to this stream. It's unbelievable. Rhonda with Queens. Very tiny pair. Oh, yes, Very big it's pair. late as night. Very big pair. That, by the way, is my favorite hand. Queens? Queens. I've won more money with queens than aces or kings. And that is my least favorite hand, least favorite. if you wow. wanted to ask me. I was going to say aces. I lose more tournaments no, with no, queens than any other hand. I, I hate jacks. I actually I hit jacks more at often. The game yesterday. Sure shit, I got jacked. And sure as shit. Mm -hmm. You lost. I said, you mm -hmm. see, I went up in flames. Hate them. It's just the jiggity. Such a strange dynamic when you get them. And oh, this is ladies night. Sing it, baby. <clears throat> yes, canceled comedy. You get it. I was definitely referencing <laughs> Wedding Crashers. Gotcha. <laughs> One of the best all-time movies ever. It is funny. It's my husband's birthday. I would love for us meatloaf. Oh, Ma, yeah, fix us some meatloaf. <laughs> Rhonda now has the aces. <laughs> Queens like now aces. Okay, everybody, we, we get this part. Happy birthday, dear. We're all gonna look at Ooh. and just let her take over. Okay. Lots of set. Yeah. What's his name? John. Okay. John. Okay. I was thinking we could even do um, what do you call it? Uh, in the style of Marilyn Monroe. Happy, Happy birthday. birthday. Okay, let's do it. Just come. here's what we're gonna do. Uh oh. <laughs> we're gonna sing "Happy Birthday" to my husband, John. All right, but we're gonna do it in the style of Marilyn Monroe. Okay. <laughs> oh my. God. And make the facial expression. You gotta like Happy get up and like, spin and look at the wind. Oh, Happy birthday. Oh my God, we're gonna be in for a treat, folks. Next week. After. I don't want no one. I I don't. Next want hand, I think. When we went out to dinner. I was like, if you guys sing to me, I will kill you. Well, Anastasia <laughs> got you the cake. I know. Christy right. with trip nines and Rhonda has filled up. See, you know, I wouldn't have cared about. And I forgot. I don't know why there's not more money in this pot. They got distracted. Even though, again, I didn't think they would sing somewhere like that, but that shit was. It was so good. Green cheese. Oh my gosh. I literally want to go back there just to get that. Like, can I just order that dessert? Can I pretend it's my birthday again? Sneaky little not girl over there. ID. Right. Oh, okay. <laughs> All right. Let's see how sneaky you are. Rhonda with the boat. Wow. Yeah. Three pets to 2,000. Now it cuts like a knife. Y'all not Brian Adams? Yeah. Anyone? No, okay, just. <laughs> but it feels so right. Poor Christy. Had a tough day today. Start gearing up your vocals, ladies. I'm just going to say John. That's all I'm going to say. John, and you'll do John. Okay. I can't. You hear the raspy. Rhonda, the raspy. diverting attention from the fact that she has. So desirable. If you do the boat. He will cry. He will cry. I get joy. compliments on my voice all the time. Like, oh, I love your. 
But there was a period of time where I couldn't talk at all and like went to an ENT and they did a little scope down my throat and he was like, oh, you've got these nodules on your vocal cords like calluses. And I was like, oh my God, what causes that? And he was like, you okay. talk too much so and you're more. too loud. <laughs> I was like, okay, sweet. What'd you say? I said, I was asking how much more it was. Oh. I'll tell you what. You fold this hand, mm -hmm. and we'll play the next hand, and I will let you win. <laughs> the next hand? <laughs> yeah. Wow. Sorry, you I mean. <laughs> it's the second time that Rhonda's told her opponent to fold. We could be singing right now. Uh -huh. I mean, I obviously have a nine, obviously. I was just being... Just being cute. And now it doesn't feel so cute. <laughs> you have a nine? I have a nine. Love this. I had threes, and I wanted to fold the threes full. <clears throat> Rhonda's just looking too comfortable. People told me you were wild, but I don't know, so hard. Who the hell said that about me? <laughs> <laughs> that upsets me. I'm 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 as tight as they come. Knit, knit, knit. <laughs> All right, you guys. Oh, it's all right. Take your time. Listen, take your time. Hard. Rhonda, I'm rusty. Feel bad for me. I do, sweetheart. I do. And you're so damn cute. I d you're young and cute and rusty. <laughs> <laughs> Top your quality. Oh, my God. This is great. Well, you just have to be slow playing something on the flop. That's it. Good instincts. Reaching, reaching for calling chips. Trust your instincts, Christy. Maybe your reputation just gets you paid, I guess. Got chips in hand. Makes the call, and Rhonda is going to see, show the aces. Yeah, yeah, don't slow roll it. Oh. Nice hand. Nice hand. And the table is silent. You, honey. Yeah, that's, that's a really hard fold. They lied to you. Oh, you. A shitty river. That was a shitty river for someone with a nine. Nice hand. Thank you, ma'am. Oh, my goodness. I did not think you had aces. No. At all. <laughs> no, I would have told I didn't suspect you. Two minutes of winnings. Rhonda up now over 10,000. Liz up 6,800. Krista's up a little bit more than what's showing there. Everyone else is losing. A lot of red in that picture. Oh, my goodness. Table got silent. 40. Uh, got a feel for Christy. She had that hand with Liz. Yeah, she, she wanted to get away from that, and she wanted to get away from this one, too. I wouldn't say it was a slow roll. She turned it over. She was just uh, very proud of it. Wild. Yeah, that wasn't a slow roll. I'll beat the shit out of them. <laughs> uh, check. Top pair for Jess. Get mild mannered as they come. I know you pet every dog you see. You like Jesus. <laughs> yeah, I do feel bad that she played Jack Ones Nine, but. You. You and Jesus are monogamous. So I believe after this hand, we're going to hear. All right, y'all ready? To Here we go. John. Let's listen in. Yes. All right. 
Happy birthday to you. Happy birthday to you. Happy birthday, dear John. Happy birthday to you. Happy birthday, Mr. President. You are the. This is a blonde race. There you go. Agreed. For the first time ever on the watch live stream, eight women singing "Happy Birthday" like Marilyn Monroe. Sang to him like Marilyn Monroe. Oh my God, that's all on. Whose birthday is it? Her husband's, uh, Rhonda's husband. Okay. He's not so much anymore. Well, he might back come. He's come back around. I'm trying to get him to do the pterodactyl for years. The pterodactyl. He won't do it anymore. He I can't believe I blind raised and ended up with I don't know, but yeah, whatever it is. He just, he's like a it. very tall man with long legs, so he just like crouches like. down and he does the noise. And he like gets off awesome. to a chair and like lay I love that. I've been trying to get him to do it for his son, my nephew, but he won't do it. I know you're watching, Greg. <laughs> Nick, I w you'll have to rewatch that. I, I didn't get that impression at all. Hold on, I think and I don't think Christy did either. Sure. But Board. look. Okay. Yeah. Poker is poker, and everybody has their own opinion. <laughs> Chop pot there, but... Yeah, that's my race. <laughs> I know Rhonda very well, and in this situation, it was definitely not a slow roll, but... So it, everybody's uh, well, entitled to their opinion. I have been married for actually just under two years. I lost my other husband... Um, we were married 20 years. So, it's okay. It's okay. All right. No, but, yes, I'm married to a really awesome guy. Is he the one sitting right outside? He is. Yeah, I mean, he did yeah, I was talking to him for a second. And he's mm -hmm. hanging out. Aww. That's like, sweet. pretty sweet. Really. Well, her husband's going to be real happy with her yeah. being up 10K. He, uh, he's a, he's a They're going to a nice dinner tonight. So he, I have to tell you, when I went home with the, right? I think it was 12,600 from the Art of Poker. It was about 3 o'clock in the morning. <laughs> I went in and I said, honey, woke him up. How'd you guys said, I chopped it heads up. He goes, really? Right. Yeah. Miles. Now we're wide awake. Another hour goes by. I think we went to bed about 4, 4.30. <laughs> um, uh, guess what I did on Sunday? Absolutely nothing. That's awesome. It's great and sad. Like, I don't know if any of you ladies have been in a place in your life where, like, you just endured, like, such extreme trauma, and you're just kind of lost, and you don't know. Yep. And I was in that place, and I was yep. like, I don't know what I'm going to do with my life. We had a business for 18 and a half years. I got a son, a young son. I, you know, I was 50 years old. Like, what am I going to do? You know, so I went to SeaWorld. True story. <laughs> and I'm watching the Dolphin Show. And I'm literally just tears coming down my oh, eyes. That's cool. I'm gonna be a dolphin trader. <laughs> that's what I'm gonna do. I, I have always myself. wanted to do that. I told I myself you. this. I'm still, you know, I can, I'm capable. I'm not too old. Yeah. It, it's not a dumb job. Mm -hmm. I can do this. You know, not that it, dolphin trainers are wonderful <laughs> people. I'm not. So I went home and started researching dolphin trainers. And how to become one. I love the story. Already. And I was right? on the this is, this is yeah. story. I was on the phone with my best friend, and I'm like, I, I, I deleted Bumble, Match, the other one. Um, you know, I'm done. I'm not. You know, I, I'm never going to connect with anyone. I'm always going to be in love, you know, with Steve, and it's just going to be a miserable life. And she said, Well, try Facebook dating. Yeah. Facebook doesn't That's even have thing. dating. Like, it, yeah, it does. So I'm, I'm on my phone with her. I have her on speaker. And I'm looking. And the next thing you know, I was like, oh, wait. And then I hear, ding, 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 ding. it's my email. And I'm like, oh, my Kimberly, I hit something. And I'm panicking because I'm like, it's Facebook. Probably my whole family's like, Rhonda is now on Facebook dating. <laughs> I'm like, oh, my God. I'm trying to get deleted as fast as possible. So I did. But I went through and I had a slew of messages. And I'm, it would say the guy's Caitlin. name. Gets and the bluff through. Yeah. And then their hey. age and their profession. Liz had a pair of sixes, I think, like, is oh all. God, it's the same guy it's hard to make it's that call. Over and over. And I see John, and he's like this. <laughs> <laughs> and I said, oh, my God, look at this idiot. John. 
<laughs> Love at first sight. Right? <laughs> 46 years old, and he's wearing a, his hat backwards like he's a child. <laughs> I was so offended by that. I'm like, <laughs> I like Don, look, 46 obviously. years old, San Antonio dolphin trainer. Oh. And I said, oh, oh my God, Kimberly. Oh. It's God. That's God. Oh, he's that's, talking to me. Oh, my God. It's fate. Yeah. Is so, he making a joke or? So when when I said and of course I can't he said hello to me in my email and of That's course so me cool. being me I can't just say hi I'm like so anyway I went to um, SeaWorld and, blah, 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 blah. and I just googled how to become a dolphin trainer and I've been through this really traumatic what honey right was he You're I have on. to pay it anyway <laughs> <laughs> she's like I'm mid story like why well, this is a great story. <laughs> Right now, I want to know, is he stalking you because he's a detective? So, he knew no, what you were doing. So kidding. he responded, and he's like, LOL. Well, actually, sweetheart, I'm an undercover detective with SAPD, and I can't say that, so I just say dolphin. It's That's kind of a so little crazy. joke. Oh, my gosh. Oh, but, really? Yeah. Oh, what he my said, but I'd, what, are the, what are the odds of that? I'd be happy to get you, you know, back behind, and, and we'll meet the dolphins. And that was it. That's literally it. So he lied to you by saying right. the man lied dolphin. to me. The man lied to me. Yeah, but that's, wow. that's still crazy that you. Isn't that wild though? Yeah. Just because of the, and I, I don't know. There, there are moments in your life, and that was one of mine where I. Yes, like, with uh, the boat. God spoke to me. Or Check. Just, it was just interesting. Interesting. That was a good story. But he told you the truth so fast. Yeah. It was instantly. Under, under instantly. Detective. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Well, and I, I mean, too, I, I'm pretty transparent, so I think he could kind of see everything about me. Like, you know how some people are real? I, I was, and I was just like, I have this amazing kid. I have a mediocre life that was awesome, and here's where I am, and I just want, you know. I, I mean, I'm, like, totally transparent. All he's, in he's, from Jess. He's a pretty awesome guy. I was on a draw. Pretty sweet. Great story. Yeah. Nice. Shows. And as Rhonda's telling that story of this guy wearing his hat on backwards, I, think you can, like, I was looking at Jess, who wears her hat on backwards. It's magic or God or whatever. She's looking good, though. She is looking good. It's just, and they could both be true. But Out of all things, isn't it a dolphin interview. trainer? And isn't it way like, more that's fun not, to look at the world that I'm really, way? Yeah. You know? Totally. Well, I, I, I think in life you, you have that option. Like, I was just, you know, a couple of weeks ago, I was there when my aunt passed away, and I could tell you how sad and horrible it was, or I could tell you how beautiful it was, because, right. mm -hmm. you know, I I was able to share that experience with her mm -hmm. and oh, and and her with me. Right. So really I do think it's the way you yes, the lens that you look through. Wayne Dyer, I, I really like him. He's Sammy with the, the Queens. Um, These coincidences are like the universe or God, or whatever, like telling you like you're on the right path. Mm -hmm. Like when you, something weird happens, like that's just a little like hint, like no, like you're in the right, that's right, like you're yeah. in the flow. Like it's not just like a random thing. And I definitely think we get those cues. I feel yeah. like a lot of people ignore them though sometimes. Like, I agree. Surviving death on Netflix and if anyone's ever had like, What's it called? Surviving Death on Netflix. What's it about? Um, it's about people that have come, like, technically died and come back to life, oh. like where their heart has stopped from different accidents. And and then what happens in the interim? Or? Um, yeah, just different people's experiences. And it kind of goes into a lot of different stuff about. And I, I highly. It's remember. worth watching? Yeah. I want to watch it. Thank I've you. had a lot of people post okay. to me, passed away. And this that. Good. Uh, okay. Yeah. I'd cried like a lot through it, but it was, it was, it's it's really good, and it I makes was, you kind of have a fence. different, like very positive outlook on the afterlife and yeah. Just I was on the fence till my husband died, and it was very shortly after that that yeah. I'm like, I believe me when I tell you. This it's uh, very real. It's it's this uh, out there. topics are getting a little bit more serious. Last night we had several topics that you would have never heard from if we had. The run-of-the-mill live stream that we've had. We had some good conversations. We're still playing. Pocket aces today. for Rhonda, Krista, pocket <laughs> tens. <Nope. laughs> Rhonda's <laughs> still killing it. And Juan with queens. Look at these three big pairs. This ought to get spicy. <laughs> I love it.
crappy. Lisa will give us three of ten right in the window for Krista. Ace is cracked. A lot from oh, you're doing her too? Mm -hmm. Oh, okay, cool. Yeah. I didn't know that. Yeah, she deals Saturday Not a bad flop for Queens so either. I'm usually today, but since I wanted to be a backup for this game, now I'm dealing tomorrow. So. Oh, okay, nice. Oh, tomorrow, yeah. you got a good game. I know, tomorrow's a good game when they told me. Aces like, versus so Queens so versus 10s and like, the 10. Yeah. <laughs> That's because you lost your Thursday. To <laughs> right in the I window for Krista. Thursday days and Thursdays on the live stream are great. If I wasn't producing on Saturdays. And, and like, they're all pretty deep. Because I did have the choice, but I was like, you know, I love my Thursdays. I mean, either way, I would have just probably been on. Spaghetti Man says, Mamma Mia. <laughs> you went to Italy. Yes. How was it? Oh, the best. The Italians have figured out life. Was that an anniversary? Yes. Nice. Rhonda. Here we go. Things got serious. She just had aces about, oh, four hands ago. I like the sandwich. You have three yells, Krista? Uh, like Is that right? Yeah. Yeah. Chaz, yeah. Um, Thank you. And then, like, Dap plays a lot. Mm -hmm. Yeah. They're just, they're just a great time. I'm literally just, like, laughing hysterically. Sometimes, laughing. like, I literally, I'm trying to keep myself from laughing so hard. I'm like, Coordinated oh, board. I'm sorry, guys, but they're just, yeah. Yeah. Nine queen, seven nine already would be there. Yes, Nakia, Lisa's dealing the heat. Ron is going to raise here and make it 2,500. Juan may be allowed now to exit. And if she folds here, it's going to be an excellent fold, quick fold from Juan with the queens. And all in from Krista. Mm. Biggest part of the night. Two, forty-five, fifty-five, six, seven, eight, nine. Somewhere around there. I fold. Yeah. There's the fold. Yep, I knew. And Krista. <sighs> Goodbyes. I knew not to even raise two. So that may be the largest part of the night. Yep. Lucky, lucky girl. Hmm. Good fold, Rhonda. Yes. Yes. I I knew she had a set. Very like, nice hand, I Krista. It. I said fold, don't raise. I'm not fold. bluffing a lot. Krista now, way in the lead, and her numbers are even higher than that. No, you haven't, but I did see you play a couple of hands where I... I, I mean, Rhonda and Liz both up over 6,000. I'm calling that hand. Like, it ain't happening. I'm either calling or, ra or folding or raising. But mm -hmm. I was like, man, she just like... Hmm? Flop the straight and just gonna sit there and think for a super long time like she did. I was like, well, I'm committed. <laughs> Whatever. I was like, if she played Hollywood like that for that long, oh well. Yeah. <laughs> oh, I didn't tip that hand. Did you have a space? Yeah. No, that would have kept me in. Ace of clubs and a, I think the eight, like ace of diamonds, but that's uh, big, one of each. Big day. Red and black. Is that 75 or 100? 100. Ace six, Jess was the pre-flop aggressor. Caitlin, let's it go. Mm -hmm. Oh, yeah. Yeah, I just met her, like, this year when she came traveling, and I was like, I instantly loved her. Mm -hmm. So. Another dealer here. Yeah. When I first moved to Vegas, we were talking about all these weird Four. friends that I made. Do you know what's the first, like, like, normal different. friend I yeah. made? Uh -huh. Because she worked at Red Rock, and she's, like, older, and she's Kore older than me in Korean, and 
So Andrew and I were broke, and she would like take us to get Korean food and stuff. She's very yeah, sweet. She's the best. Who's this? Gina. Gina. She works her here husband, now. Her husband's um. Who works here now? Mm-hmm. He's a floor now. Yeah, he's a full floor. kid said he was rooting for Anastasia last night. Yes, I think a lot of people were rooting <laughs> for her. We're always wanting the, the uh, dealers to get in there. I get real distracted. Yeah, Anastasia is a favorite. <laughs> she's so funny, too. She's she's very, very funny lady. Unfortunately, her car got a little dinged up with the hailstorm that happened last week. I heard a lot of people got in Ugh. trouble with that. Actually, it was, yeah, earlier this week. I'm only 10 minutes away, and it missed our house. Yeah. We were we very fortunate. Missed ours in Leander. But, I mean, it was tennis ball size hail, not right. golf size. Yeah. Oh, oh, tennis right. ball. Yeah. Anna's car got hit, too. I told her I have an extra car if she needed to borrow one. I think that I it was difficult to get a rental car here in Round Rock. Oh, yeah. <laughs> Two pair for Christy. We'll take it down. Yay. The kid. How you doing, the kid? <laughs> Got to get him back in the studio. One of the only players we have an actual rule about that we made about. The kid rule. What is the kid rule? The kid rule is if you forget to turn your cards over in the knit game, you keep your knit button. The kid did that three times in one stream. Yeah, they're not coming because of the urinal. Yeah, because we... So we call it the kid rule. See the urinal. I think Esther did that three times yesterday, didn't she? <laughs> she did it, yeah. So She's weird. focused on the hand, so forgot the extra game. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> a couple of pairs here. Y'all know my straddle, right? A double straddle over here? Oh, yeah. oh, sure. Juan with the ladies. <laughs> three bets to 350. <laughs> Wow. <laughs> Someone's PMSing. <laughs> Joking, Jesus, don't, do not hurt me, okay? You get that look. Three, fifty. I just, I just want to protect my... It's been bad. Yeah. Just myself I just and a young lady to my left's left. left. Check. Oh, and Caitlin would have hit her five. <laughs> That's a good flop. I'm going to bet $500. Oh, my goodness. Much like a wager, but smaller. Bet, wager. I will accommodate this wager. She accommodates my wager. Let the games begin. She wants a spade. Is that a spade? Oh, I think I have one of these. Hold up. I do. <laughs> Rhonda's got more talkative at the end of this game. At the beginning, she was totally yeah, quiet, silent. It's a big one. As too. she gets more chips, she gets more <laughs> chirpy. <laughs> She's so telling her she has a big one. <laughs> As she checks. Schwann has played in some of the biggest games you could ever play in, so... And she keeps keeps re-raising Caitlin. Caitlin's in a tough seat. Oh! All I had to do was bet. Damn. Nice hand, nice hand. Oh, I never put you on that. That was sneaky. That was sneaky. Not as sneaky as your ace. Those were sneaky. You're right. You gotta work at it. You gotta strengthen these muscles, and then half the people are like, you gotta do the homework. I know. It's and so I'm like, funny. well, if you did, your pain would go away. People <laughs> just like, want a quick. They people just want a quick answer. Like, 
back pain, like since I was 16 from sports I was in, and everyone, you're so young. You Caitlin should have asked for a seat so change when Caitlin. Nakia didn't come back. Huh? <laughs> <laughs> yeah. My, she uh, got a tough seat I don't think we've ever had a seat change on the live stream. That's a good point. I, I don't think, you know, out in the lodge, you know, you have seat change buttons. Never had that on the studio. I think mainly for the reason for that is each player is mic'd up by their seat number, so their microphone is assigned to their seat. So it'd be a it'd be a hassle if we started playing musical chairs. I think Caitlin would pay you. It's a lot better than what it was. I literally went to urgent care like in tears. To pair for Krista here. When I first smashes that flop. My rib cage, I couldn't breathe. I was like in so much pain, I couldn't walk for days. It hurts sitting here. It was bad. Giving you a little overtime here at the lodge. We're gonna go. A little while longer. Days of it, I was just in my van, so you crying every day. The whole the whole thing. Thing. My friends were just having to bring me stuff in my van. I could not move. I couldn't walk. Oh, I would have. It was so bad. Rented a wheelchair. No, it was. Sergio it was says Marnie hours. had a seat. Change. You're right, Sergio. Sergio, oh, otherwise known as Dream Spill, another dealer here at the lodge who goes on more trips and goes out more than anyone I know in my entire life. His Instagram. Mi amigo. Yeah. Is love Sergio. I was like, wow, they're brave. And then I saw like so many. I was like, oh my God. Yeah. Ain't nothing holding y'all back. Nope. <laughs> no. That's why I got a one wheel. I have one wheel all around the festivals now. I just flew mine to Ohio. Krista running hot. To save my legs and back and not have to walk. Skateboard around everywhere. Let's see where our chip counts are. Do you have a magic button for chip counts? or? Uh, no, they, every five to seven hands, they'll show the chip, the cumulative winnings. That would be our live stream team in the back. 20, 25 minutes north in Georgetown, like far deep in Georgetown by like Jonas. So Georgetown is north? Mm -hmm. Yeah, that's the thing. I'm like, South Austin's kind well, of we far can talk. We, we can exchange yeah. numbers. We can talk. I'm sure I, we can. I would rather go to someone that like I know and trust than, and like I, I don't mind driving. I drive 45 so minutes really, everywhere. So I bet you we could talk for, for sure. 25 minutes and I could tell you everything. I would love that. I'm not going to charge you. So I, uh, get my number. Yeah. Krista fixing backs and taking okay. chips. Yeah. Advice, but yeah. Cause like I was a dancer and a gymnast, so like I know a lot about my body. And I, if the room was a little bigger, I probably could, but uh, no, I'm not really trying to. Uh, no, let's not. Not live. No, not live. <laughs> I want to say, I may be wrong in this, but we have July 4th every party. Every July 4th for the employees. I want to say Jess did a fire dance at one of the July 4th with like. It's been so long. I'm, I'm so out of shape. Like, I did um. A ring of fire that we she would swing around. There's so many. Very talented. My daughter does that. Yeah, really? Yeah, my oldest. No, my mom it was, and uh, anyway, I did that, and um. She's also a back in the day. It was poker dealer, crap dealer, whatever. That's her, one of her side gigs besides being a paralegal for the There's Texas Attorney General's that. office. Nice. She got her 10 years in with the state. Lifetime benefits. Yes. Nice. Yeah. I don't know if people do that still, do they? I mean, there's wow, that probably. <laughs> no, no, probably, yeah. I mean, I, I haven't heard, heard that. Heard that. When you said you were yeah, my yeah. wife works for the state, That's University it. of Texas, I mean, and uh, seem 50 to me at all. benefits are good when you retire. No, babe, I'm teasing. I'm, ki I'm kidding. <laughs> Son of a. <laughs> it's in my drawer right it's now at my house. I love it. on tape. <laughs> well, you can tell we're getting it toward the end of the night, getting a little more chatty here. Aren't you? In your dreams. They were serious and quiet at the early stages. Rhonda and Christy have a little rivalry going on. 20s? No. Oh, sorry. Oh. 
put any more extra money in there. Check it, baby. Let's go. I can't. 85. Uh, okay. You can afford it. No, I can't. <laughs> I have a son in college. Nice. I'm gonna check dark. No matter what happens, I'm not. I'm not gonna bet. Regardless if. <laughs> All right, I call. Check. Two twenty-five. We're gonna put reds in there. Watch this. Low oh. confidence money going in. Oh no, those like, that's my like, that's my lucky chips. Rhonda looking for a three or a four. <laughs> Does not come. What's your kicker? Let me ask you that. Um, I don't think my kicker matters because I think we have an eight. An eight? Yeah. I don't have an eight. I promise you that. I can't get you to fold an ace. All right. No, you can't. I have a pair of fours. Oh, I beat that. <laughs> she was surprised. <laughs> We're just bullshitting away. <laughs> well, when the turn came, I'm like, oh. And get Swan gets all out. those red chips from Rhonda. We're at the end. I thought I'd just make it spicy and fun. <laughs> well, thank you. Okay. Thank you. Thank you. Fifteen minutes. Fifteen minutes. So you just heard. We got about fifteen Thank more minutes, right. folks, yeah, of this stream. But don't worry, because we'll be back tomorrow, 3 p.m. Central, with another amazing high-stakes poker stream. Terrace coming back, British Bulldog Juan and others. Monday will also give you a little stream. It won't be at our usual time, though. Monday stream, 12.30 p.m. to 4.30 p.m. Just a little one-two. You'll see Slick Rick. If you ever wanted to see me lose money on the poker table, watch on Monday. I've seen that before. <laughs> Ruth. I'm your friend. Oh, that's right. Sorry. Oh, okay. They're like four hours away. I have three dogs, and they keep each other company all the time. Yet, when, we're, when we return home, it could be five minutes. You go to the mailbox and back. <laughs> it's like you haven't seen them. Oh, my. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> I have a little Doyle Brunson story. Has yes. <laughs> so I was playing in the <laughs> seniors' WSOP during the summer. Yes. This summer? I don't remember. Okay. Maybe it's been two years. Okay. They, they Recently. Would right on top of my head if they had a choice. Yeah. And Closer the, better. Mm -hmm. God damn it. the WSOP so was so like gracious to let me here. know that... <laughs> Mm -hmm. I was old enough to play in the Super Seniors. Okay. Nothing like insulting us yes. women, right? So I went ahead and popped in. I love my cat. And who was playing at the table next to me? Doyle Brunson. Oh, wow. He speeds up in his little scooter and ends up parking right next to me. And I guess he wasn't having any luck, or maybe he was just there to splash around <laughs> to say he went right. to the WSOP because like he'd have, like, not been feeling well, I don't he think. Had, like, and really really he ended up playing yeah, with like, a friend of mine, Jana Van Dock, and, and uh, like, really, like, horror movie -like he'd yourself. gotten short-stacked. Yeah, he ends when up sleeping, jamming with 6-4 offsuit. Like, she had pocket kings, and her claim to fame is that she got to take Doyle Brunson out at the WSOP. Wow. But I know his daughter pretty well, Pam, and... Um, boy uh, Terry actually yeah, sold the Brunsons one of her puppies <laughs> for him and his wife. Oh, really? So, yeah, I mean, he was a really, really kind man. <laughs> Such a legacy. It's, it's sad that he's gone. Yeah, you know, Godfather of Poker, he, and he, if you read some of the old books about him, the biographies and... He started playing poker in Texas, and he alludes to several times playing in Austin back when he first got started. So, you know, we got a little Austin connection in Texas for sure.
Got a good hand going here. Caitlin on the button with kings against Liz with queens. Ooh, danger. Liz. Not paying attention Ace may help Liz and neither slow things them. down. Yeah, neither one of them are going to like the ace. You know you only have to be 60 to be in the super seniors, right? Yes. Are you there yet? No. Oh. Still a <laughs> couple more years. Caitlin fires out here, 450. Pot already at 4560. That ace may allow Liz to release this hand. I think she's got her chips on lockdown. She's probably going to let this go, knowing they're at the end of the night. All in. Oh. All in! Oh! 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 Oh, Caitlin! What a play oh. by Liz! Oh! oh. Not emotional. Very first card you see is an ace pill right off the top. Oh. oh my goodness! That's one of the plays of the night. Oh my goodness! You're welcome. Liz. Like a boss. Seven deuce. <laughs> uh. Yeah, that, 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 that commitment. Kristen, Liz, killing it. Rhonda, having a great night again. Oh, my goodness. I was so excited, folks. I didn't hit the button in time to get the replay of that hand, but you guys were as amazed, amazed as I am. Not just, she wasn't going to just call there. It was going to be a fold or she was going to go for it. How she went for it, I do not know. <laughs> I can't say I blame Caitlin for folding. There was an no. ace on board, but wow. Oh, my goodness. Liz. Power poker, Liz. You're welcome. You know, I was calling her Lodge Liz, and she sent me a message earlier in the week. She says, Slicky, that's what she calls me, Slicky, I, uh, I don't know if I'm feeling the Lodge Liz. I say, don't worry. I don't feel it either. It was, it, it's not a nickname that I'm proud of either, because I've given some dandies. But Lodge Liz wasn't going to be one of, in the Slicky Ricardo repertoire, so... So what's her new name? Don't know yet. Sometimes they take a little while, and sometimes they come right away. Caitlin has to take a walk right there. I don't blame her. Whew. I just, man. Oops. Here's a Here's the queens. Okay. That was quick. Ooh. Did she show? Okay. She had kings. Okay. 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 I couldn't, I couldn't. Oh, so Liz is letting the table know what she had. You represent me. Yeah, you did. You, you did. Whoa. For sure. I was, That's what I'm an ace like, would do. I'm sweating. <laughs> I'm sweating. What did you have? She didn't make you sweat very long, no, what? Didn't. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. yeah. <laughs> Yeah. <laughs> wow. It's going to be rough to see. Oh, yeah. Oh, I might have had the queen. So the thing, I have this horrible issue with poker. It's like, I, 
feel bad when people start losing like a yeah. lot. When you play it long enough, like, it's like people you like. If I'm that deep in the hand, I literally thought if if I'm in that deep in the hand and I bet that I'm calling the rest of it. Yeah, because I'd rather lose it all. Yeah, it was the opportunity. I hit two outer and hit a set. Wow. Like uncomfortable if I'm like. I did not think she was. You know, getting the best of somebody a lot or something. I know because when it's the other way around, it sucks. Like when that's you, like it's just the worst. But it's not about. It's not about. Like, I, the guys button, don't like, have that problem. No, no. no. Is it we're at this table? No, and like, I, because we're empathetic. Women are yeah. empathetic. We have way more compassion yeah. than men do. It's so true. All right, now they're man bashing. I'm gonna draw the line. I'm just kidding. <laughs> <laughs> in two streams, we haven't had any male bashing. It does, it does for sure. And it makes it draining, too. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Especially when you're playing against women. I've had Absolutely. lots of guys. That's why like, I don't tough. love it. Like, but I heard you had girl math. Like yes, <laughs> but that not brought up by me. <laughs> As Jess with the open air, don't know what Christy has. A little mystery hand. I enjoy it. Yeah, I like a mystery hand. Playing in her than than there's other there's women sick. who are trying yeah. to get by in a game that we're way outnumbered in. I have literally left games and spent time in my bed thinking about... Man, I took a lot of money from him. I, it, it bothers me. Yeah. Air Miranda. I'm reminded. In chat, another watch live stream dealer. They don't give yeah. you that. Exactly. Yeah. That's what I thought of. Yeah. 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 I, I believe. But then when you win, it's like you're I literally have to win poker. And I'm like, you're right. Liz is winning about what Anastasia lost yesterday. So, dealer wise. Like seeing what I yeah, call well, them 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 doing them. well for the two streams. It's it's people, nobody holds aggressive. anything naturally you too. You're aggressive. Empathetic to other it, people. And I've learned that from I came far. Like, Carolyn B says, Rick, you're going to be okay. I'm yes, I am, Caroline. Sometimes I still do it when I beat somebody in a big pot. I'd be like, sorry, which I know everybody hates, but it just like comes out of me because I'm like, this is such an awkward situation. Like, yeah, it's hard. Rhonda back with Ace Eight. It's a little bit. Yeah, I always think guys are blessing me. Yeah. It's not like real money. They That's take advantage. Yeah. yeah. They always take advantage. Rhonda flops an ace here, way out in front. Mm -hmm. I was just kidding. I was just saving you money. <laughs> Good, Lisa. We got another three or four hands, folks, and we're going to call it a night. Put my headset on the wall, close the door to the bunker, go home for a few hours, and then come back for tomorrow's stream. It's going to be a good one. Join us 3 p.m. Central, and then make sure you plan. Because I'm going to after that stream tomorrow, I'm just going to stay here at the lodge. I'm not going home because at midnight, I'm going to go to the tables for the start of Doyle Brunson Day. Midnight tomorrow. That time didn't work. Monday morning, 12:01 a.m. I'll get one of the first hands dealt here for Doyle Brunson Day because I want to qualify. And get my name in the hopper yeah, like to win ten thousand two hundred dollars. Are you bringing your sleeping bag and your toothbrush? <laughs> Not always, but yeah. I may. Yeah. I need too much yellow tail. <laughs> That's my intuition. <laughs> I'm like having to go to bed. <laughs> so much I'm definitely that wine got me tired. Ruth, always a pleasure to have you in the bunker. I've been more quiet than oh. usual. Well, you know, the, we're hearing some amazing stories. One fifty. Wow. Today I mean, on the stream of like like yeah. like yeah. like yeah. 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 So two p.m. is actually really early for me. Oh. I like woke up and was like, oh my god, what time is it? The street like. I thought I missed the yeah, so you, What are you gonna do with the ten thousand two hundred when they draw your name? What time do you work? It's a good question. It's kind of like winning the lottery. Not really <laughs> it's not that thing. much. <laughs> it's not life changing. Well, let's think about this. Anyway, well, let me ask you this. Since yeah. it happened to you when you won uh, the uh, the big tournament that you played, the uh, oh, which the one was the art of poker? What did you do with the twelve thousand? Well, most of it went to taxes. I pay a lot of taxes. All right. <laughs> kind of boring. That's boring. I don't want to hear that. Yeah. yeah. I didn't have a big ticket item this time. I had a lot of little ticket items. But uh, Grand Cayman is part of it. There you go. And took my family out to eat. I like to try to do something for my husband or my daughters or something toward our family. So last year I took them to Aruba. 
this year I'm taking my husband to the Grand Canyon. That's so nice. It went like an hour. But typically it's, you know, maybe a privacy fence or a new AC conditioner or car repair. You never know. You never know what you need. That's what happens when you play poker for a living. Really savage. Y'all are welcome. Yeah. I appreciate all you. Ladies. I don't know. I think I think the most savage award goes to goes to Shawn for all those seven deuces. I agree. Yeah. Yeah. Mm. Man, yeah. thinks of the game. Mm. And just gets all the seven deuces. I'm the biggest That's seven deuces. She, she set us up like she was gonna be a seven deuce like whale, <laughs> and then she just like, seven deuce them. against my tens. I'm definitely no, gonna fun. be dreaming like about that one tonight. Like that. <laughs> yeah, that I appreciated that play. That uh, just has King Jack did, here yeah, raising up the on the four girls. Well, yeah, did you will. hear that streamer? I think they will. It is a really oh, good also, idea. Also, I want that to be like known that that mm -hmm. was my idea. Yeah. Yeah, that's a great idea. I think you and your husband will play on the same team. That would be. That's one of the tricks yeah, that I do yeah, with right. tournament okay. poker. Sure. Is 24 percent like, goes did, into yeah, an account for taxes immediately. Wow. So then I don't have to worry about it when tax time rolls around. Yeah. yeah. But it's and very like you my brother. Like an Annie, right? Yeah. Yeah, like an Annie. Yeah, Annie at the end. The score. Yeah. Or you could do it like. You know, halfway through and at the end. Mm -hmm. Yeah, you know? I think if we like talk with the production, like they could probably like. Yeah. Think it's oh, I won't be at the yeah. Ritz. I'll probably be at the Holiday yeah. Inn, but definitely uh, gonna be there at the Grand Cayman um, in December, not January. Mitch, I hope you have a lovely time, though. The Ritz sounds beautiful. Mitch Hex is the gentleman who is always looking for the best pastrami sandwich in the land. His constant quest. Just four women, four men, and then like. Maybe midway through, you add the uh, winnings, and like if the women win, yeah, it's amazing how expensive the Grand Cayman yeah, like is. Like oh yeah, I bet. Very expensive. Like I mean, I've been to Aruba two or three yeah. times, be, Belize, Costa Rica, oh, yeah. Cabo, Cancun, Cozumel, all of them. Any place with a beach, but Grand Cayman's rather pricey. This is the last and Hawaii. Hand. I've been to five islands in Hawaii. This is the last hand? Yeah. Nice. This is the last hand of the night. Playing for a little after this? Or? I, I don't. No, no, I, can't. I, I do go not. Home. This has been much I longer do, than I have my dog. All right. Same. Good luck, Caitlin. See if I'm awake. I'll probably go play out there for a little while. I might play. I got nothing I to do today. Know. My back is like sitting in this chair. You know, there's just some nights that it's not your turn. That's the way you got to look at it. Yeah. It's just not her turn tonight. Aye, aye, aye. So we're going to see some final numbers. Ruth, it's always a pleasure. Yeah, you knocked it out of the park once again. Really? Yeah. Seems like you <laughs> spent about three hours with us tonight, and we're going to see some final numbers here. Krista, it's won a little over that number, 9,300. Liz, 8,500. Rhonda won 6,000. Everyone else, you see their numbers. Throwing the party today was Juan down 7690. Caitlin, Nakia, Sam, Christy all contributed. There's the V pips, 44% for Juan. Christy for 23%. Hey, we'll be back 3 p.m. Central tomorrow with a great stream that includes Terrace, British Bulldog, and Juan. Monday, we'll be back 12:30 p.m. for a special Doyle Brunson tribute stream. 12.30 to 4.30, I'll be playing on that stream. So for Ruth Hall, for Skull Mike, for all of our production team who does amazing work each and every show, and everybody here at the Lodge, take care, everybody. Thanks for inviting